such a one Scoot on over in your chair and toss me back that plastic gun Who is this Hasanabi talking tough? Is this his hobby? Politics and that's a shame You're only here to watch him game? I think you took the bait and this is all in bad faith Log off before it's too late You should have stuck with Andrew Tate This guy ain't a leftist, he's got money, he gets pussy Look at him, he's really cooking Wait a second, what's a cussy? In the animated Pixar movie, Car If there are female cars and male cars um, I'm gaining with T-Pain Subscribe to bypass the ads Top of the hour is approaching And I want none of that Lashed out and popped up parasocials Only trying to help But in the process realize I'm parasocial myself We log in then shout into the void Joining into the hymn of the oppressed The powerless can't afford to disengage A luxury that many don't possess And I like to believe That we're all just part of a community I like to believe that we're all just part of a community. Yes, I like to believe that we're all just part of a community. And I like to believe that we're all just part of a community. And I like to, I like to believe. Yes, I like to, I like to believe. Fantastic Prenu, no matter where you are in the world. I'm a sound piker, and this is Austin. Our broadcast coming to you live from sunny California. Oh, not sunny, actually. Coming to you live from cloudy California, Los Angeles, folks. We're live and alive, and I hope all the boys, girls, and MBs are having a fantastic one because today's a beautiful day. Today's a wonderful day. Today is Saturday, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. It's Saturday. It's April 20. It's 420, folks. Blaze it. 420, blaze it. I'm live, I'm alive, and I hope everyone's having a fantastic one, including all the boys, girls, and MBs. Calling that number right now. I think it's a restaurant. Uh, go off if you would like. I don't know. Live for 30s and 30 seconds of no gaming. That's right. Um, speaking of gaming, yesterday we had a wonderful uh, gaming session. Everybody was complaining that I hadn't gamed earlier, and I apologize for not gaming earlier. But yeah, today's going to be different. We're going to be doing OK Buddy memes today. We're going to be doing ban appeals today. This is Saturday. Saturday fun day. However, there's obviously going to be a little bit of news as well. Don't misunderstand that and there will be some analysis as well don't misunderstand that okay however i'm calling the ayatollah to start world war three so we don't have to boot up reddit Watch your talk with Mark Lamont Hill and use the wrong mic. Yeah, I used the wrong mic in the beginning, and then I used the right mic. So you're actually wrong. Um, you're you're you just only watched the beginning of it. I didn't know you had done season two, episode five already, so I had to catch up to continue season three. Don't worry. I thought you had read Jesus and thighs all night. No, it's just breasts and thighs all night. Anyway, um, folks, should we watch some Rogan with Peach for old time's sake? Probably not. Folks, folks, this is the part of the broadcast where I tell you a little bit about my personal news about what's going on in the world of us on Austin. I'm a and let me tell you a lot has happened. Uh, the whole family is here, so it's uh, a little bit, a little bit 
annoying. Let me tell you why. Um, for those of you who are close watchers of my... For those of you who are close watchers of my Instagram stories, you probably saw my dad when he came back uh, from Turkey. He, of course, brought this thing called a chatal. And for those of you who don't know, uh, a chatal is a type of food. Hold on. I don't know how to do the chair. Turkish pastry. Okay, there you go. I found it. This is what a chatal is. Chatal Chirek, Turkish pastry with sesame seeds, and I'm obsessed with it. Okay. Um, the ones with the black seeds are objectively better. And I love it. It's one of my favorite things of all time. It's one of my brother's favorite things of all time. Yo, you yo, we smoking weed. I no, brother. I, I'm I'm straight edge. I'm cold turkey, brother. Well, you blaze enough. Uh, you blaze enough for the both of us. Parkov when? <laughs> Tarkov. I think I will be playing Rust soon, though. That's sign. He off the zin out here. Yeah, dude, brother. I I never do a sober stream. I'm just fucking on this shit, dude. On that fucking six milli boys. On I'm a Zinfidel. But uh, yeah, as I was saying, so I I'm obsessed with this fucking thing, and it's just like it's terrible. It's just fat and carbs, right? I mean, but it tastes so goddamn good. And my dad brings them in a goddamn shoebox. He brings an entire shoebox full of, full of this stuff every time he comes back. And he got some cookies this time too. He got some like almond cookies. And it, no gray zone warfare. What is that? I saw some people playing it. Uh, is that good? Is that a good game? I think maybe touch it. How's the AC? The AC's broken. Uh, HVAC guys are gonna be infiltrating this house at, on on Monday. So. Uh, very excited to hang out with some ASAP, uh, with, with some uh, HVAC business owners, you know. But anyway, yesterday was supposed to be my big deficit day, and it didn't. It didn't turn out to be a big deficit day. You want want to know why? Because I ate fucking like four of these. Because they're so easy to eat. They're like pizza. Pizza is just carbs and and fat. So it's super easy to just take down an entire pizza. Maybe even more than just uh, uh you know, maybe a couple pizzas. Now the problem is these things are I'm eating like three four of these at a time and I gained two pounds already since my dad got here I was at 240 I was so close to greatness I was so close to hitting 239 finally going across the barrier crossing the Rubicon problem is problem is I didn't get to cross the Rubicon I went in the opposite direction so that's the issue is we got to work on it. We got to work on um, how to deal with uh, these these delicacies. How do you lose weight and gain muscle at the same time? Do you just have some days where you cut and don't lift? Uh, how do you lose weight and gain muscle? You just lose fat while building muscle. It's hard. It's really hard. It's the hardest thing you could do, but it, you, it can be done. Anyway, regardless, so I did that. I ate that. I feel bad. I gained two pounds already in two days, whatever. But um, yeah, last night I was watching the Warrior with my pop pop. So one of those shows that's great to watch with your dad. And one of the things I got to say, I'm on season two. I'm about to finish season two. And it's like, bro, why is the race is so cool? For those of you who haven't watched Warrior, I'm not going to spoil it for you. This is just like basic plot points that uh, you could find from the trailer. But like, there's a couple different factions. You're an onion, okay? A Chinese dude who came with the mission. Uh, but a Chinese dude that came with a bunch of other Chinese immigrants to, to San Francisco, okay? And... Um, and you join a Tong, one of the like one of the more militant uh, gangster factions in Chinatown, in San Francisco's Chinatown, that like runs the show there. And the show is all about like uh, these different Tongs fighting one another, like these different gangs uh, internally fighting one another in Chinatown. But then also 
everybody fucking trying to kill Chinese people because they're so racist. And one of the major characters in the in the show is this like super sick dude. He's the Irish labor leader. And he is so like, he's constantly trying to kill Chinese. Like he is Indian Hassan raid. Hey, what's up Arun? I uh, hope you had a good stream, brother. Thank you for the raid. So, so the problem is it's a, it's Bruce Lee's writing and it's like kind of corny, kind of cheesy, but like kind of fun. It's an easy watch. Okay. It's an easy watch. Here's the warrior. Uh, it's an HBO show. Originally, I think they canceled it. They shelved it, but I think Netflix might actually bring it back because they bought it. Okay. They bought it. And they might end up bringing it back if it's popular. Thing is, Joe Taslam is the GOAT. I love him. The main character is fine, even though I do like him because his name is Assam. So it seems, it always feels like they're saying Hassan. Um, Young Jun is great. I hate the white lady. I hate Joanna Vanderham. I'm sorry. She got to go. I just, I, since day one, I just don't know what it is. I hate her. Um, but that's not who I'm talking about. So a lot of the white dudes in the show are just straight up xenophobic, very racist, right? I mean, he's the goat. Hun Lee, uh, Wang Chao is the goat, like straight up coolest character. Love him. He's the best. Um, but anyway, the problem with the show is this guy Dan Leary, played by Dean S. Jagger. He is like the clan leader, basically. He's not like the clan leader, really. He is the labor leader who is like militantly anti-Chinese. Uh, He's like militantly anti-Asian in general because it's like the classic, oh, they took her gerbs type shit. The problem is, even though his face is doing a little Charlie Kirk right here, he actually... He actually looks so sick in the show, and he is so hot in the show. And honestly, I I like I I found myself real conflicted based on a real person, by the way, actual labor leader who was racist during Chinese diaspora in California. I forgot the dude's real name. Okay, but it's an issue, bro. It's an issue. You can't be that sick. It's like, bro, your bitch too bad. Your weed too loud. Your racism too powerful. Like, you can't do this. You can't do this. Your racism too good. You call every white person hot? I literally just called a white person not hot before this. And it's kind of crazy because it's like, this dude is like a really good person. And also extremely racist and like a really bad person at the same time. Because... He's like, cares for the poor, cares for the working class, but just cannot in his mind shake the notion that like Chinese people are also being exploited. <laughs> it's just like, he just can't, like, he just does not see Chinese people as human beings. He's like everything. If he lived in a world where he never met a Chinese person, he'd be the nicest guy in the village. Okay. But like he saw one Chinese guy and was like, I want to kill every Asian person on the planet. What the fuck is going on? And it's such a, it's such an odd, I mean, I like the writing because like you don't normally have like an objectively openly racist dude who is then also shown as like a good person. Oftentimes you'll be like, yeah, racism is bad, right? Or sometimes people will make a, a person be racist and say racism is good and make the racist person good. It's just like, I don't know. I just, I found a very, I found him a weird and interesting and interestingly cool, I guess. Um, but we'll see progressive except for Palestine, except is China. Yeah. He's like, he's like an Israeli socialist. Just like, he's like, yeah, no, permanent ethnic cleansing for all Palestinians, except like 
you know, I want to uplift the working class, uh, both internationally and here at home. And I'm working at a soup kitchen. I, um, and like, he's also pro, uh, abolition of slavery too, that, which is really funny. He literally is just like an Israeli labor social or like a Israeli socialist <laughs> early on Israeli socialist. Um, he's based off of Dennis Kearney. Oh, damn. He ugly as hell, bro. Look at this fucking ugly ass. Yeah. He is incredibly racist, but also at the same time, the show made him incredibly cool. Like he is so fucking strong. Uh, anyway, uh, whatever that was just like totally random, but I was thinking about that a lot, but yeah, like I said, Warriors, like a good show. There's not a lot of, there's not a lot of shows out there that are good shows to watch with your dad or if you're a real crazy one with your, uh, with your uncle, you know, let's say you're a, you're an uncle nephew. You got an uncle nephew dynamic. That's like on shaky ground. This is a good show you can watch with them. Cause there's so much Kung Fu. There's a lot of fucking too. I don't, weirdly enough, I don't really care about the sex scenes all that much. I don't think they're, they're a little, I'm not like a zoomer by any means, as you guys know, but I, I, I do find like the sex scenes to be like a bit much. Like it's not very tasteful. I don't think, but the Kung Fu is great. The sex scenes like come across as unnecessary almost. I don't know how else to describe it. Where like they're not they're rarely ever they're rarely ever advancing the plot and it just feels like the show is basically going, "Here's a sex scene for you, please. Go ahead." And I find that really interesting cuz like sex scenes are great. I don't have an issue with it and they can be really fucking hot too. <laughs> and for some weird reason their sex scenes are not hot. I don't know. I I don't know why. It is very gratuitous. It does feel like they just kind of peppered it in there just to keep people's attention on the show, maybe. Yeah, it's just like, yeah, please pay attention to the show. Here's a sex scene. <laughs> um, something along those lines. But overall, Andrew Koji's training for the show. Uh, oh, overall, dragon. it's it's great. Great show. Good kung fu. Fun. Uh, a lot of racism. A lot of politics. A lot of sex. And, uh, that's it. And then, um, woke up and I worked out this morning and, uh, yeah, I want to get, I want to get this dude's body. This is what I need. Crab spider and they're good for all over body conditioning. And this guy's British flexibility as well. Flexibility is important. The thing that helped change my life Ew. in terms of turning kicks, you're just tapping this. That one, two, three, four, five. Try and do your best. Dude, what the fuck? Bro, even what do you mean? They're even outsourcing our Asians to England? Like, what the fuck? We have enough Asians here. Why are we even losing? Why are our Asians losing fucking roles to British guys? What the hell? This is why I'm a fan of the Dennis Kearney character. Folks! <laughs> They're stealing our jobs, the British. We must put an end to that. Yeah, he's dope. Head, hip, and heel in one line. Boom. Boom. Once you get to it, you can just snap it out. Uh, we're doing uh, slow kicks. Doing slow kicks will help keep your form and structure, your muscle conditioning for all the small little muscles you use when you're doing kicking stuff. Anyway, it's cool. All right. Um, but yeah, I uh, I worked out this morning. Uh, I did upper body. My shoulder hurts a little bit. Classic. Classic. And um, Will was talking about the pod I yesterday. Mean, he was in the closet for a long time. So he's really ringing that gay bell. Oh, and yeah. I am so okay with that. And listen, I'm not. I live in West Hollywood. I have for a decade, so yeah. I I get gay, right? Like I, I'm down to get a little gay, but he's like turbo gay right now, and he's he likes so, to do turbo gay. gay shit. He's too gay. He needs to dial it back. He's too gay, bro. <laughs> we need to dial it back. Okay, a couple notches. 
what I mean? Like, I'll go out to the Abbey and I'll have a brunch and I'll watch a drag show, but I'm not going to fly to Miami to, to hunt twinks on a preserve. You know what I mean? That's some turbo gay shit. Um, I, that's just not where I am in my life. So like, uh, so that's like a little, that's like a little different. Um, <laughs> and then I, I think, I think, <laughs> I think Hassan and cutie are kind of in what I would call like their post fun era where they like just truly believe that they cannot have fun anymore. That's not true. I just, you just don't find it to be fun. Oh yeah. Um, all right, all right. Let's uh, let me blast off real quick. We'll talk about Shy Davide uniting the uh, Western political spectrum, Western po uh, political spectrum in its entirety. Wait, what the fuck? Is this is a fan channel, bro? Posted a fan channel. No, I can't believe Hasanami Productions posted. The motherfucking Giannis Varoufakis interview before we did, bro. That's insane. What are we doing right now? What's happening, bro? Are are we are we for real? Are we are we joking? Is that what's going on? Come on, Hassan Ivy Productions. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Anyway. You should post clips on your Twitter too. Okay, everybody stop. Ugh, I'm annoyed. I don't know how to deal with this. Okay, I don't want to deal with this right now. I don't give a shit. Whatever. Um, if you're not first, you're last. No, he's... I have the bell on for Hassan Hour Production, but not your channel. That's not... I mean, come on, dude. That's uh, really funny, bro. Okay. What are my editors doing? What do we upload? What the fuck do we post? Shitting on Destiny for 32 minutes straight? That's an insane video to upload. <laughs> what a title. What the fuck is this? My editors are out of control, man. <laughs> it's fine. I mean, it's uh, who gives a shit? They listen, they do whatever they want to do, and I respect it. Anyway, did you see actually debating Aiden on transgender stuff? Why would I know that? Why would I even... What? XQC debating Aiden? On trans-related issues? Like, that sounds... That sounds like the absolute mathematically dumbest conversation. That will take back trans rights harder than fucking Matt Walsh, okay? XQC was based. I mean, I hope. Please, please, trans chatters need this brain rot. No, you don't need this. You definitely don't. I've seen Aiden debating trans issues. Sounds like they're somehow both on the wrong side, but still disagreeing. Excuse defends the trans side of the argument, surprisingly. No. What the fuck is this lineup, bro? XQC versus Aiden with DJ Academics and Trainwrecks? What the fuck is happening here? Did he do the worm? It's fucking insane. I only care You're about nuts. kids, bro. Leave the kids... Uh, he left. I only care about leaving the kids out of it, bro. I just got mad about the target shit, and I get mad about you know tr like having puberty blockers for kids. That's all. That's all I get mad that about. That doesn't happen though. It's it's yeah, like X, it, it does. It does. Some parents I, allow. I it. said I'm it. I said it. Give me statistics. I said huh? give me examples. Give me I'll articles. You, you have given you me what. nothing. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what because I'm not informed. I don't really spend all my time doing. This. Bro, uh, 100 percent, 100 percent. I stand on this. Aiden Ross is literally directly infinitely worse for an entire generation of americans than like if we were blasting literal like trans characters in every single fucking tv show okay like 
One, because obviously there's no issue with trans characters in TV shows in general. But two, Aiden Ross literally is worse. Like physically, spiritually, psychologically, so much worse for the children. I just, I, it, what? What? What is going on here? Like, do people think children are just like fucking taking gender pills or fucking gender confirmation, doing gender confirmation surgery? No, that's not happening. You know what is happening though? Aiden Ross is converting them to be little freaks, okay? Little sociopaths. They're fucking running around being like, on God for real, big dog. You're a real piece of shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a bad person. That's what they're doing. They're running around being like, yeah, yeah, we should kill gay people on God for real. That's a real W, dog. I love Nazi shit, dog. On God. For real, for real. That's what they're doing. Little broccoli haired zoomers running around. Dudes with Edgar Cuz running around, blasting Travis Scott, fucking talking about how, hey, two genders on God, bro. man's fucking <laughs> man had a segment trying to get his fan base of little broccoli headed zoomers to do hate crimes bro he would literally have a fan base where he's like yeah i'll give you a I, I, he had a segment where he was like i'll give you 50 dollars if you like go stab your brother or whatever the fuck he used to do i remember because his brother there was a dude who was a fan of his it was like yeah my gay ass brother loves Hassan. i'm gonna kill him now You literally educated XG about this last year. Take some credit. No, I didn't, dude. Uh, I mean, X, she's a... I'm glad to hear that he's still, like... I'm glad to hear that uh, XUC is still, like, intellectually curious about stuff like this. That makes me happy. I haven't, like, uh, talked to him in a while. I have no idea what he's fucking up to. I, I don't really care to know. I don't really know. But it, it makes me happy that he's, like, still... Uh, he's still interested in this sort of stuff, I guess, to a certain degree. Just give me one, then. I, I'll find some. If I really take time to Google it, I can. I saw a number saying 17,000, but I want This is such a fucking stupid thing to say, too. It's like, you have this firmly held conviction, right? And you don't even fucking know. Like, imagine having this firmly held conviction. And, like... X, she's like, okay, so give me a fucking piece of statistics. He's like, well, I can Google it. It's like, bitch, what do you mean? Maybe you should have fucking Googled it beforehand. How do you arrive at, at like this level of anger that you feel, this level of frustration that you feel in your fucking heart deep down inside about something you don't know anything about? I want to look into it before I really use it as evidence. So you're but pushing here. a narrative with absolutely nothing, no backing, no knowledge, no statistics, can, and no examples. No, 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 no. But he's right. He's right. Aiden Ross got fucking ha his shit pushed in by a dude who didn't even have to pull out the worm. Respect the XQC on this. XQC, you don't think there's ever been a minor that's taken puberty blockers. It's, it's a no, Okay, it's, and you were mad about the tattoos earlier. How many minors get, get tattoos? I don't agree with that, though. I, don't, I think minors okay. should... Oh my god, you shut up. Shut up. No, you don't have any fucking issue with that. You're, it's such bullshit. Okay? Is such fucking bullshit. Damn, respect to the fucking juicer, dude. That's crazy. Fish not drink it. Any type of tattoo. Well, I, are people so mad about shit they don't even know about? Bro, what do you mean? That's literally just conservatism. You just described reactionary thinking. That's literally what the right wing does, bro. That's all they do. Like, sure, the left gets hysterical. Okay? And they get very mad and they get very angry and they kind of look cringe sometimes. That's definitely true. Okay. Sometimes the left might even go a little overboard on issues and like cast you out and consider you to be an, uh, a rival, even if you are an ally, but at least they fucking are one on the right side of the issues and two are a little bit more knowledgeable about the things that they're mad about. What do I mean by this? This doesn't mean that there aren't leftists who aren't dumbasses. Of course there are, right? 
But like, at least they know what the fucking problem is to get mad about it. Right wingers will just make up problems in their own fucking minds. They literally invent shit to be mad at. That's it. Half of the right wing issues are, I saw something on television and the fucking television man told me that like, Bud Light is doing beer that makes you trans. Bud Light is making beer that makes you trans. Remember, that's why I had that conversation with XCZ where I was like, they got one can? Because it was one fucking can of beer. That's it. One can of beer had Dylan Mulvaney's face on it. And that was it for the Republicans. They were like, they are trying to transify our youth. I will not drink Bud Light. I'm shooting it. One fucking can. Like, that's... That's what motivates these motherfuckers. They don't know what the fuck's going on. They're just angry and scared, okay? It's so crazy. Literally, your partner dreaming you were mad at them and not talking to you because of it? Yeah, exactly. The entire conservative movement just brought to heel with one can of piss beer, bro. That's it. That's why it's just like, sometimes it gets really, I mean, that's why it's really fun to look at and parse through a lot of these angers, a lot of these, like, uh, a lot of this resentment. I love that shit for that reason. That's why right-wingers are so entertaining. But that's also why it's, like, kind of hard to argue sometimes against the dude who's just like, no, I'm stupid. No, I'm scared. Fuck you. And also, I'm going to keep being scared no matter what you tell me. Are you going to blast out, big bro? Fuck, I keep forgetting. You're right. Okay. Maybe I will look at the XQC thing. How long is it? Wait, finish the clip. Hold on. I'm going to blast off and then I'll finish it. They get so triggered if you say they're scared. Yeah, it's so funny. People fucking... New Drake... UAW wins against Volkswagen. Columbia professor. Columbia professors unhinged. Uh, what? Israel unites everyone. Peach jars will be on later for ban appeals. Walking Dead season three, episode three plus four. Later, get in now. Dude, I've been thinking about Walking Dead Season 3 all fucking day. Oh my god, I can't wait. I, I literally look forward to the gaming sessions more than anything else. Do we have a blast off? Do we have a blast off? No, we do not have a blast off. Okay. Oh wait, there is one actually, right? This one is pretty good. to believe we're all a part of a community are you watch are you and peach is gonna do a tier list and watch joe rogan maybe probably not any chance to put a telltale back to the future game maybe new patrick cc vid on diddy files maybe we could look at that last time you showed a guest on joe rogan Oh my God, December 13th, 2023 is the last time I showed a guest on Joe Rogan. I showed, did Hassan show his guest Joe Rogan today? Has 2,000 followers? What? How popular was this shit? Now I kind of need to show my guest Joe Rogan to keep this account alive, bro. No, you showed more reason, but Austin, I stopped posting on that account. 
Oh, it was Austin Ox who, who was running it. You fell off more Rogan. Yeah, honestly, bro, that's true. My fall off. My fall off is, is because I'm not watching enough Rogan. I'm doing Rogaine and I'm not fucking doing more Rogan. I need to do more Rogan. Can you take off the hat? The numbers on the hat are distracting. No. All right, all right, all right, all right. Kanye diss track snippet. Kanye Drake diss, Drake diss snippet came out. All right, I'm blasting off. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's do it. That's the number of your mom chat. Yep. Your mom's number. So did Drake drop something? I also rated... Uh, uh, I rated Fantano last night and I listened to him a little bit. Um, I listened to Fantano's uh, criticisms of the Taylor album. He's a bit of a hater, I'll be honest. No, I don't want to watch the Tedete interview with Norm Finkelstein on this beautiful Saturday. Okay, I'm sorry, Chatter. Like, you are not getting... You are not getting your fix of... Israel Palestine content as much as you would like to. Okay. I apologize, but holy fuck, I do this every day. You know, one day of the week, we're not doing as much Israel Palestine, which we still are, by the way, but just not as much. All right. Anyway, please look at the Quavo diss. He's going to kill Chris Brown. Yes, but Drake mentioned Taylor Swift on his new diss, so Swifties are up. Woo. Okay. Um, I'm a little confused. I feel like I need a Pepe Sylvia ass, like, like I need a, I need to have one of these like crazy things behind me, like a, like an image board behind me so I can just like string it together. I don't know who the fuck is dissing who now. I feel like anytime. Anytime they diss, anytime Drake is this, Drake retaliates by just like opening up an 11 front war like he's Israel. What is happening? I actually don't get it. Like Drake will get dissed by Kendrick Lamar. Okay. And then Drake will turn around and diss like 11 other people. And it's like, why did that just happen? Why did you like Rick Ross? Like, why did you? Why did you attack Rick Ross? I don't understand that part. Like, I mean, I, I know that there's like stuff going on, right, from before, but why did you pack up Rick Ross into the other into the other diss? Like, am I crazy? I feel like you're supposed to keep your diss focused on like the individual target. Like, I don't know if I'm crazy. Or not, but I do feel like when you're when you're getting dissed from like Kendrick Lamar, you're supposed to hit like I get why he added Metro Boom and I get why he added Future on there. I just don't know why he's like packing up everybody, and I feel like that's not. I I feel like that's not exactly. Uh, I mean, I don't know. It's not exactly pan out well for him i respect it it feels like a 20 v1 like he said no i'm i'm saying like i respect what he's doing i i think it's good content and i can't believe i'm saying this but like i do respect at least what drake is doing in terms of in terms of for the content right um in terms of uh of what it means for i guess like us as individuals on the sidelines who thrive on the drama. There's a lot of lore you and chat aren't privy to. No, <coughs> <coughs> no, 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 no. Here's the thing. He can't diss one person for three minutes. Yes, you can. What do you mean? That's what do you think Pusha T did? And he like, do you get what I mean with Pusha T? Like Pusha T shit on like Drake and then Drake's soldiers, right? Drake turned around 
and opened up like a multiple front war. When Israel is like, one, trying to genocide uh, uh, Palestinians, and then on the other hand, like doing pot shots between themselves and Hezbollah, okay, that's one thing. But then when Israel is like, okay, we're going to now open up a new front war with I Iran, it's like, well, why did you just do that to yourself? I thought you already had your hands busy with the ethnic cleansing and stuff. And with Drake, it's like, with Drake, it didn't make sense to me that he moved beyond the, you know, he moved beyond Kendrick and, and Future and Metro Boomin and maybe some of their also like soldiers, I guess, and like opened up multiple fronts for no reason. Um, now, having said that, like I, I, I mean, I'm repeating this again, but I, I think it's great. It's great. It's great content. Yeah, The weekend. He just had like a lot of resentment, it seems, for a lot of people for some time that he was carrying with himself. And he was like, no, it's time, I think. It's time to, it's time to just fucking drop it. Like at the top of the hour, there's a three minute ad break. And if you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime. We're dropping it. You know what I mean? Um, Patrick CC did a video on why Drake dissed everyone. No, he didn't. It looks like he only did a fucking Diddy Files. Hot, why Hollywood want Cat Williams dead? The brutal collapse of Acom's scam, Acon's camp scam city. Here's the three minute ad break now. By the way. Five minutes ago, you won't be getting your fill of Israel today. Five minutes later, Hassan compares the Drake just track to the Israel multi-front war. Yeah, because it. I said that because the biggest mo. I've said that because, like, I think it's a it's a valid begging on my knees. <laughs> what is this? Chris Brown weakest link. Quavo diss. Chris Brown is dissing Quavo. What the fuck's going on? Wait, the secret Industry. truth behind Drake's diss track, is this a different channel that he has or something? Although you might think the Drake beef is mostly between him and Kendrick, there is actually someone getting not nearly as much attention that's secretly the mastermind behind all of this. Now we all know Drake recently released his diss track called Push Ups where he dissed multiple rappers including Kendrick Lamar, Rick Ross, Future, Metro Boomin, The Weeknd, J. Cole, and potentially subliminals across the entire industry. And firstly, you know I'm always going to look at this from a business perspective and all of you have to keep in mind that music is a business. I believe that everyone involved in this beef knows that it is good for hip-hop. It's interesting and entertaining. Yeah, you're missing the context here. The whole We Don't Trust You is shots at Drake, which every person who dissed is featured on. Yeah, I, I get that, like, that was the speculation that the album was, like, predominantly taking shots at Drake. Um, I didn't realize that the entire album definitely was taking shots at Drake, with the exception of, like, the Kendrick one, obviously. That was directly yelling at Drake. That brought him up. But... But that's why I said, like, it's valid to shit on all the other people. I mean, it's valid to shit on everybody. I don't give a fuck. I'm just trying to understand exactly why he's, like, uh, why he's, he's uh, you know, opening up a multi-front war instead of, like, hyper-focusing and just, like, lasering some people. You can tell this chat white as fuck because they keep linking uh, Patrick CC for rap uh, news. Yeah, I mean... Meaning. All of these artists, yes, including Drake, their sales numbers are down. Hip hop sales numbers across the entire genre are down. Now, I'm not saying that this is pre planned and they're all secretly working together behind the scenes saying, oh, I'm going to say this, then you say that. No, it's not orchestrated like that. But all of them will make money and will benefit if their names are being dragged into this beef. They can release a single, they can release an album where they may or may not respond, and then the fans are going to tune in, leading to more streams and more sales. Beef has always been good for hip hop. It makes money. You get what I'm saying. Now in the track push-ups, Drake definitely- I'm surprised Kanye didn't drop the Jew card. That would be fucking- Bro. Kanye West. Full-blown, um, what's his face arc? What's the guy? I keep forgetting his fucking name. The dude who dated the Rothschild. 
J Electronica. Yeah. He's just... He's just going like, yeah. Kanye West talking about the Rothschilds and how Drake is involved. <laughs> Only threw some nice little jabs at Kendrick. He made fun of his shoe size. He called him a pipsqueak. He says he's being extorted by his label, saying he is just as much of a sellout rapper turned pop star as any other rapper who did pop records for money. And yeah, some good solid jabs. Cool. But there was one bar that is massively overlooked. Hugs and kisses, man. Don't tell me about no switches. I'll be rocking every chain I own next visit. I be with some bodyguards like Whitney. Top say drop your little... All right, all right, all right. <laughs> In Kendrick's track, he said y'all better get the switches and that he's going to be snatching chains, to which Drake says no you're not. But the I be with bodyguards line like Whitney, it does obviously refer to Whitney Houston's 1992 film Bodyguards, but Whitney is also the name of Kendrick Lamar's fiance. Drake dragging Kendrick's fiance's name into this beef is huge in my opinion. And I think this is is really where the beef is going to start. You have to remember that everything up until this point has pretty much just been about numbers, who has the most sales, who's the most relevant, who has the most cultural dominance, who's big three. It's just been strictly competitive until now. I mean, even if you think back all the way to Kendrick's control verse where he dissed every relevant rapper in the game. Can we listen to the song first, please? I haven't heard it yet. Dude, what? We have done... I've done like an hour and a half on the Drake disc. That's crazy. I did an hour and a half on the Drake disc. We are not going to listen to it again right now, okay? For the sake of this video. Including Drake. He said he had love for everybody, but he wanted to murder them and take their fans. But this was just for the sake of competition, which we all agree is good for hip hop. And even Kendrick's shots that he took on like that were pretty light and also strictly competitive. So Drake bringing up Kendrick's fiance, his family, is even a line that he thinks is taking it too far. Well, it wasn't even about battle rap or any of that. It was just the, the, the information was too shocking. It was, like I said, it was, it was a, on his part, it was a genius chess move. He obviously has no, like, you know, when it comes to me, he's not going to have any, like, morals or respect. So Bro, what do you mean? I mean, he, he, dude, that's crazy that he said that, that too far. That's, that, okay. That was, see? God, I totally understand why so many people love fucking like filthy, toxic drama online. Because honestly, like, I mean, this is more valid to be filthy, toxic drama perverts over, obviously, because they're like superstar celebrities rather than like random fucking Twitch influencers or YouTube debate guys or whatever. You're eating it up. I mean, it's sick. It's kind of sick. And they do actually legitimately benefit from it in ways and they don't actually get harmed by it because they're so they've gone beyond the level of wealth and fame that like they they can totally tank that shit in a way that like I can't because I'm a fucking normal person at the end of the day. They are not. So the other elements of the record, um, whether it be like just like the shit that he's making up about my mom and my dad and all this like dumb yeah. shit. Or, uh, or, you know, obviously the part that, that hit me the most, which is like, you know, wishing like that my friend that had- Copium normal? Yes, brother. I'm normal in comparison to Drake, okay? What the fuck are you saying? And I am, I am normal. I spend all my fucking, I spend my entire day just yelling at the internet. That's it. I'm reading the internet and I'm yelling, just like you do, okay? The only difference is I'm getting paid for it. You're doing it watching me and also doing it on your free time when you're at work. That's the difference. Beyond that, beyond that, it's like, I don't do anything. I don't do anything unique in comparison to like actual fucking celebrities. Okay. These guys are literally like this dude calls his house, the embassy. It's like a hundred million dollar compound on an entire block in Toronto carved out specifically for his like custom made house with a NBA uh, NBA uh, 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 style basketball court indoors and shit. You're like, yeah, you're just like, you and you and Drake are the same. Like, you guys are insane. Okay, the basketball court goes hard though. Yeah, he owns whole ass. Uh, yeah, he owns whole ass uh, Boeing seven forty seven that he that he uses for his uh, privately. 
as a private jet. I can't even talk. Okay, let's as an illness like dies. Uh, like though that shit to me is just not really wavy. Like I don't, I, I, I'm, I'm just not really with that. Like, and when I did say, oh, there's rules to this, I didn't mean there's rules that anybody has to follow. Whether whether there was information that didn't get revealed or not, the point is like, I, there's just some unwritten rules in the sport for some people. Obviously yeah. not for him, and that's fine. You know, there's a point where you're gonna want to stop rapping. I'm sure I could say something about, you know, your lovely lady or, you know, a child or a family member, and you're just gonna want to not really rap anymore. Yeah. So when Pusha T brought up Drake's family, his child, and his friend 40, who was unwell, Drake said that was too far. He also admits that's how Pusha won. So wouldn't mentioning Kendrick's wife by Drake's own definition be too far? It would, which is why I think Drake is being fully intentional here and he wants to poke the bear and see what Kendrick is gonna do, which in my opinion is really where the beef starts. It starts at the mention of Kendrick's fiance and things could get ugly from here. Like if Kendrick responds to that line directly, he might start wiling out, exposing personal information. Again, I don't think they're gonna be sliding on each other's blocks, but no, it could, it could get a little messy. But if Kendrick ignores that line, then everyone can just kind of play it off and say, oh, that that Drake was never talking about his wife. That, that line was about hit Whitney Houston. It was just about bodyguards. Eh, whatever, forget about it. So it's definitely a strategic chess move by Drake. But ironically, the most overlooked mastermind in this entire beef is Metro Boomin. I believe he has the biggest role in this situation, but he isn't really getting the attention because he's not a rapper and he can't technically respond. The only line Metro received in push-ups was, Metro, shut your hoe ass up and make some drums. But it's actually much deeper than that. It starts great, with Metro. I That, that I think is unironically the most powerful bar there. Shot directly at a dude who just can't really respond anyway. That makes it really funny. Like the hardest line, the hardest line literally is against a dude who can't respond. What's he going to do? Make some drums? Okay, well, guess what? You just did what he told you to do. Rose tweet and delete rant about Drake. The hip hop all day Twitter account was comparing the streams of Drake's Her Loss and Metro Boomin's Heroes and Villains. Her Loss is about 1.3 billion streams behind. Heroes and Villains currently getting 10 million streams a day. Her Loss 4 million. The gap is only going to widen. Then Metro Boomin chimed into the conversation and said, Yet Her Loss still keeps winning Rap Album of the Year over Heroes and Villains. Proof that award shows are just politics and not for me. I don't care about awards, honestly. The true award and reward is knowing that the music I spend so much time on brings joy to the people's everyday lives. What's so funny about these tweets is that Metro is doing the exact same thing that DJ Khaled was doing against Tyler the Creator. Tyler went number one, DJ Khaled went number two, and DJ Khaled. Khaled was pissed and everybody was like shut up DJ Khaled you had everybody in the industry on that album and you still couldn't compete with Tyler but DJ Khaled based his argument off stream saying I make albums so people can play it and you actually hear it it's called albums that you actually hear the songs what not no mysterious shit <laughs> mysterious bro I swear to God DJ Khaled is an inspiration okay he is. He's like a, he's like a, everybody talks about disability activism. This man is living it, dude. Okay. There is no greater example of like, you can be severely like you can have severe mental restrictions and still be like a phenomenally wealthy and successful person. He is, he is the goat at that sort of thing. Cause like, Anytime I hear him talk for an extended period of time, I'm like, there's just something going on. <laughs> and I don't really know what it is, but like, good luck. You know, congratulations, I think. Yeah. <laughs> also, the world's uh, probably one of the world's most well-known Palestinians. And he probably doesn't even know what's going on in Palestine. Let's be real, okay? He doesn't know. Chat, he doesn't know. He probably thinks like, he probably thinks everything is fine. They don't tell him, okay? If his handlers don't tell him that, then he just doesn't know. He's like, oh, yeah, I love eating eggs for breakfast. <laughs> Look at me. Eggs Benedict. Oh, another one. <laughs> 
Like, they didn't tell him that. So he doesn't know. If he found out, he'd be too shocked. Okay? The problem with DJ Khaled is, despite the fact that he is of Palestinian descent, um, if they told him about what was going on in Gaza, he would be so scared that he would perish. Like, he, he, it, would, it would shock him, and then he would go into a coma or something. So they have to hide the truth from him, like Sarah in Walking Dead Season 2. Look, look what good it did when Sarah found out that there's fucking zombies outside. You know what I mean? She fucking died. Big L for her. You never hear it. Like, dude, shut up. Igor was just a great album. That's it. Metro is kind of doing the same thing here. He's mad about an award, not necessarily going number one. But Metro is an executive producer. DJ Khaled is an executive producer. The only difference is that Metro does have the capability and the ability to make amazing music himself and actually do the producing. And he didn't make some annoying video to post on social media, but I mean, Dante, you gotta back me up here. Like he's clearly pressed. Like he said, I don't even care about awards. Then why did you tweet about it, bro? You care. But then he deleted the tweet. So I guess that proves he doesn't care. And then Drake, a few months later, called him a tweet and deleter. The non-believers, the underachievers, the tweet and deleters. You guys make me sick to my stomachs, fam. Dude, he's just so... He's such a fucking cornball, dude. Like, he is... God damn, he's such a fucking cornball. I cannot believe that he literally won. He... He has a, a major contract with stake, the crypto gambling casino, for those of you who don't know. And he literally has like turned that into uh, a, a slogan at this point where he says like Anita Max win and people fucking repeat that. And people that don't even know that that's a crypto casino that he's like sponsored by are probably saying it and shit. Uh, anyway, that's besides the point. He's just such a fucking... He is just such a cornball. It's crazy. So is LeBron, but you stand. Excuse me. LeBron gets to be a cornball. He is the GOAT. Drake is not. The fuck do you mean? That's, a, that's wild. That's a wild comparison, bro. Are you kidding me? Are you joking? Look at LeBron's upbringing. Look at LeBron's development. Look at what LeBron has done. Look at what he has achieved, okay? LeBron did not come from a comfortable upper middle class beginning as a child actor, okay? How dare you? How dare you compare the GOAT? That is insane, bro. Bro is blowing bubbles on it. Come on. Even, dude, okay, let me tell you something, okay? This is white supremacy. This, this is white supremacy. Sorry, this is white supremacy. That's it. It's true. This is white supremacy. You, this is racism. I didn't realize I was harboring a bunch of Klansmen in my chat. That's right. I'll say it. I'll say it. That's it. I'll, I'll say it. How many public schools has Drake funded? And if Drake were to fund a public school, it would probably be for suspicious reasons. Okay? High school picks, you was even bad then? Now I'm funding the high school to see more of the picks? To see how bad they are? That type of situation. Never compare LeBron to Drake. Don't do that. That's crazy. Honestly, if you guys want to look in my eyes, you guys want to do something? You guys, that's what I thought. So hear me out. Metro believes in his heart. Her loss robbed him of an opportunity to win a BET award or a Grammy or some other award. So it makes sense why he would drop another album that's not necessarily rushed, but I mean, Heroes and Villains dropped like 14, 15 months ago and he already has We Don't Trust You this year. Especially considering Drake said he won't be dropping any more music this year. Maybe, maybe, Metro is trying to drop an album and get the award. LeBron, wait. Zesty though, you being zestophobic. Drake is very zesty, but not even in like a cool way. 
he's zesty in a cornball way because like it's not even like leaning into the zest because like if you lean into the zest it's fine you know what i mean i mean look at tyler the creator he's zesty i mean he's so zesty he's like literally bisexual right or a gay i don't know but but like drake on the other hand and it's very cool Drake, on the other hand, is like, I'm so hard body while holding a fucking espresso martini. And it's like, dude, you're drinking an espresso martini right now. I see the little, the little nuggets at the tippy top of your foamy espresso martini. It's like, you can't, you can't do that. You can't do that while being like, yeah, I'm hard body. I'm hard body, son. That's right. Come at me, bro. It's weird. Espresso martinis are good. Yes, but you can't like. You just can't do that. It, 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 you got to do one or the other. You can lean into it. You can be like, this is me. I love this shit. I, I fucking think it's awesome. You can't be doing that with fake abs. Okay. You can't act hard body when the only thing hard about the body are the fucking ab implants. You can't do that. Ever since I found that out, it's just like, it's been so Jover. Also, Loki, that was kind of a bar. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, Uzi. A little Uzi Vert. Zesty. Great. Leans into it. It's awesome. Playboy Cardi. Zesty. Leans into it. It's awesome. Or that he thinks he deserves, which would be so funny if Drake just said, "Nah, fuck it, I'm gonna do a surprise album," <laughs> and he drops an album that gets an award over Metro again. That would be diabolical. Okay, if Drake drops another album this year, I think he watched this video because the ultimate troll to Metro would be to drop another album and intercept. Yeah, he watched your second channel's video, Patrick CC. Metro's ability to get some award or get a Grammy or something like that. That would be crazy but additionally it was on we don't trust you that future took shots at drake he said on track number one you my number one fan dog sneak dissing i don't understand pillow talking acting like a fed i don't need another fake friend can't be about a hoe because we sharing in your feelings why you playing dog i know I, I didn't rap it all right i didn't rap it and the only reason we knew this was a diss at drake was because drake's opening line please don't use it please don't let them Please don't let the term zesty have a lengthy term as something people use often. I mean, it's all just like light to uh, aggressive homophobia of varying degrees. We use it ironically, obviously, in here, but that's what it is. It's the same fucking principle behind pause, no homo, and many other uh, variants of it. That's what it is. It's just like, um, here, I'll use academic language for all of my I can't understand jokes. Unfortunately, I'm neurodivergent chatters. It's basically when someone breaks gender norms, given the fact that gender norms are not on a rigid binary, uh, when someone breaks gender norms, uh, that juxtaposition is considered uh, zesty. And in push-ups was, I could never be nobody's number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. Which is true. I mean, surprisingly, Future had like seven or eight number one albums, but he never had a number one single until he collaborated with Drake. I think it was way too sexy, which is like, Future deserved so many other number ones other than that. But regardless, it is true. But there- You're looking more white from getting your rap views from this? Bro, it's just like 13 minutes long. That's why. The other video that I pulled up was just too long. Privilege R&B Chris Brown. Or no, not this one. Uh, where the fuck is it? There was another link I had up. It, what's Holman the dirt? In rap and old. Wait, like this one is also white. What the fuck? And echoes a very. I'm sorry, bro. Everybody in the fucking chat is just is white. Okay, that's what it is. That's why they only learn about the shit from white people.
there really isn't that much history of beef between Future and Drake. Like, they're kind of friends, as far as we know. I mean, bloggers and YouTubers are now diving into the history and looking at all of these subliminal shots that may or may not be between these two, and there could be something there, but the only likely explanation that makes any sense is over a girl, and it's a really long story that's not worth getting into all of the details in my opinion, but... The spark notes is essentially that Drake and Future allegedly have some beef over this girl who goes by the name Princess Diana. But then again, Future just said that the beef can't be about a hoe because they're sharing, which does prove that they have shared women in the past, but it doesn't really seem that strong. So Metro is clearly mad at- Okay, dude. I mean, this is like, I need more. I need more. This wasn't that good. You should only get your rap knowledge from DJ Academics. Yeah. We're trying to get into Drake's mind. That's why we're watching Pat. Yeah, to be fair, I think Pat is uh, perfectly valid in covering Drake. People are talking about like, oh, this is uh, black people's business, but we're talking about Drake. Okay, come on. That Drake and Future might be lightly agitated or maybe Future is not particularly happy with the way that Drake and Metro's relationship has sort of panned out. So it's time to take sides. Is Future going to side with Metro? Or Drake. But you have to consider Metro's role here. He's an amazing producer. Some might even call him the best in hip hop. You can work with a great producer for your whole career, but you can't really have a partnership unless you're a duo with another rapper. Like if you're on Drake's side, what do you get? Okay, you get a feature and you get kind of the cultural relevance by being beside him. You might get a an Instagram tag or maybe you get a whole collab album. Future has all of that already from Drake. He got all of the benefits that you get from being Drake's friend in the industry. So... You are too Caucasian to make that joke, man. Wait, what? I'm too Caucasian to make what joke? That Drake makes music for white people? Really? Drake is white jokes? Did I say that? I wasn't joking. Drake does make music for white people. He makes music for everybody, but predominantly for white people. Dog, was everyone on I now? Okay, bro, that's a bad take. Also, he is, he is like very, 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 uh, Caucasian coded for many different reasons, but it definitely is like, uh, his, his upbringing. That's why the whole, like, uh, Rick Ross, this actually fits specifically because there's like old videos of him being like, uh, black people speak a certain type of way. And I hate that <laughs> mostly because he's Canadian. I think I feel like Toronto. Yeah. He literally called Rick Ross racist. That is the whitest thing you can do. <laughs> Reverse racism is still racism, sir. <laughs> oh, that was pretty funny. I, I, that, that tweet was actually funny. Anyway. Kind of doesn't really need him anymore. Strategic. Chad is so addicted to debating you, they're going to turn into hip hop historians. Really? Really? Siding with Metro really is Whatever. better for the long term. Plus, who knows how close Drake and Future actually are as friends behind the scenes. Maybe Future was always using him for sales. But Future and Metro do have a long history together, and they are from the same city. For Kendrick, the decision was easy. It was just, let me jump on the number one producer's album and take a shot at the biggest rapper in the game. But Metro benefited heavily from both of these situations. Then add the week into the mix and metro yet again benefited from that too the weekend received some bars on push-ups as well hip -hop shit when you don't know it bro what are you talking about what the fuck are you talking about dude this is literally pop drama shut the fuck up okay if you're taking this that seriously you have already lost the plot yes it is pop drama drake does pop music shut the fuck up Oh my god, bro. Why are you guys riding Drake Schmidt so fucking hard? Holy shit. Drake is a pop star. Okay? Drake is a pop star. If you take this 
if you're like, whoa, you don't understand his entire discography, like, you're fucking stupid for even covering this shit. You're out of your mind. I don't listen to Taylor Swift either. I was having fun with it yesterday. I didn't hear none of you motherfuckers chirping about that shit. Why? Because you don't give a fuck about Taylor Swift, but you really care about Drake. Of course, I have a community full of uh, a lot of, you know, Drake and drivers because this is a very white community. Lol, you in the minority in this one, brother. Oh my God. Oh. Firstly, Drake said that The Weeknd claims Toronto, but he isn't actually from there. Then he basically makes fun of The Weeknd's manager for paying Metro to put him on his most recent two albums. Which, as you know, The Weeknd does kind of stand out on Heroes and Villains and We Don't Trust You. It's like, all right, The Weeknd's a singer. He's not really a rapper. Like... He's kind of like the token singer on this projects, on these projects. But again, why would The Weeknd need to be on Metro's album? Well, you guys have to think with your business brain. Sure, The Weeknd is a pop star, but he still needs that hip hop coolness factor. He needs the approval of the hip hop community to remain on top, even as a pop star. It's just a strategic marketing and branding decision. Like rappers just kind of have this cool factor that's Difficult to explain. They usually have the most pop in Instagrams. They dress the nicest. They just have this cool aura or looming interest around them that people, our society, our pop culture interest has just kind of given them. Why do you think Post Malone started with rap and then now drifted into pop? Yeah, why are they pretending that this is obscure DIY scene drama that you have to have lived in Columbus, Ohio and have gone to 20 shows per month to have an opinion on? This is Drake Kendrick and The Weeknd, yeah. People literally are just like, uh, actually, please stay out of this. There's a big racial component here that you are not understanding. It's like, dude, we're talking about, we're talking about Drake. Like, this is not like, I'm not, I'm not diving into like Dr. Umar. Okay. That's wild. <laughs> Even though the analysis in and of itself is like very, uh, you know, very Caucasian for sure and country why do you think morgan wallen wanted to collaborate with lil dirk why do you think that pop stars want rappers to feature on their songs well because they get this strong cultural cosign that is hard to quantify with dollars but we all know that like, it exists for all the drake meat writers in the chat like i think drake is incredibly corny he is a cornball but i thought his diss track was awesome i think he popped off i said that so i don't know why the fuck you guys are uh mad because as someone who is as someone who enjoys some of Drake's music, because I think it's like fine, I don't have an issue hearing top 40. Uh, it is weird that uh, you're that's the best you're gonna get from someone who is not like firmly planted Drake's penis inside of their spine in the way that many of you have, it seems. The disc was mid to be fair. No, it wasn't. It was not mid. It was pretty good. So you're wrong about that. Like I'm pretty fair as far as uh as far as Drake goes, I think I'm pretty fair. Uh he's weird. He's uh he makes top 40 hits, which I don't have issues with. I think it's great. Anyway, What is this? 10 minutes ago, you were like, um, Drake has never made any good songs. Drake has never made any good songs. What, when have I said that? What are you guys on right now? It's so funny, bro. I, I want to check your chat history and see how much you were enjoying me fucking shitting on Taylor Swift. If you were in there, oh, fuck, you weren't in there yesterday when I was shitting on Taylor Swift's uh, new album. God damn it. Or you were suspiciously quiet, Jimmy Gatsby. Okay? I never said Drake doesn't make, Drake doesn't have any good songs. That would be an insane thing to state. I, I have always maintained the position that Drake is a pop star. He makes pop music. But I like pop music. I don't have an issue with, like, formulaic pop music at all. I don't listen to music that much. 
so as, as for for a guy who doesn't like care about the artistry or whatever the fuck i think it's great i think it's great that he's uh he's making shit that i can consume easily and enjoy i don't know why the fuck that's like such a hard pill to swallow for other people that you're like oh dude you're fucking you think drake is awful you think he's never made a hit uh, yeah dude i yeah that's what i said exists it's invaluable and the weekend knows that he needs to maintain that and how do you maintain that well you get featured on metro's album where the whole hip-hop community is going to be tapping in to see who's featured on said album. The Weeknd chose to side with Metro because Metro will keep The Weeknd collaborating with the biggest rappers in the game and keep him relevant and cool. Nah, bro, you're acting like it's Chris Brown or something. Dre be rapping, rapping on shit, but you don't know, though. So it's just auto, he's a pop star. Oh my God. Oh my God, bro. Saying Drake is a pop star is not a diss, okay? He has... It's great that he's a pop star. He literally has a fucking compound and a 747 for himself as a consequence of his top 40 pop hits that he makes, okay? Bubba? 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 Huh? Niye cevap vermiyorsun lan? Kork... Ha, korktum. Kim geliyor diye içeri? Eyvallah, eyvallah. Hey, well, it's so funny that Drake stands have to act like he's super hard body. Like you literally have to the great house that I've had Drake schism of 2024, the drizzum. No. Why is it that Drake fans can't just be like, yeah, he makes pop music. It's great. He makes hip hop. He makes pop. He makes top 40 hits and that's fine. And that's great. And I enjoy it. Like, why is it that you also literally have to be like, no, he's hard body as hell, bro. On God, on God. Okay. Waste suits, all of you. Like it's fine, bro. It, it's okay. It's okay that he makes uh, he makes top forty hits. He's a he's a pop star. Pedar Bey, Alan Demez, ayıp brother. Doğru söylüyorsunuz. And Drake knows this. That's why he dissed him. As far as the Rick Ross beef, it just kind of strategically fit into Drake's diss. I think the reason why you debating academics on multiple accounts. I think the reason why a lot of people. Uh, want to maintain the facade that Drake is actually hard body. I think. I think the reason why Drake stands want to act like he's hard body is because like they also come from comfortable upper middle class backgrounds just like him. And they also have this image of themselves as though like they are hard body. So if I come at Drake, I'm coming for them. You know what I mean? Naperville Andy's up in here. Being like, oh, dude, bro, just because I tell everybody I'm from Chicago, even though I'm from Naperville, doesn't mean that I don't live that life, dog. Chill. It's like, you're from Canada. If you're from Canada, automatically, you can't be that hard body. Scott, Scott. So, I'll take care of Bubba Jim. Eh. Drake just said, fuck it, I'm taking on everyone. Drake said throughout push-ups, the theme of this track is that rappers need him for features, they need him for relevance, they need him to get their number one song, and Rick Ross kind of fits in that boat. All of Rick Ross's top hits have Drake featured on them, but it seems like most you know, of their actual you beef your history lane. is over women. Again, because it's likely that any woman that Rick Ross can get, Drake could probably take from him. And Ross responded quickly on Instagram because he really doesn't have anything to lose. I don't even fuck with Drake like that, buddy. He's not a he's not hard, but he's not a pop star dumbass. He started making fun of his nose and uh, mentioned his mother and said that he has a BBL. <laughs> he's calling him BBL Drake, <laughs> Cupcake Drake. I feel like Drake knew that rick ross was an easy w like no matter what rick ross says nobody's gonna take his side because he's old he's almost 50 years old so all in all what do you think you think it's possible that metro officer. could be the secret ringleader behind all of this or do you think i have it wrong let me know in the comments drink water okay making music is gay as hell i 100 percent agree with that that is something that i have also that is a position that i've maintained for quite a while as a matter of fact Yes. 
That is actually a very, a very consistent position that you just locked. I, I, I've always, I've always said that, is it wrong to be gay? No, of course not. It's, it's the same principle behind going to the gym. Okay. You go to the gym, you're a little gay. The more you go to the gym as a man, the gayer you get. Okay. You spend every waking moment in the gym. What are you doing? You're just like looking at brolic dudes, trying to be a brolic dude. Okay. Okay. Whatever you say, honey. All right. Myself included in that uh, window for the record. <clears throat> Marrow's in here watching the kid Marrow. Okay, this gives me a little bit more validity, I think. Watching this on booty ass plane Wi Fi. Marrow on the broadcast, I needed like a hot bag. Wi Fi on the plane, so ass, I can't even chat. Drake destabilizing mad musical regions on some United States government vibes. I say this as someone who also, again, I repeat, I liked Drake's diss. I thought it was good. It was pretty fucking good. It's just that he has a lot of openings that you can exploit. Drake killed X. He's got shooters. Hasanabi, don't play with Drake, Unk. Okay, dude. I've said this before. This one actually frustrates a lot of people because no matter how hard, no matter how hard rappers are, they're still kind of bang kids. Okay. They are. They're the bang kids of the group. What are you doing over there? Scribbling, scribbling little lines. You want to sing? You want to sing little songs? I'm just saying you got that theater kid in you, no matter what happens. That's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing at all. What is this? You know who isn't using AI? Bitch, I got G's. No. You ever make a bitty hit her knees? No. Well, guess what? I'm JP. Oh my God. I make a bitch say, hey, you bow. Front row shaking, you a bad bitch. She shaking dummy eyes, I just wanna grab it. Ooh, it's another one like DJ Khaled. He's a pop star. This is where the average person doesn't fuck with you. Just saying, bro, you are literally the most idiotic person I've ever encountered in my entire fucking life. Okay. Yeah, dude, the average person doesn't fuck with me. Not because I'm a fucking socialist in America and like have unconditionally defended Palestine and advocate for fucking labor unions and shit. But because I said Drake is a pop star, that's why the average person doesn't fuck with me. How brain broken are you, bro? What are you talking about? How fucking tunneled in are you? I'm saying because of how the way you think, dumbass. Yeah, dude, you're right. Me saying Drake is a pop star uh, has, has triggered this like weird thing in your mind, I think. That's so crazy. Oh. That chatter had that chatter. It was it was Christmas Day when Drake's Schmeet got leaked. Okay. He was like, he was playing that on repeat, thinking like, what if I sat on it? Okay. What if I sat on it? What if I blew bubbles on it? How wonderful of a day that would be. Anyway, so we haven't, we haven't even, <laughs> yeah. Chatter's like, bro, I promise, <laughs> bro, I promise I can, <laughs> I promise I can be, I can be like a, like a 16, 17 year old girl for you, Drake. I promise <laughs> I can LARP, please DM me. Your body is T. Lamao Chag is so mad. Yeah, you're the one who's definitely not mad, bro. I, it's just we are mad and we are not making fun of you. We're just really mad. 
What the heck, Hassan? Top pop artist of all time, Spotify. That's weird. This is just this crazy that they put Drake in that list. That's oh, that's weird. Yeah, <laughs> dude, you shut up. Yeah, we're we're all you got us all big mad, dude. This is why normal people don't fuck with Google, bro. It's just the way that Google thinks. It's the way that Spotify thinks. It's remnants of white supremacy to say that Drake is a pop star. <laughs> Even though he has called himself a pop star on other occasions, but like <laughs> I that's why I use DuckDuckGo, bro. I don't fuck with this Google shit. <laughs> DuckDuckGo would never call Drake a pop star. They would say he's the hardest in the rap game. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Um, have you heard? Yeah. Have you heard Hotline Bling? Excuse me. Have you heard that? What is this? <laughs> Slander? A bunch of people talking over cutie. What is this, fear amp? <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> that's fucked that was up. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the chat loved it. They loved it. They loved it. They loved it. All right, everyone has a coffee. Get back in your thing. Oh, I did a little tear up. That was good. Okay. Okay, to be fair, at least we have a woman. On our podcast, okay? The Yard is so misogynistic, they don't. They don't even want women on there.
get mad at me, but so much of the new Kanye stuff, it, it, except for his last album, which was eh, you know, but a lot of the a lot of the new Kanye is almost always brought down by Kanye rapping. Like the production will be so good sometimes, not the last album. But then he just raps on it and you're like, oh no. Like what is oh Jesus. Okay, sure. Okay, Unk. Let's get you to bed. You could never make Donda except Jesus Christ. Okay. Pluto sent the drones a hit like Metro Beats. It's a rapper, niggas. Where's Lucien? Serve your master, nigga. You caught a little bag for your masters, didn't you? Lifetime deal, like a bad for niggas. Bad for niggas. Y'all so out of sight, out of mind. I can't even think of a Drake line. Play J. Cole, get the pussy dry. Play this shit back 130 times. Young dope dealer selling dope, is you like that? Anyway. Um, okay, that's, what is this? This part was edited out from it. <laughs> Stop. Choo, 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 choo. This clip, I can't believe I didn't even know. As as the number one Alex Jones stand, I didn't even know that this clip existed, which is crazy. It's crazy. He's casting spells. I'm a fake fan. Okay. What was the context of that clip? I don't know. But here is the new uh, Drake Taylor made freestyle three minutes and 52 seconds, which I don't really understand. Um, I, I don't really understand this either. Like, I guess he just has so much smoke. Um, does he does he take another shot at Kendrick on this? Like, I don't know.
Wait, 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 sorry, I gotta, I gotta go into this. Talk about him. So he goes, talk about him liking young girls. That's a gift for me. Heard on the Button Podcast is gotta be true. So. Uh, what a weird way to try to defuse the absolute nuclear bomb. It's like trying to fucking stop the nukes from launching with a crayon. That's insane. That is his greatest opening, right? Everyone on TikTok has been clowning on him for this in perpetuity. Everyone on Twitter. Uh, this is probably part of the reason why a, a lot of people don't really like uh, Drake that much. Even if they listen to his music, they're still like, yeah, he's kind of weird. I don't know what's up with that. And it is a weird way to try to get ahead of this by, by basically, by basically being like, oh, heard it on the button podcast. It's gotta be true. No, man, we heard it from you. Like you personally said high school picks. You was even bad then. That's like, you know what I mean? That's, that's, you did that. You put that in there. I, I don't think anybody else put that in there. I don't think Joe Budden put that in there. Yeah, making a dead man say the Joe Budden podcast is extra disrespectful. Um, that's, that's weird. Drake jokes about the ghost of late hip-hop legend Tupac is pushing Kendrick to mention Drake's alleged pedophilia in his <laughs> alleged pedophilia. <laughs> you've already lost. If you have to say alleged pedophilia, you've lost the plot. You can't defend that. That's such a weird, those are two weird words to put next to one another. It's like putting the word top of the and hour next to one another, okay? It spells trouble for those who are unsubscribed, of course, because at the top of the hour, there's a three-minute ad break. If you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime by connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account where you get one free Prime subscription a month. Use it on your favorite broadcaster. Hopefully, that's me. Here's a three-minute ad break now. <laughs> Drake is not a pop star. He's a statutory rapper. <laughs> oh. Anyway. This accusation most commonly stems from Drake's controversially close relationship with actress Millie Bobby Brown. Though she was 20 years old when this song released, Brown mentioned that she and Drake texted often during a 2018 Emmy Awards interview. I love him. I met him in Australia. He's honestly so fantastic and a great friend and a great role model. We just texted the other day and he was like, I miss you so much. And I was like, I miss you more. He gives me advice about boys. He helps me. He's great. He's wonderful. I love him. The advice stays in the text messages. Brown was 14 at the time leading many to accuse Drake of grooming the then teenage star. Drake would dismiss these allegations on another late night from his 2023 release for all the dogs where he rapped weirdos in my comment, talking about some Millie Bobby. Look, bring them jokes up to the gang. We get to really flock in. Yeah. Flocking around underage girls, I think, but we don't know. Okay. Um, a year later, a controversial video of Drake kissing a controversial video of Drake kissing and caressing a 17-year-old on stage during a May 2010 concert resurfaced. When the attendee revealed her Drake, her age, Drake said, I can't go to jail yet, man. You're 17. Why do you look like that? You thick. Look at all this. I don't know if I should feel guilty or not, but I had fun. I like the way your breast feels against my chest. Kicks finest. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it does make sense, don't it? Here, Drake implicitly suggests that the allegations are false by joking that they originated on the Joe Budden podcast, that the hip-hop podcast by the titular retired rapper that Drake beefed with in 2016. 
since push-ups released, many fans of Kendrick predicted that he'd go after Drake for this. In a sense, this is Drake attempting to preemptively neuter the shot before Drake can take it. Yeah, he definitely neutered it for sure. Drake implies that Kendrick, despite his, they told me the spirit of Machiavelli is alive. Uh, it would be, uh, I would beef the whole fucking game. It was me and Snoop Dogg have my shirt off in the House of Blues. Drake implies that Kendrick, despite his seemingly universal consideration as the successor to Tupac, can't possibly be that due to his height. This continued, dude, I don't like the short jokes, okay? You guys know, you guys know my, my opinion on this, okay? I, I'm one of the girls, all right? Tall aside. Talls have been making too many short jokes. They should not feel so comfortable, okay? Don't say I have tall guilt. I don't have tall guilt. I have forever and will continue to be a defender of my short kings. Okay? Short king spring. Steak Aubrey grandma is the most six foot zero man on earth. The way he obsesses over height. Yeah. The way he's talking, I feel like he's 5'11". The way he talks about height so much kind of feels like he's one of the 5'11", six-foot guys. You know what I mean? Anyway, Tupac, who also went by the stage name Machiavelli, notably had a height of 5'9", compared to Lamar's 5'6". Pac was involved in a myriad of beef stemming from his conflict with the late Notorious B.I.G. In fact, in Tupac's final concert before his death featured him and rapper Snoop Dogg at the House of Blues in Los Angeles where the duo performed two of America's most wanted a song where the two flex their defenses against their enemies. He got to get abused all that shit about burning tattoos. He is not amused. Drake suggests he isn't moved by the threat prompting Kendrick to do something more disrespectful, such as sleeping with Drake's significant other. This is allegedly what Tupac did to Notorious B.I.G. during their historic feud by claiming to have having slept with Faith Evans, the significant other of B.I.G. in his legendary 1996 diss track, Hit Him Up. Where he rapped, you claim to be a player, but I fucked your wife. That's jail talk for real thugs. You gotta be you. Drake, voicing his Kendrick's idol, is playing with Tupac's iconic catchphrase and rap group, Thug Life, by using it to downplay Kendrick's lyrics as inauthentic and advises Kendrick should instead aim to be himself. As Kendrick said on the song, like that. Got two T's with me. I'm snatching chains and burning tattoos. It's up. Lost too many soldiers not to play it safe. If he walk around with that stick, it ain't Andre 3K. Drake claims these threatening words are reserved for gangsters slash thugs who have really faced imprisonment, unlike Kendrick Lamar, who has never faced criminal charges or jail time. Once again, very odd when uh, Drake is... Once again, this... This is a real pot kill calling the kettle black moment again and again and again. It's like when J. Cole said Kendrick Lamar was boring. Okay. It feels very weird. He's low-key having a meltdown over the silence. If not him, definitely the fans. Academics waking up every morning doing a countdown is insane. Just a week of this. Yeah, it's the Spider-Man meme uh, over and over again. J. Cole said Kendrick's music was boring. Drake clowned Kendrick for doing pop collabs and getting extorted by his label. Rick Ross said Drake is the police. Chris Brown called Quavo an abuser. What is going on? It feels like, once again, not to be too deep or too much of a tortured poet myself, but the thing we hate in others... Is actually just the reflection is what we hate about ourselves it seems because everybody's pointing fingers in this direction when the fingers are also being pointed at them in the exact same way
favorite style of like concern trolling. Like he's not only incredibly disrespectful using Tupac AI voice, but he's also making Tupac uh, do fake concern trolling. Like, oh, the people are really, the people are really demanding your diss track, Kendrick. They're very, they're concerned about you, Kendrick. <laughs> It's so corny, dude. I love listening to the Budden podcast, Kendrick. I, Tupac, love listening to Joe Budden's podcast. That's the only place I heard the pedophilia allegations from. Nowhere else. So disrespectful. Drake insists that Kendrick is conflicted on how to reply to push-ups. His response... So Kendrick's this is on like that. Drake dropped this track a week after Pushups leaked online. Drake would go on to try and bait Lamar into responding with daily social media antics, such as posting a photo of Lamar's manager and asking him for a response and commenting under an Instagram post defending Kendrick's silence. Use me as a they have nothing to drop button. Yeah, I saw that one. It also should be noted that Kendrick never made a direct response to anyone he challenged on his historic control verse in 2013, despite getting some replies. Kendrick only replied through continuous subliminal shots over the years and a leaked diss verse on his 2018 song element for the for this drake calls out k-dot for throwing rocks and hiding his hand <laughs> oh and he's saying that it's because of taylor drake alleges that kendrick delayed dropping his rounds of push-ups to avoid challenging the charting the tortured poet department the 11th studio album by pop icon Taylor Swift that dropped on April 19, 2024. Drake previously teased Lamar for catering to Swift's agenda on push-ups when he rapped, we need a verse for the Swifties. Pop say drop, you better drop and give him 50. Drake officially released push-ups uh, uh, push to streaming services on the same day, showing that he doesn't fear uh, Swift's charting dominance. Yeah, the Swifties are really tapped into the... Uh, to what's going on in, in this world, for sure. <laughs> Drake jokes that this effectively makes Swift a new version of Anthony uh, Top Dog Tiffith, the CEO of Kendrick's former record label, uh, talking about extortion. Drake makes uh, a homonymic, I don't know how to read that, pun out of the term Taylor made, joking that Kendrick's music release schedule is controlled by Taylor Swift due to her release dates for music dictating that of Lamar's. Kendrick's persona is that of a rap boogeyman who isn't afraid to call out uh, or rap about anyone dating back to his infamous control verse and even further back in 2010 remix of Kanye West Monster where he called out people like Drake, Big Sean, J. Cole, and more. Here, Drake is essentially saying that if Kendrick was really that person, that he wouldn't care about industry relationships with people like Taylor Swift, who he is friends with and has collaborated with previously and would instead be the boogeyman and would release a response to Drake's push-ups, even if it steps on the toes of Swift's tortured post department release. Drake ends the sentiment by noting that if Kendrick doesn't do that, then maybe he isn't the real hip-hop boogeyman that everyone thought he was.
is even worse, dude. That's crazy. Bro, dropping this on 420. This is fucked up. This is this is fucked up. Snoop Dogg has no idea what's going on. This is a holiday. This is outright disrespectful. <laughs> Uh, I know you've never been to jail or wore jumpsuits and shower shoes. I used to want to see the penitentiary way after elementary. I thought it was cool to look the judge in the face when he sentenced me. Since my uncles was institutionalized, my tuition has said I was suited for family ties. Kendrick almost romanticized the life of crime and criminal connections throughout his verse and many of his songs that he himself has not been in prison or convicted. Never shot nobody, never stabbed nobody. Drake insinuates Kendrick's donning a false bravado. Again, all of the all of the lines of attack against Kendrick for not being like real, like not being a real gangster is really funny coming from Drake. It's just ridiculous. Because like their backgrounds are very different. Like Kendrick Lamar is rapping about his own personal experience, his own personal upbringing. When Drake raps about stuff like that, it's not. He's he's a tourist. Chill on my goat, Aubrey. I mean, it's just like weird that a child actor is saying like, bro, you're not even hard. Like, you're not actually hard. You're just like, you're fake. You're phony. And only the people that write rap genius articles in this most like, um, actually type way would think that this is a hard bar or like a valid avenue of attack. Drake should let me ghost ride for him. He hasn't even defended himself by being being old by saying, I've been pushing 40 for two decades in reference to his 40 producer 40, aka Noah Shabib. Drake couldn't say these things. He had to say it through Snoop. Yeah, it would also. Don't get mad at me, chatters, who are in their feelings a little bit, but it is kind of odd to be, like, wishing a, another black man goes to jail. Kind of weird. Okay? Kind of weird. Just saying, it feels a little strange. It feels a little strange to be fantasizing about how violent a black man from Compton could be and how he needs to be violent to be real and how he should go to jail. Odd, odd behavior. What do I know? Don't get mad at me. It's odd behavior. That's all I'm saying. It feels kind of strange. It's giving a little white supremacy. Arrest me, officers. Take take me away. <clears throat> Let's continue.
the poop bowel stuff. All I'm going to say is I Spice changed the game. Okay. I Spice really changed the game. Okay. You think you're the shit? Bitch, you ain't even the fart. The rap game has not been the same since then. Okay. Everybody's out here talking about poopies. Everybody's spitting doo-doo bars, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> hey, I did a dookie. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, it's a weird thing to invoke. It's just weird imagery. Am I? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong on this, but it just feels like a very odd thing to bring up. <laughs> uh, poop is hip again. It started with skibbity. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. It's in like 80% of rap songs, bro. Seriously? Yeah, no, it's it's been it's been a thing for a while. I was just kidding with I just wanted to make an Ice Spice reference. The Queen. Um here Drake references PJ Lyon, Kendrick Lamar's creative label co-founder by himself, and Dave Free with Kendrick uh, Kendrick's baby cousin. I mean ba Kendrick's cousin, baby came a label mate. Drake claims on a higher level than the members of PG Lang, such as indicates his intention to shit on them or to impose his superiority over them. He's about the dookie all over him. This is not the time. This is not the first time that Drake mentions on a higher level than his peers. In fact, he raps about this on his precursor to his record push-ups. <laughs> this line is an obvious play on the aviation career of business magnate Howard Hughes. However, it is also worth noting that Howard Hughes was, for many years, the richest man in the United States. Throughout this beef, Drake is constantly centered on his wealth as a theme, citing the disparity between his net worth and Kendrick's. Drake probably saying that his diss track push-ups took him one or two hours. Also warning Kendrick about his next diss track. By the time of this diss track, Kendrick still hasn't responded to Drake or made any appearances at all. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> And then uh, alleging that uh, he he stopped because of Taylor Swift's, uh, you know, he stopped because of Taylor Swift, because Taylor Swift is releasing, saying that uh, he's just, you know, owned by Taylor Swift. Demanding that a black man get violent and be in air quotes ghetto, saying that a black man is owned by a white person. Like spiritually, I feel like there's something very odd. Spiritually, there's something that just doesn't kind of sit right here. I'm just saying. Just... <clears throat> something something using Tupac AI's digital blackface disgust
All right, so Taylor Swift is uh, univer almost universally. Taylor Swift is almost universally considered the most uh, commercially successful music artist of the 2010s. In fact, her 11th studio album, Torture Post Department, broke the Spotify record for the most streamed album in a single day and granted her the title of most streamed Spotify artist in a single day. After its release, this is why Drake calls her the biggest gangster in the music industry, even admitting to fearing her a bit on Red Button. For all the dog scary hours edition when he rapped, Taylor Swift is the only one that I ever rated. Only one could make me drop the album just a little later. Rest of y'all, I treat you like you never made it. Um, and then he says, uh, she got the whole PG Lang on mute, like that Beyonce challenge. Kendrick bought a penthouse in Brooklyn, New York for a whopping $8.6 million. After the release of Drake's disc push-ups and this new freestyle disc, Drake thinks that Kendrick is in the penthouse right now struggling to come up with a worthy track. You better have a motherfucking quintuple and tundra on that shit. Some shit I don't even understand. Like, Bro, it's actually... Okay, I, I will say this much. I think this did not need to be released, but I'm glad that it was because there's like more drama. But also, I feel like this, doesn't this seem like he's also kind of respecting Kendrick Lamar a little bit? Like, like he, like these last couple of lines is just like, it does, I'm not, as you guys know, I'm not eating Drake's dick at all. First of all, I couldn't, there's, there's too much dick to be eaten, okay? But also, simultaneously, it does feel like he's uh, saying this in a, in a way where it's like, oh, it'll be fun. This is like fun trolling. Like it's good for it's good for the business. Which is weird because like this part is really fucking disrespectful, I think. And uh, opening him to lines of attack for no reason when he already is a uh, target rich environment from a dis perspective you know what i mean pedophile stuff pretty bad overall uh you know acting hard body when he's not uh he, he he doesn't come from this background at all and then many of his uh he already has a lot of skeletons but then beyond that he's like just doing more um doing more to just like create openings like additional openings using AI disrespecting Tupac I don't know like this is a little bit parasocial to say but it kind of feels like the Pusha T stuff broke him a little bit so now when there's like when now when there's like a diss potentially coming his way I feel like the anticipation has caused tremendous anxiety in him that is letting him do this kind of stuff to be like, not a care in the world, actually. I'm just trolling, having a fun time with it all. And it looks like he's overcompensating a little bit. You know what I mean? It's like you drop two disses in a row. And then you just basically dissed yourself in the diss. Because you were like so worried about what kind of diss may happen that might come in your direction that one, you're like begging to respond. He's like basically, yeah, he's, he's basically double texting here. And not only is the act of double texting also uh, demonstrating weakness, but also... He's doing it in a way that like shows anxiety almost. But then in the end here, he just kind of wraps it up by being like, oh, it, it'll be fun for both of us. So it doesn't really match up with the energy of this, these two verses, especially in the beginning. You're so off base, it hurts. What do the Drake stands say?
You're doing mental gymnastics code for Kendrick. Not going to lie. He needs to drop and respond Kendrick. No, I think so too. I, I do agree. I, I think Kendrick Lamar, I mean, it'll be fun when he does. I suspect he will, even though he hasn't before. But... I don't know. Kanye West. What Kanye dis? What do you mean? Being a Drake stand is so weird. He's such a corny, unlikable dude. First of all, I don't think it's that weird. It doesn't matter that we think he's corny or unlikable. He is one of the top, one of the most successful top charting pop artists of all time. Like, that's not, and he does also make good music overall. Like, he makes, even if you consider it formulaic or whatever, it still doesn't really matter. He is, like, a phenomenally popular person. Also, there's a lot of corny motherfuckers out there, too. So they see themselves in him, and they probably, uh, they probably look to that and go, like, well, you know, he... You know, he represents my corniness. It's weird to have this analysis, especially when considering that, like, Taylor Swift released a 31-song album that is two hours long titled Tortured Poet Society. People don't mind corny. People do see themselves... Here's a good take. Drake is one of the biggest artists on the planet. Fact. People who criticize Drake aren't all haters, though. He does whack shit fairly regularly. He got hits. Doesn't mean he's immune to whackness. Jay-Z is my goat. And he dropped Kingdom Come with a straight face. Whack is whack. Kendrick shouldn't. Drake, this is our barely above average written by ghostwriters. And most importantly, Kendrick is out of his league. Okay, that seems a little bit dick righty Because... The, the other side of this is like, he is the one who started it. You know what I mean? And I feel like if you're going to start it, you have to finish it too. Because I found them. Kayama. Kim. Yemeğe mi gidiyorsun? Afiyet olsun. Geldikten sonra yapar mısın bana? Eyvallah. Hadi bye bye. Kaya, come here. Uh, evet. Place. Place. I put a ball on there to keep her occupied. Look how perfectly it's working. That's so funny. She can't figure out that her weight is the reason why it's moving around. Oh, she got it. How about? Does she know Turkish? No, she does not speak Turkish. My mom says, yes, she does. I speak to her in Turkish. All this proves to me is that they're being, they're, they're too big to make actual music. So now they got to jerk each other off with this and promote their, fir their first week streams. Everything in rap is weak nowadays. Wait, what? I think drama like this is good. I like Drake hard, but like him for his old shit, take care or nothing was ever the same. Not like that new bloated shit, but I still spent hundreds to go see him in concert, but he's always been mad corny. Like people used to think take care shit was corny, but not everyone vibed the Martin Marvin's room and stuff. Only way. Kendrick got to shoot that man, said Mighty Keefe. <laughs> All right, let's hear what uh, 
now that we look through that, let's hear what uh, Snoop Dogg had to say about his AI voice being used in the diss track. They did what? When? How? Are you sure? Huh. <sighs> Y'all have a good night. And to all. <laughs> Why off? Everybody calling my phone, blowing me up. What the fuck? What happened? What's going on? Dude. I'm going back to bed. Good night. He can't say much because Drake has a stake in his label. Drake says this about Kendrick, but he's a commercial he's sellout eating Taylor's bad, dick. Bud. You know it used to be mad love. So take a look what you've done. Cause baby, now we got bad blood. Hey, now we got problems. And I don't think we can solve them. You made a really deep cut. And baby, now we got bad blood. Hey. Oh, it's so sad to think about the good times. You and I. Cause baby, now we got bad blood. You know we used to be bad luck. What you've done. Cause baby. Kendrick featured on this song too. No mercy. No mercy this year. Let's get it. baby, now we got bad Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. The Taylor version? Man, I hate cardio. Activity playlist, running, hashtag gym flow, Drake and future. All right. If your metro don't trust you, I'm gonna shoot you. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Halloween. I'm gonna shoot you. Yeah. Does she say the N word when she's rapping along? This this brings the 1830s to a whole nother level. You know what I'm saying? The wish we could go back to the 1830s. <laughs> she would say it to save the world like chat gpt Uh, 
Okay. The fact Playboy Cardi manufactured all this so he didn't have to drop an album is so crazy. Yeah, that's what happened. No, he's for sure, dude. It's going to come. Did you listen to the... Did you listen to the to the uh, Chris Brown Quavo thing? No, I did not. I did not listen to Chris Brown. I did listen, however, to. Um, I did listen, however, to the to the Kanye leak. Anyway, okay. Do you actually listen to Ken Carson like you said you did? Do you listen to Ken Carson? guess you'll never know the trans discussion in this video starts at 53 minutes all right let's get to the let's get to the real goats what the fuck is yay posting wait what What the fuck is this meme, bro? <laughs> okay, that's kind of fucking funny. That's hilarious. Dude, this is awesome. <laughs> okay, no, this is a banger. This actually is a banger. What the fuck? <laughs> Just out of nowhere. Why? <laughs> I don't even know what the... Why would he... What? <laughs> the fact that it's like a... Like a deep fried nine gag ass like... Facebook boomer as me makes this so much better. Uh -huh. His line on the this was J. Cole makes the pussy dry. Uh -huh. Oh, this is so great. It, it even has the fucking watermark on it. It's just so good. No notes. Is a screenshot from an Insta story too by the looks of it? Yeah, no notes. <laughs> oh, okay. He should just do this kind of stuff instead of <laughs> talking about how much he loves Adolf Hitler. Like, he could have just stayed doing this shit instead of being like... <laughs> Instead of, as Felix always likes to point out, <laughs> claiming that Adolf Hitler invented the radio <laughs> on the Alex Jones broadcast. Uh, he did do that, yes. Or the microphone, not the radio, the microphone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He commented on it more this night. Um, Y'all just hate to see a king thrive. I don't know what the fuck. He's just like, he's in a weird space, I think, Kanye West is, where it's just like, like, he's in a weird place mentally where he could be like either really funny or like, oh, uh. I'll have Betelgeuse pay you $50 if you skip the Aiden XC debate. No. 
hey, hey, XQC, I would counter that though by saying, so if it's so insignificant in this, <clears throat> why does it seem like there's so much, there's so much attention and so much like you know, um, care with that community when it's just like, for example, put it like this. Uh, think about anything in the world. If, if, if something was like 0.5% or 1% of what was going on. They're right here. They're talking about trans issues. XUC's hitting the age old Hassan line being like, people only care about this because they're made to care about it. It's not that significant altogether. And the only reason why, the only reason why people are talking about it is because they just like need something to yell about. Yeah, there wouldn't be major statutes and 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 huge and amount of donations. Apparently, he does a pretty good job defending the it. The world would change just to appease a one percent. It would be like, hey, listen, I we're gonna pee. try to do things to help that one percent, but it, it, it it's still <laughs> a minority. I guess when it comes to trans individuals, it almost feels like it's the only minority that feels like a majority. And 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 this is where like African Americans come in because they're like. Shit, yeah, we're a minority, but we never felt like a majority. We never felt like people had to, and, and, and I mean, at times there, it, it was that, but it was like we had to stop the world. We had to show the the whole yeah. George Floyd or whatever the case is, like, hey, listen, this is unacceptable. While when it comes to like trans individuals, it's like everyone's. Uh, let, me tell, let me tell you why. I, tell you why. I, I just X. I, I'm gonna let you go, but I, again, back on my thing, I just think like. If you're a kid, bro, you you don't really remember, but as a kid, you have like a, your brain is like a sponge, right? So like I just think like if you're so much more normal, like or you're learning so much shit, but like Disney, for example, is pushing like men's and skirts to be walking around and shit. Just let the kids be kids, let them do what they want to do, and if they want to be 18 and do whatever they want to do when they're 18, that's fine. Like if they're like near, <laughs> but, but if they're near like 17, they know what they want to do. Cool. But my thing is like if you're a child, bro, like you shouldn't be like going to the doctors and getting like even 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 like a consideration. Like it should be pushed. Like oh, let's make you a uh okay. change genders i don't yes. know it's just what i see people the problem yeah dude that's awesome that's like hey dude how about we leave this to the doctors i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna go ahead and say the controversial take here which is how about we leave these decisions to the medical professionals and not motherfucking aiden ross okay like if you find yourself ever agreeing with a dude who does not know how to read and does not know what most normal words are, not like complicated words, but just like regular ass normal words, you really have to reconsider your stance. Okay. If Aiden Ross came out and was like, drinking water is good for you. That would make me second guess myself. I would be like, is it actually, or is it poison? I don't know. Aiden Ross seems to think so. So I, I got to double check. He might accidentally arrive at the correct point on a, on an issue, maybe every now and then, but I'd still double check. But what do I know? <laughs> I love the idea that you can be a guy famous for being a dumbass. Okay. Just like famous for being objectively a dumb guy that even other dumb guys look at and go, that's a dumb guy. Pretty funny how dumb he is. Am I right? And still think that what you have to say on a particular issue has value, not only value, but actually is probably smarter and more thoughtful than the actual medical professionals. What a beautiful time to be alive. The problem is that both sides, right and left, are putting a megaphone on small stuff. And that's what the real, where the real problem is, okay? But it's a big, and but it's no, a big problem. It's, it's, okay, it, it's, a, it's a problem. And by doing what you're doing, you're making it a worse problem. And you're causing, you're causing no healing, you're causing more damage. So that the, that the right wing, right, like, right wing's been doing a lot. They take, like, out of, like, hundreds of thousands of trans people, right? One or two in the entire country had taken, like, uh, um, HRT or whatever, and they will take that one case, one that was like crazy, and the person was like suffering from like major depression because they, they weren't getting what they wanted, and they'll like, and they'll, be, and, and they'll take a megaphone, they'll put it on, they'll be like, dude, these people are fucking changing their fucking gender like at like eight, and they're gonna fucking die. It's like, okay, I'm not that, that's I'm one asking. person. You made it a problem. It no. wasn't a problem then. You made it a problem. No, 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 it's a megaphone on it. 
it's a problem now because he's right he's saying that there are here let me let me clarify what xc is saying if you didn't understand he's saying that the transitioners are uh phenomenally rare trans people are rare to begin with statistically but the transitioners are even rarer so we're talking about like the 0.1 percent of the one percent and hyper focusing on the 0.1 percent of the one percent especially when that one percent 99 percent of the time is getting uh, phenomenal medical care by healthcare professionals who have made these decisions for them that it is ridiculous and you are exacerbating the problem by hyper focusing on the edge cases because it's giving kids ideas of like false shit like you see now, hold on act it's, you see disney for example i think aiden ross talking about giving kids bad ideas is the funniest moment of this entire program like here's a guy who is the exact opposite person who should be talking about who's giving kids bad ideas okay the notion the absolute notion that aiden ross knows what's best for children is ridiculous oh my god The website that he's promoting right behind him have, has ruined the brains of an entire generation. Okay? Straight up. Straight the fuck up. The dude who he dick rides into oblivion, Andrew Tate has destroyed the brains of an entire generation. When did we start watching <laughs> Disney? Three, four, etc. Right? Disney, for example, push, push, push. And, act, I mean, and, and, you know, my thing is, X, like, back when I was in school... You know, back when I was in middle school, high school, I would have like transgenders in my class. So that's how you know. And I asked my parents, like, yo, mom, pop, you know what I'm saying? Like, do you see, did you see this in your class? Like, nah. And even my, my, my other older siblings, it's the same shit. So it's like, it's becoming more and more normalized to do it as a child rather than waiting till adultery. That's all I'm saying. Like, it's waiting till you don't wait for things that you feel like. You don't feel, but who, but if I believe in the tooth fairy and superheroes, why would I be allowed to believe something? It's like, I have an imaginary mind. It's like, wait a little bit. And yeah, no, he's right. This is why when someone has child leukemia, okay. And they go to the doctor and the doctor's like, you have leukemia, my child, you have leukemia. We must treat you immediately. I like to hear from a third option from a third guy. Like, I don't know, like a fucking kick streamer. And I'm like, hold on, BRB doctor, man. Let me go check in with Aiden Ross. Well, he says, I believe in the tooth fairy and therefore I can't get this medical treatment. That's how stupid this conversation is. And yet we don't think like trans healthcare is somehow real healthcare across the board. So we've decided collectively that like, yeah, no, these medical decisions should not be kept between the patient, the patient's parents, if the patient is underage, and the doctor. But instead, these medical decisions should be taken uh, up with the patient, the patient's parents, the doctor, and also Aiden Ross, and maybe some right-wing uh, religious uh, legislators. Your trans propaganda finally got to me and now I want to be trans. I have been in America my whole life and never got good healthcare. Maybe if I transition, I can see this mythical, decent healthcare. Just kidding. I'm very much for trans rights and don't believe in right wing talking points. I really thought this dude was about to say I'm transitioning to be a subscriber so that I no longer see the top of the hour ad break. And I thought that that would have been fire. I thought that would have been a fire here. I fixed it up for you. Okay. Instead, you should have said your propaganda on trans issues has finally got to me. I am now transitioning to be a subscriber by subscribing for $5 a month or for free with a Twitch Prime and no longer seeing the motherfucking ad break at the top of the hour. This is exactly what the derailing of Roe v. Wade protections was always going to lead to. Let's be real. Yeah, I just, I hate, I absolutely hate this, this conversation so much where it's like, yeah, we need to actually make these medical decisions uh, ourselves. You know what I mean? We got to get the whole village involved. Okay. Including the dumbest guy in the fucking village. Okay. 
What the fuck are you talking about? The possibility that children might be having an identity imposed upon them that's LGBTQ is valid, just as LGBTQ say that our heteronormative values impose identities on children. Overall, I agree to have info more normalized, but no one should be identifying as anything other than a dependent as a minor. What the fuck do you mean by comparing this to a child having leukemia? Yeah, you're right. Like, for example, when you're like, I'm a boy, someone should come in if you're a, a, a cis boy, right? If you're like 14 and you say, I'm a boy, someone should come and smack the shit out of you to be like, no, you're not. You're nothing. Which is ironic because that's like kind of a m extreme case where like some people on the ostensibly on the left will advocate to do like no gender norms whatsoever until you're 18. So love that. Love that for you. Uh, thank you for that take. Thank you for uh, uh, arriving at a position in queer theory that even I don't agree with to a certain degree. Because I feel like contextualizing, or rather conceptualizing certain aspects of existence is not the worst possible thing. You know what I mean? My man said, you're non-binary until you're 18. Okay? <laughs> After 18, you get to choose. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. I have not heard. I had not heard that take. Okay? Chatter understood 0% of that joke. Yeah, because I'm not actually fucking making a joke for him to understand how silly his take was. I'm making a joke for you. Instead, maybe of just going straight to jump to that, maybe we do some therapy. Maybe okay. we try to sit down. So and you're telling me that you believe in Santa all the way till you're probably like 14. But people no. are wrong. Hassan's HRT dealer. Thank you for the 10 community gift this subs. For thinking that, oh, maybe I'm a girl instead. I went there when 14 I was, too. When I, was, when I was 14, I was still fucking thinking of crazy shit. I was still like abnormal stuff. I think when you become an adult, bro, that's when you know the most. It just hits you, bro. Like when you're an adult. Bro, you're an adult. You still don't know anything. So you are living, breathing proof that like, no, even as adults, okay, even as adults, you might not know a lot, okay? Kid Nation producer, thank you for the tank gifted. Yeah, doctors and actual science in general seemingly completely losing all standing in society. It looks like we should return to draining bad blood and asking the shaman for shrooms. Yup. So essentially, he's wanting, he's saying wanting to be trans is crazy shit. Yeah. Exactly. Which is always. It's always cool though. Like I said, I, I love I love hearing from Aiden Ross what kind of medical decisions medical healthcare professionals should be taking uh, with their patients. Cause like I, that's the guy who knows better. I think even even close to adult, like even like 17, 16, maybe like it's different for everybody. But bro, like it's just yes. But you're not making permanent decisions on what you're feeling when you're young. They don't let you do that for most of, for like. 99.9999% of the time, you're not gonna fuck your life up because you feel those ways or you think those ways. They only let you when you're 18. That's not true. Brother. Look at, uh, and I'm gonna bring it up, Dwayne Wade's child, for example. Uh, I think she's 12 or whatever. And again, that's his own kid. I'm not gonna get, I'm just giving you an example of something that's kind of like known out there. There's also many I could pull examples of if I, if I wanted to do my research. My thing is He's this- like, I know all the trans people. I know all the trans children. I got a list, hold up. <laughs> Hold up, let me pull up my list of trans children, okay? I got it. There are many, many examples, okay? I see it all the time. Bro, it's like, wait, just wait. And, and if you still feel that way all the way to 18, okay, be yourself, do you. Wait, 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 was that person, was that person, was that? Uh, Dwayne Wade. Wait, wait what? He's like, unironically, this is my favorite genre of right-wing sentiment. But it's just like a dumb guy sentiment in general, but uh, usually promoted by the right, which is stating what currently happens as a new idea while you are against the position. Like it is, you're you're defending something, okay? No, no trans healthcare whatsoever until you're 18, while simultaneously directly explaining as a suggestion. Okay, Hassan, if you're gay, just say it. Well, 
I did clap your dad's ass cheeks last night, so I guess that makes me a little gay. Makes your dad gay too, though. Dumbass. Me and gay just say it. What are you, 12? What the fuck kind of dumbass shit is this? How is this a diss to a 32-year-old whole-ass man, brother? How? You think I have that same sexual anxieties and hang-ups that you have? I'm 32 years old. The fuck do you mean? It is ridiculous, bro. Yes, you're projecting. Of course, I'm watching Aiden Ross. So clearly the fandom is out in droves. People that think like we, we make gay jokes here in this community. That's how fucking played out it is that like a, a very sizable queer community objectively makes like ironic gay jokes. That's how fucking past that point we are as a society. I think unless you're like literally 16, 17 years old and like kind of worried you might be a little gay, you know? If this chatter is stuck online, you've already won. Since his dad is the bottom by internet law, that's what I mean. Well, his dad bottom for me. He was like, I'm doing booty boot camp, Hassan. You know, what about projecting? Can you ever experience anything other than your own perspective? Oh, we are stuck in our own selves. Oh, so everything I say or learn, do is literally going to be a projection of my own experience. Wow, everything's a projection that nothing is. Ah, what? <clears throat> anyway, uh, let's continue. Dwayne Wade? Correct. So why don't we then? No, no, I'm sure I could find more. I think, I think, uh, no, no, wait, 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 what happened with them? Like, like, what is the story? You're just saying names. I don't know what happened with them. I'm, I'm, I'm giving you an example. Of, you know, um, what happened with them, though? Oh, but the thing I was gonna, the thing, uh, before I respond to the troll, the thing I was gonna say is, Aiden Ross said, right there, Aiden Ross said, right there, that, oh, like, if a, if a, if a kid feels like they're trans um, and then like all the way up until 18 where they still feel like they're trans, like then they should get medical care. And it's like, no, they get medical care early on. There is a concept called puberty blockers specifically for the thing that he's mentioning, which is, um, which basically puts a pause on your puberty. Okay. And then when you're 18, you can, get more medical intervention and be able to consent to it as an adult. So what he's describing, what he's describing in the circumstances, unironically, what currently happens, like what is currently happening. Okay. Like irreversible medical intervention is hyper rare and only happens and only happens with strict medical scrutiny in general. Okay. Okay. That's it. I'm saying they became trans at a very young age. They became trans? Did they take HRTs or whatever? I'm not, I, I'm not that, I don't know, but uh, they became- If they're not on HRTs, they can say that they're fucking, that they're Iron Man or Optimus Prime. Trans people exist, why should they wait until they're 18? Trans people exist, why should they wait until they're 18? They're not waiting. They're technically starting the process of medical intervention in the hypothetical that I described to you. That is, that is what happens in the, in the real world. Like that is a part of, that is a part of the medical intervention. This is, as it stands, the best possible uh way that that medical intervention works the most successful most reliable way that medical intervention works i am not going to uh i am not going to sit here and act like i know better than the healthcare professionals i don't know why you think that you can make the argument from the other direction 
on what people that are more knowledgeable than us, especially because of the obvious downsides as well. There's obvious, there are obvious downsides to every medical, uh, every medical decision being made. That's why you see a litany of, of side effects on all the drug, all the pharmaceutical commercials that you see on television, which shouldn't exist to begin with. There should be no pharmaceutical commercials, but that's besides the point. So every single, every single healthcare decision that a patient makes with the advice of their doctor is one that can potentially lead to negative side effects or unforeseen or foreseeable consequences down the line, even if it is statistically not likely. Okay. This is a decision that we make with every, every healthcare decision that we make. Okay. This is a likelihood with every healthcare decision that we make. That's why you weigh the pros against the cons. That's it. The reason why I am not going to sit here and be like, I know better than fucking uh, academia that studies this and also the professionals that know better than me is because they have weighed the pros and cons. An example I can use with gender with HRT, with a, with a form of HRT is what I take. I take, per, uh, I take Propecia, right? Uh, finasteride. Finasteride is a DHT hormone blocker. I take it because when your body produces DHT, the type of a specific type of testosterone, it ends up closing up your hairline, your, your uh, follicles on the top of your dome. Okay. Now there are many side effects to potentially taking Propecia. Luckily, I have not seen those side effects. Okay. But there are still side effects, and it's a decision that I made as an adult. It's a conscious decision that I made as an adult after consulting a healthcare professional. Okay. That's it. I'm, and nobody thing. gives a fuck. No, no, no. But just look into it. I, I'm informed. Doing? I did. Chat says that they. So you are a doctor, are you? <clears throat> yes, dude. Every time you take a pill, you're technically a doctor. That's what I meant. That's why I said. <sighs> That's why I said personally that you should make these medical decisions after consulting a medical professional. They haven't taken HRT, so it doesn't matter. Well I'm misinformed. I'm, I'm misinformed on that specific individual, so okay. I'm not going to speak so, on so, about. So I asked you to give me an example. I asked you to give me an example. You gave me a wrong one. So you're saying, Austin, I be, are you trans because you don't have hair? I don't get it. No, dummy. Hormone replacement therapy falls under a broad. It's a broad category. Many people do gender con gender confirming. Uh, many people take gender confirming drugs. This is one aspect of that. Cis, um, cis men, cis women, trans men, trans women, non-binary people, they all sometimes, depending on their age, depending on their circumstances, depending on what they want, will engage in gender affirming, uh, medical decisions. Joe Rogan is a longtime champion of TRT. TRT is technically HRT. Testo testosterone replacement therapy is hormone replacement therapy. Joe Rogan, who is an advocate for TRT, also happens to be uh, responsible for a lot of the anti-trans discourse. But that's how this works. Yeah. Boob jobs, nose jobs, all matter of different uh, reconstructive surgery. It all falls under gender affirmation. I'm a cis woman who takes BC with extra estrogen. One. So you're one of one in the wrong. Do you give me no, one question? It's still one. wrong. Brother, what? when you are. It's still, I, I, I didn't say specifically HRT for that specific one. I never said that. Be, I, I didn't know. I said, I don't know. I'm misinformed on it. All I'm saying is, all, all I'm saying is that person is a child. And I just think that they should wait years and years and years before they really jump down a road. They don't, they don't know brother, what they're going into. Brother, when I, when I was young, I thought I could have multiple girlfriends. And for years, I had two 
12 months at a time, sometimes three, right? And, and is, that, is that a good thing? Well, no, it's not. Um, most people are, 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 are monogamous, right? And I understood with life that, hey, that's not how you're really supposed to do things, right? And then after, after when I grew up, I, just, I stopped doing that. Well, I mean, not really. <laughs> I, I stopped doing what that. But well, that's not the same thing as what I'm saying. You're not causing permanent damage on yourself, though. Unless you're on like HRTs and you're fucking your body up and making modifications, you will recover from your thoughts. When I was a kid, I thought I was a doctor. I thought I was a superhero, right? I wore a cape sometimes at school. I wore a cape. Does that mean that when I'm 18, I become, I become brain dead? No, it doesn't do anything. Let, him, let, let people be people. But, but that's what I'm saying though. Then let them think that they're a girl or whatever for two or three years until they, no, oh, you know no, what? Maybe no, no, I was no, just no. feeling a certain ways and, and then they passed it. I just think it's, it's really, hold, on, I, 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 hold on. I just think it's abnormally getting a little bit weird when we're pushing on our kids, bro. That's all we're I'm not, saying. Nobody's pushing other than them, though. It is. There's there's agendas being pushed on kids, like. Oh yeah, dude. There's agendas being pushed on kid kids. Book book book. By the way, book book book. On God, we're gonna make it, boys. Like what I'm saying for sure, a hundred percent. Disney you know, is a hundred percent. The agenda it. tells them that if they're if they feel if they feel those ways, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> I think Train put up a photo. Nah, that's just how he is, bro. When he's listening intently, it just, it does look like, it does look like a static image. <laughs> Completely pretty... wrong or to be ostracized and they're not going to fucking kill themselves. It's not like, yes, it's okay. a little bit overbearing over and I okay. get that. It's Ask a little bit too much, but it's, the, me the mentality what about, isn't what about, wrong. What about when a Target's kid section had like an LGBTQ plus... Uh, this is my favorite argument. Yes. Yeah, bro. I, I saw the, I saw a, a, a rainbow bathing suit for a kid. And immediately I was like, I can't wait to suck a penis, dude. I can't me. I'm a kid. I go to target. I see a rainbow colored. I see rainbow colored uh, short shorts. And I'm like, damn time to do some gay shit, dude. No, that's not how this works at all. This, that's not how anything works. It's so fucking stupid. It's such a fucking, you have to be the dumbest guy to believe this. Okay. I'm sorry. You literally have to be the dumbest guy to believe this or you're gay. That's is one of the two, one or the other. You're gay and you don't recognize that you're gay. And you kind of like are, are scared about that reality because the reality is many people are gay. Okay. I don't know what the exact percentage is. It seems to have, uh, diminished on the graph of like people who are uh, uh uh coming out as gay in the gen z and gen a uh or coming out as queer in general okay and it's going to be the same exact thing as like left-handed people in society okay the problem however is the problem however is that like a lot of people in the past at least thought that that was like fucked up or immoral or degenerate or bad or wrong or evil. And therefore they didn't fully understand it. You don't become gay because you saw gay shit. you just are gay. And then when you see gay shit, you go, Oh, that's actually appropriate and acceptable. That's what a lot of people are mad about. Okay. That's what a lot of people are mad about, that they have this like underlying resentment. That's it. That's the whole reason why, the, that's the big secret in my opinion. The whole reason why the right wing wants to stop that from being out there is because they don't want anyone to come to that recognition that they are queer because they think that being queer is wrong and bad and immoral and going to, uh, I guess, ruin Western civilization or whatever the fuck. That's it. Uh, thing like for the kids section, uh, you know, when you're then a kid, don't right? shop there if you don't want to shop there. If you don't feel as hey, you don't go hey, there. Like X, you see, Target is an American thing, bro. We all shop at Target. Stop. Yo, X, yo, X, stop the cat, bro. Come like, on, yo, bro. Why, bro. Come yo, on, X. bro. Oh, X, X, God. I He's getting. Oh, God. <laughs> but couldn't it be that schools have been brainwashing children to think they have to be trans to fit in as in by promoting trans ideology no dude i don't think so okay i don't i that's an insane thing to think i uh, apologize for uh, 
making fun of you, but you're out of your fucking mind, okay? They have to be trans to fit in? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? What percentage of the population do you think is trans? What a gathering of the minds, yeah. Also, haven't you been following the scandal of the UK gender clinic and how they've been closed down because they failed children by making them take puberty blockers according to what I heard? Yeah, dude, I'm sure what you heard is great. Um... Chatter thinks like at least a majority of children in school are trans. I'll be honest with you, man. I don't care if niggas want to think they are airplane. They want to think they they man, woman, kangaroo. Do your thing. Exactly. I, I definitely believe that we got. By the way, for the record, people saying like uh, the 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 whole notion that like people will just become trans or like fake being trans just to fit in is exactly the same arguments made about people coming out as gay in the 90s when that was when when being trans was not even like considered really all that much it was way more invisible but like that was the thing that the right wing resisted the most people would just be like i'm gay you know there was media representation for gay people it was becoming more um it was becoming more of like a like a popular thing it sounds so funny to talk about it now in 2024 because you're like what the fuck do you mean like gay representation like what? You don't even think about it because it is the norm in society. It and it has become the norm in society. And and for that reason it sounds so crazy, but the arguments are identical. The arguments against trans people are the exact same arguments that were presented against gay people in the 90s, in the 80s, and in the early 2000s as well. I think one big talking point is that children transition in my state's healthcare didn't want to integrate Chinese healthcare until last year and I had to wait until the late twenties. How to let yo kids can choose to go in the military, can drink, can do a lot of things until they at least turn 18 or maybe 21. Okay. Do you think kids can't get healthcare because they can't sign up to join the military? Yeah, there's a lot of things that kids can't make decisions on on their own. And yet, obviously, it would be fucking insane to say that they can't do this as well. Okay? I feel like there's a little bit of a difference between joining the motherfucking military, even though kids do join ROTC or JRROTC and shit like that. And that probably... I don't know, shouldn't happen. But <laughs> that doesn't change the reality that like medical intervention does occur with children. Like the idea that like we can't treat children until they get to the age of 18 is so fucking funny to me. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, were you in a car wreck? Well, sorry, you're 16 years old. I can't do medical intervention to save your life. <laughs> it's so dumb yeah no glasses for you okay sorry you're 13 can't give you glasses man don't don't just seep seep it into shit like you know what i mean don't just start putting into the curriculum to you know influence them to go away seems more of an elective surgery though not the same see this is where you're wrong and I don't know if I can actually get you to understand that you're wrong because this, in my opinion, the way I see it is in no way, shape or form any different than you being like, yeah, I think like medical intervention for children is elective. Like pick whatever medical intervention you think is elective or, and, and say that it's elective and then argue vociferously on it. It's the same exact thing. You don't know better than the healthcare professionals. That's the, the, appropriate healthcare professional. I'm not talking about some fucking random chiropractor, okay? That's the issue. Everything that I've read on it shows that medical intervention in the form of puberty blockers with parental consent and with rigorous, strict uh, medical professional supervision is actually pretty good in saving teenagers lives
okay? Especially considering the fact that puberty blockers can be, uh, can be given to teenagers for a litany of different issues aside from trans medical care implies that there is definitely utility for it and people do actually engage in this medical intervention on a regular frequency, not just for trans people. The difference is, however, you think being trans is just a mindset and is just a choice. And that is the major point of contention here. That's it. I don't believe that. A, because... <clears throat> honest with you as a kid everybody's insecure everybody's looking for acceptance everybody yeah, just don't really know. know what's going on okay and they don't it, permit it, you to do the things you're talking about though like, like that's a, here's the thing if a kid is suicidal like is experiencing clinical depression okay and a doctor says we have to we have to medicate this person or they're going to fucking kill themselves okay these academics is like oh kids are just insecure fuck it yolo we can't be doing nothing about it. That's insane. That's an insane thing to say. Okay? Objectively. Especially coming from DJ Academics and Aiden Ross. Can you imagine any other circumstance? Can you imagine any other fucking circumstance where we're just like objectively the dumbest motherfuckers in society are just sitting around being like, we have a say in this process. What we have to say here without any information whatsoever without any reading done whatsoever even if we had done the reading we still would not be as knowledgeable as the fucking people that make these decisions the healthcare professionals obviously okay i just i can't i really can't think of any other circumstance the reason why we have this debate on trans issues however is because it's oh well it's because of a multitude of different reasons one because we just no longer trust uh, you know, academic research. We no longer trust uh, that, uh, you know, healthcare professionals know more than we do. You know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like there's a, there's a litany of different uh, reasons as to why we feel like we are confident to have these conversations ourselves and like genuinely try to move the needle in one direction or the other. Oh. <sighs> You're not causing permanent damage to somebody. They're not on HRTs. Maybe it's just Ohio, but isn't coming out as trans or even gay still, unfortunately, a social negative despite the media push? So who, who would do it to be popular? Exactly. In spite of the supposed quote-unquote media push, uh, there is, like, very little trans acceptance in general. Where's your evidence for suicidal tendencies of those kids in academia? You actually bring that onto the table. Also, are you biased towards that? Or are you willing to listen to the other side who disputes the suicidal evidence? Open conversation should be allowed on this. JBP also disputed this. What do you mean? Do you think kids don't have suicidal tendencies? I'm talking about like clinical depression. Do we just automatically assume that like kids can't get fucking unhealthy? Can't have a chemical imbalance? Can't have like genetic predisposition? What what's going on here? Like, do we are we just are we unironically making the argument now that like we cannot do medical intervention to the children? Like, is that just the entire field, an entire field in medicine dedicated specifically to from babies all the way to fucking 18 year olds gone? Abolish it. Why? Because I said so. Fuck you. That's a psychotic fucking approach to society. We are regressing, okay? His brother, they're not fuck. They're not doing bodily modifications that they're not allowed to do. These things, if it's not true, if it's just, if it's just a fad or a phase, it'll fade away, dude. It is what it is. When I was young, I was wearing fucking pink fucking wristbands all the time, and I had girls do me little bracelets. Hey, you know, Yo, I, I stopped see. doing no, that. I don't feel that way. Different. That's way because, different. Because where they're trying to push it is to have kids be on some of these hormones. Give early. me examples. Like, give me statistics. I just, whoa. No, no, no. Wait, wait, give no, me I statistics got, and fine. give me fucking examples. No, 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 no. Yo, excuse me. It's not about statistics. It's about trying to 
stop or reverse like you know um a trend that we're seeing happen they want these kids to try to you know make these decisions before you know um they're really yeah bro children are just like yo doctor time to fucking hit me with that trans beam baby and then the doctor's like all right well the democrat government forced my hand if i don't do this they'll kill me it's like so many faulty premises here okay like a litany of just unimaginably false premises being thrown out in rapid fire succession okay one what are these fucking trends okay being uh, uh it, it so let me let me try to tackle some of the underlying premises here one people are becoming trans because it's uh popular it's trendy ridiculous it's not trendy to be trans okay and not only that but you don't just become trans according to all available medical research on the matter you don't become trans you are trans it's the same as being gay you don't become gay you are gay okay so that's number one number two the notion that like children cannot have uh, uh any kind of uh because children are not making are, are not sound of mind and are not adults that they cannot have a say in any kind of medical intervention is also ridiculous there are a million different circumstances in which children need medical intervention and doctors and consenting parents make this decision okay alongside with the patient depending on how old they are ridiculous to act like this is a situation where someone's like i saw spongebob and he was acting a little zesty so i think i'm trans now okay and i'm trans because it's very popular boop, boop, boop. let me go over to my doctor's office and fucking tell him i'm trans now you have to give me hrt and then the doctor's like sorry if i don't shoot you with the fucking trans gun then i will be killed by the liberal government like you are living in an entirely different reality if these are the opinions that you have okay to quote you i can't say what i want to do to people like this but you can't stop me from thinking it i mean yeah Don't you think that there's a certain age where children's decisions aren't based on solely what they want, an age where it's too early to decide such things? I mean, it depends on what the decision is, okay? Children decide things that are not in their best interest all the time. You have to weigh the pros and cons. I don't know why we're having this conversation like doctors are beaming trans lasers at like three-year-olds who just stop saying goo goo gaga, okay? That's why this is not a decision being made. That's why this is not a decision being made by like a four-year-old on their own and actually a whole ass adult medical professional. That's why there is research on the matter. Uh, of age. Wait, bro. What trend, what statistics, what exam? I'm not seeing what you're seeing. I think you're talking about the, like one person who did something and then the whole right way went to, this is killing our kids. This is, it's like one guy out of the middle of fucking, uh, in, like in like Wisconsin or some shit like that. It was on drugs or some shit like that. That's the major problem here, like I said, is that this is not like, um, this is not something that a person, a child, or an adult does for fun, you know what I mean? Or to get attention. Okay. And that's the way it is always presented as though, uh, someone just goes, you say that doctors don't beam translations of babies, but if they're born intersex, sometimes they do. It's funny how the medical abuse of intersex people isn't a concern for these transphobic say the children. Oh yeah. That's the other part of it. Yeah. The only time when like doctors actually do medical intervention, and do not leave it up to the patient even at all is unironically when they're like, 
All right, I got to pick and choose here. Seems like this one's going to be a boy. And then they do take life-altering medical intervention, like, immediately. That chill, chill. Nobody's killing anybody. Dude, like, this isn't, a, it's not a problem. It is because you're making it a problem. Okay. My thing is when you when you said t don't shop there, when I said Target, where everyone goes, you know, when you're a parent, you want- Yeah, by the way, that, that argument is also silly. Like, the don't shop there argument is also silly because it's like, just, um, like, I mean, X, you could have had a better argument there, which is that, like, when you were a kid, did you see any gay stuff? Yes or no? Okay, if yes, are you gay? No? Okay, well, there you go. It didn't work. And if the argument is yes, you saw gay stuff and you felt gay, then yeah, you're gay. That's it. Hey, can you explain the concept of transness? I know you always say something about gender is the clothes you wear on your skin. Can you please explain that? Don't hate me. I am trying to learn, says Popo Piker. As there is a gender and sex. Like gender is simply an expression. It is a socially defined construct. It is a way that you express yourself. There are biological markers associated with it to a certain degree, but that's but gender in and of itself is a completely socially defined thing. That's why gender norms are very different in every other society. That's why gender norms have been different throughout time. All every everything that you do as your gender expression is performative. Everything. You choose to wear clothes a certain way, that's a performance. <sighs> My mom introduced me to a gay couple when I was like seven, eight, didn't turn gay, keckle. I remember being confused why she felt the need to tell me they were gay. Yeah. Men used to wear fucking powdered ass wigs, put on full face of makeup, wear goddamn long ass boots, okay, high heels. Boys used to wear dresses and have long hair. The color assignment of pink and blue was different as well. All of this stuff has changed throughout time, but because of the limitations of human cog uh, cognitive capabilities, we oftentimes look at what's right in front of us and what's being beamed into our brain since birth and think this is how it's always been and this is how it always should be. This is a genuine issue with conservatism. The more conservative you are, the more reactionary you are, the more resistance you are to any kind of change and the less open-minded you are to the realities that it was different in the past and it will be different in the future. It's different right now in different countries but nobody ever thinks about that it's just that we lack the imagination or rather the cognitive capability of understanding that like gender in the way that we see it is so fucking different than gender in the way that like a korean person sees it ridiculousness utter ridiculousness Look at these pics from medieval times, even in Europe. Yeah. Yo, what up? Peach jars is here. Speaking of gender. I want to be able to sit down your child when it's time and explain what certain things are. I just think it's wrong. No, for real. I think it's wrong when school teaches you about politics and uh, 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 sexuality shit. I think it's really wrong. I think your parent, when you're a parent, that's when you sit your child down and that's when you really explain yeah. about life. Yes, Do you agree Aiden. with that? Yes, Aiden. Okay. But society so, already does that because it's ingrained oh, into the, 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 the more traditional way. Society already watching, shows you that. We're currently watching XQC actually put up a pretty strong defense at the behest of, of trans teenagers and, and uh, gender affirmation, gender affirmation, uh, medical intervention. 
And I was thinking to myself, you could never pay me a certain amount of money to open up a clip that has all these people's names in the title, but yet here you are listening to it and dissecting it. Anyway, I mean, it's actually, it, it is actually remarkable in many ways because one, XUC is doing better than I would have expected and is like more open minded than I would have thought. Um, and uh, yeah, no, it's, it's actually more entertaining than I thought it was. Before going we to be. get into this, very, mm -hmm. very interesting. Good to see you. Yeah, Good to hi. See you. you look great. Um, you too. I wanted to redeem what I got you. No. And I no no no. So this one won't spray all over you. I was the one who got him that squishy toy. This one's heavier. Uh -huh. Oops. I got you one that it won't explode. There's nothing in there that will make it come on you. It felt like whenever I saw the clip, I was like, oh my god, this looks like an assassination attempt that I tried on you. It wasn't that. It wasn't that. I promise. That's this is madness that you brought me another one of these, knowing full well that I can't stop myself from squishing it. Well, that one won't explode. I told you. Will has one. He's used it for a while. Yeah, but isn't that one nice? Will doesn't. Will doesn't have the grip strength that I do. Oh, I guess. Do you want to say that? Yeah, I do want to say it. I, I I'm squeezing that <laughs> shit that, so hard. I'm squeezing that, it. I got lotion on it. Is that the emote? They got an emote. Oh, yeah, there is one. Yeah, here it is. That's good. Haas nut. Oh, God, why is it, like, weirdly sticky as well? All well, right. I mean, I, I, you know, flew from Austin. I don't know who pissed on it in the meantime, you know. Hey, come here. Hello, sweet princess angel. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to learn. I would love to see XUC uh, doing a good job. That's exactly what I wanted to see this morning. But there we go. Okay, I'm glad that you got me the cheap shit last time. And finally, we no, got the good the shit. Brand. Now we got the good shit. It was the same price. <laughs> Are you happy now? I am. Oh, God, look at this. You Here, see this? I, I, yeah, I don't know what... Let me see. It's got like... Are you sure can... that's just not left over on your own hand? No, it's yeah, like Yeah, because it's definitely not on here. Yeah, because I took it all off of it. No, I think that was just leftovers on yours. Yeah. Oh. Jesus, yeah, look. what were... God, what were you doing before I got here? This is what gets me going. Watching XUC debate uh, trans rights. Taylor, is this either this or Joe Rogan? I feel like you would. I feel like Peach would probably choose Joe Rogan here in this instead I've of this. I've never listened to that man talk either because I save my mental health. I'm like you. Yeah. And those okay. things in the more heterosexual way because you are that you're not you're not seeing it and you don't we don't you don't identify that but because there's a few examples of non-hetero things. Oh my God! They're putting you say 20 movies about girls and guys. Oh whatever. Yeah, you're in the same time. One guy kiss another guy. Oh my god, the agenda! Gays! Relax, brother. Re it's not that big of a fucking deal. Christ, that's insane. You're I also play the role of XQC uh, translator because uh, he speaks in a, uh, an ancient language called Pepegon. <laughs> so uh, what he's saying here is that seeing homosexual acts on television as a child or as an adult is not going to convince you to become homosexual because you are actually just simply gay or you're not. You're making it a problem. Like, they're not pushing an agenda. Like, Jesus Christ, dude. So you don't think putting gay kid, LGBTQ in the kids section of Target, you could put in the regular section of Target, cool, that's fine. The, the, you know, is it though? What would that be fine? Because I feel like if the right wing got mad at that, Aiden would also be mad at that as well. It's just all a matter of like responding to stimuli for this man, okay? Barely a man. So this man just said put gay stuff in a separate section at Target. No, he's he's mad that like, well, he's not really. He's just repeating things that he's heard like a child, uh, because he has a child's brain. But basically. What he is uh, saying is what conservative adults have said who also have childlike brains, but uh, it's really fucked up that there is a queer pride section at Target uh, that features both adult clothes for pride, but also child's clothes that have like a rainbow on it or something of that nature. Why is this a problem? Because it is the agenda that they are promoting. Who's they? We don't know. But they are promoting an agenda to to make children queer. Ah. Uh, yeah. Uh. 
Does Aiden Ross get weirded out when he sees Ken and Barbie being sold together? Does he know they fuck? <laughs> I don't think he knows things. But yeah, this is it. Target becomes latest company to suffer backlash for LGBTQ plus support. Pulls some Pride Month clothing. What's confusing to me is that that's kind of true. Like the same people don't get mad. Like whenever kids are like, we're going to play house and we're married. Like. Yeah, because that's good and normal. Um, and and red blooded Americans do it. <laughs> she's she's disappointed in you. She's disappointed in your stamina. <laughs> She literally looked at her like, hmm. Um, I'm using two hands. This is what happened. Baby, little baby. Okay. Um, anyway. Uh, yeah, no. A joke I used to always make about, like, uh, when, when Florida had, like, this uh, no queer stuff in our schools bill, a joke I used to make all the time was, like, if they, <laughs> you can't be a pregnant uh teacher either because that means you had sex and uh I that's, don't like to think about that. that's totally inappropriate for you to be pregnant and also teaching at school at the same time because you're gonna make all the children think about sex and how babies are made P you I yeah. thought was eight pregnant people yeah with well, the adult clothing you don't think putting in the kids section of targets a little bit yes, twisted the way that they're doing it isn't always right and they're a, fucking stupid. But thank you. The the Why? The, the, the the behavior. I mean, he's in wrong on this too. But whatever. Bad. Who cares? Having a fucking pink shirt in the men's section isn't the agenda of Joe that's Biden not, controlling your brain. It's that's nothing. not. That's not. That's not. The what way I'm they're saying. doing no, it I isn't right. Wear, but the message wear, is correct. No, X. I used to wear the I love boobies bracelets too. The pink ones and you know the breast cancer awareness. But I used to wear it all the time. Okay, Matter but if it was I was dicks, you would fucking be up in arms about it. Hmm. You're wearing I love booby shit, but if it was I love dicks, you would be all up in arms about it and you would say, kids should be wearing that. How can you even buy this? This isn't correct. But you know you'd be doing this. XUC here made the argument that you also presented as well, mm -hmm. which is that heteronormative uh, markers of sexuality are seen as totally permissible around children. It's only a problem when it's a marker that is outside of uh, heteronormativity. Um, well, no shit. You know, oh, it's oh my fuck. So, yeah, so yeah, by yeah. default, yeah. you're saying yeah. that. Wow, Aiden Ross is so fucking stupid that he literally got intellectually dicked down by a dude whose most famous debate move is doing the fucking worm. Okay? It's not even a. Mean? It's not even a trap that he laid down. He didn't even think that Aiden Ross would not recognize that as a he, he thought that like aiden ross could probably see the inconsistency instead aiden is so fucking stupid that he literally went uh yeah no it's totally fine to wear a shirt that says i love boobs but it's not fine to wear a shirt that says i love dick <laughs> yeah. wait you don't know the worm no it's a worm oh my god xqc famously debated uh and then absolutely destroyed ethan klein uh, on uh, on the React Gate conversation that was occurring, where he pulled these two people. He pulled the ultimate move, okay, and I mean it. Like this is the ultimate debate move. No one has ever actually hit a move so fucking hard in a debate and and immediately won. Would rather watch me full screen cam do the fucking worm than watch your do prime, that. Than watch Bro, your prime do content. Do it for a week. Do a week of no reaction content and see how many fucking views you get. Oh, he's crying in the corner. <laughs> He, oh, okay, sure. <laughs> fucking, fucking own. Absolutely sure. You can see it in his face, dude. This is a man who's thoroughly, uh, utterly defeated. Like, this is a pure victory. That was pretty good. For the juicers. Shai Halud. I mean, that's content, man. It's, a, it's that, original that's content, good. at least. You like it? Yes, what? do that, bro. No, do you it. Like that's that's grabbing his dick. Dude, I thought you fucking dude, love wait, it, man. If this is the bro, most country you've had in the yes, past fucking great. four years, bitch. It's it's awesome. That was beautiful. Thank Obliterated. You. Everything that everything that uh Ethan said up until this moment is totally insignificant in the face of the worm. Top tier debate move. No one has ever done it like him. Do a week of no react content. Oh man. As, she's actually not shedding that much yeah, right now, too. I remember at the gym, it was like so yeah, it was bad. so like, much there was worse. Just fur flying into my water cup. Sorry, sorry. I'm very 
very yeah, you invested need to, in this. You need to lock it in. Lock it in. I am locked in. Lock it in. Like, of well, course, it's way different. Well, it, How is it different? Not, to it's as simple as, oh, they're putting a pink thing in, like, the men's section. Is that they're encouraging men, right, who are biologically men, who are, who are born with penises and have the hormones of men that's a sex they, not a gender. that's a sex dependent, depending on your socialization or how you feel at the moment you could now select your that's kind of sick that that's kind of sick the xuc at least like like even though it's not like fully up to date with the with the best words to use in that circumstance the fact that he like distinguishes between sex and gender I'm impressed. Pretty fucking impressive. Yeah, it, it is actually really good. I know a lot of people say it, but I've literally never thought about children's genitalia as much as these guys in this one conversation. Dude, I know. It's so fucking weird. It's so weird. They spend so much time talking about, like, like baby dick. It's odd, bro. Like, you're literally thinking of a child's genitalia shopping yeah. at Target right now, and yeah. you're scared of a color. Your gender after birth. That's what people talk about. We don't care about picking. that. That's a gender, not a sex. Say again. <laughs> they they have no idea. They're like, I've <laughs> never even thought about the thing that you just said. That's awesome. That that a gender. You're talking about. You're, you're talking about the, the, I'm a little the, worried. The, I don't know if XCC is going to be able to explain this concept yeah, well. Biological, like you're born with a dick, right? And then and then. And then you want to be a girl or whatever? Like, what are you talking right about? Right wingers spend more time thinking about my genitals and I'm the one with gender dysphoria. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 100%. Right wingers, depending on like the level of insanity that they're operating on, unironically think about trans shit way more than trans people. Because trans people got a lot of other stuff that occupies their mental space. You know what I mean? Like hearts of iron. Or whatever kind of sex mod that they want to use on Fallout New Vegas. Elden Ring. Or, uh, yeah, Elden Trans Ring is another love one. Elden Ring. Um, Hyper Pop. And who's really popping? Yeah. Lego. Trains. You know, various different Trains. autistic interests. These are the things that trans people have to think about on a daily basis. So, of course, there's not enough space left up there for, like, whatever the latest happenings is in the trans existence uh, field. I wasn't expecting you to be funny. You just, like, say everything in the same tone, so I always think you're lecturing me, but that was really funny. Thank you. You're welcome. That's kind of how I, I... That's what I do. Anyway, let's continue. Matt, am I wrong? A gender right. is like a social construct. All right, so yeah, all right, we're, we're on two different... Hey, listen, let me tell you this. If, if I meet a man and he tell me that him being a man is a social construct, I slap the shit out of him. No, you're a fucking man. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> DJ Academics, what do you mean you slap the shit out of someone? Shut the fuck up. Like, what What kind of, first of all, it's just like, you're not tough. Like, what are you talking about? The only thing you're slapping is your meat to the latest Drake album, okay? That's the only fucking thing you're slapping. What the fuck do you mean you slap the shit out of a man? Uh, can I have a lore check? What? Who the hell is he? DJ Academics? Yes. Look, like I said, I treasure my mental health. He's a fellow Rutgers graduate and also a Hasanabi fan, apparently, according to him. Oh. Uh, very famous for uh, really escalating conflict in the rap game, specifically uh, uh, specifically talking about, like, uh, the, I guess, criminal components of, of rap music. A uh, bit of a fed in that regard. And uh, yeah, his he he first rose to prominence as uh, in his like war in Chirac coverage. He's really not talking a lot about rap right now. No, he's not. He's now he's now more of like a like a, a like a right wing guy a little bit. But Why he, I mean, he back, even back then he go was to though. Right wing shit. Are they all just like? I just don't, I feel like that's a last ditch effort to hold on to a career. No, but he he was already like very right. Like his his. Whenever he talked about like rap music and and uh, like any kind of like gang activity surrounding rap music, he was already like hitting it from a very right wing angle. Mm. Um, but yeah, that's that's it. 
As someone who used to watch Aiden Ross back in 2021 when he was somewhat entertaining, I find it very goofy that he's now a right winger who spreads hate towards the LGBTQ when in 2021 he was quite literally playing into the role of acting gay or sus around his friends and music artists. And at that time, he also said he gave money to LGBTQ charities, which I don't know how valid this charity thing is. No, he didn't say he gave money to LGBTQ charities. He said he gave money to the LG charity. Famously. LG? He's just Diet Keemstar for the rap game, pretty much, yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Anyway. Yeah, all right, we're on two different... Hey, listen, let me tell you this. If if I meet a man and he tell me that him being a man is a social construct, I slap the shit out of him. No, you're a fucking man, okay? Yo, if God made you with a dick and a balls, you're a man. I don't care. I don't care if what you think about yourself. You need to go deal. I mean, God gave you a dick and a balls, I suspect, and you're barely a man, so I don't know. With that, go. To, you need to go to Christ or anybody else, Allah, anybody. You got dick and balls. You are a man. There ain't no social construct. Biology tells me what you are. You got a pussy, you a woman. You got a dick, you're a man. Again, we could make up these other rules, but that is the ground rules, brother. Like this whole, oh no, it's a <coughs> construct. It's like, dog, all right, I'm a penguin. Am I, am I a penguin? No, no. Pe what top five you smoking on, Kendrick? Because my top five is drink, 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 drink. If we broke it off, then you know it wasn't painless. If she got a watch, then you know it's not a stainless. I was out here fucking fans, I was shame. Certified slobber boy, certified sleepy boy. That's uh, a, he, it's I know iconic. I've watched that Drake leak at least 20 times. Oh, oh, yeah. No, he was. Maybe in the hundreds. Maybe we're in the hundreds. Yeah, that Drake leak was actually not even a leak for him. Drake actually was sending his dick to DJ <laughs> Academics directly. That's who he was sending it to. He leaked it. Oh. Real recognize real. I'm not a real I'm not a bad person. For anyone saying I'm homophobic, I literally am donating percentages of my stream revenue to um to um you know the LG community. I'm donating to a bunch of other communities. Just the lesbians and gays. <laughs> Just the lesbians. Bro, I Bro love the that LG company. community, dude. Chable. All gay people are getting TVs. Look on your chair right now. You have a TV. Hell yeah. Sorry, that was back. That's when I was back in Texas. God, I was so fat back then. It's crazy. Looking back at it now. That was like right at the peak. That was like uh, when, when it was just opening up after COVID. It was crazy. Anyway, let's continue. What, what X is saying is, so sex is male or female. Right. So... So you're correct, Ak and Aiden. There's male and there's female. Yes, there is. That's there's two genders. Okay. Yes. That's the biological attribute, right? Correct. Of male and female. That's sex. Yes. Gender. Gender. See, like the, the, there was a um, miscommunication and misunderstanding of gender versus sex. Sex is. There we go. My man. My man. A. A. The big ape awoken. Pop off. Female or male. You understand? So when you guys yeah, say there's two, of course there's I understand. Two, when you guys say there's two genders, you're referring to there's two sexes, right? Gender is actually a social construct. There right? you go. So I How can Tran understand this stuff? I think you guys forget that like Tran Rex is like sure he's like a ultra misogynist for most of his career, but also is like very woke on gay shit. Like he's always, dude. This is a man who's talked about fantasizing about sucking cock on hours, on hours on end. So like he he understands like he understands that gay shit like nobody's business. He's one okay? of us, huh? Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Always talking about sucking cock. What, what, why that I'm wrong about this? I was wrong like about behaviors that. and certain things of certain different right. Like so, when you say Wait is there two genders? What you mean? Are there two sexes? Yes, there's two sexes. There's male and there's female. Guys, you understand? Guys. So like you're both arguing two different things. That's hey, academics. Hey, oh, no, 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 stop! Okay. Stop! Academics. Have you ever gone to a gender reveal party? We don't call it a sex reveal party. You call it a gender reveal yo, party. Yo, yo. Fucking owned. Dude, that's right, baby. Yup. Dude, that's that's it. That's It's destroyed. Left wing destroyed. God, he's so brilliant. This is why, <laughs> this is why I love right wing thoughts and right wing opinions. Because everyone will always be like, uh, why don't you find a smarter interlocutor to debate against? And why did you bring this fucking dumbass on board to present right-wing ideas and it's like 
It's because the dumbest person can still absolutely channel the essence of right-wing sentiment and the arguments don't get better. Okay? It's the same argument. That's it. That literally is always the same. That's why back in the day when I used to uh, debate people in my Discord all the time, which was a big mistake, I used to do this shit all the time. And one thing I very quickly found out is that, like, people would always want to debate me. I'd bring them on. Well, I would that's like the opposite of therapy. Yeah, I would. Exactly. It was awful. Uh, I would debate them. I would fucking, you know, humiliate them. And then other people in the chat would be like, no, no, no. That guy was too dumb. Like, no, no. Debate me instead. I got way smarter opinions. And then I would just keep doing the same thing over and over again. Because the talking points don't change. They're just regurgitating the same fucking eight different target points over and over again. There's no like critical thinking beyond that at all. So every single time I would bring another person up, I would debate them, humiliate them. And then another person would be like, no, 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 that guy was dumb. Debate me instead. Only until they were on uh, the discord server getting fucking owned in a similar capacity. That's it. I think you should debate me instead. Though. What do you want to debate on? Um, I would debate you on the efficacy of avoiding the top of the hour ad break, which uh, comes at the top of every hour. If you no mm. longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime. What do you think about this? I think gay people are okay. Absolutely not. Guys, I just got absolutely fucking owned. There, there it is. <laughs> Gay people are okay. Wrong. They are not okay. My counterpoint is Austin Show exists. All I right. Saw, I saw your uh, TikTok the other day of you reacting to uh, Will and Austin having fun little girl time in the bathtub. That was fucked up what he did to me. Okay. It was fucked up what he did to me. Messed up. All right, here's the three-minute oh ad break thank now. Thank you for the gifted subs. This isn't my channel, but... King I Harry, thank you for the 20 gifted. And anti Materia, thank you for the 10 gifted. Allowing 30 people to no longer see the ads at the top of the hour. Yo, yo, That's why yo, it's called yo, a social they construct. They, 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 they know he capping because put it like this. If you meet some of these grown-ass niggas who think they females, if you ask them what sex they are, they're not going to say they're actually male. They're going to say they're a female. They okay. want to... Identify on all the, the, four, vegan, and, on, the all, no, on all the government forms. On all the government forms you filled out. Does it not say sex? M but slash we F. Don't my government do. forms, so, yo, respect my government form. Yo, we're talking about like I completely get your argument and you're right. right, but the people we're talking about, they want to be able to pick not only gender, but sex. They're X, picking not nah, that's people. not that doesn't seem right. Hmm. So, have you met someone that's so that funny. is uh, that's uh, <laughs> Yeah, dude. That's why trans people say they're trans people. That's like there's a there's a difference between being trans and being cis. The difference is like marginal. It's not that significant overall because if you're a trans woman, you're still a woman. If you're a trans man, you're still a man. But like the notion that like no, you don't understand. Actually, let me tell you the trans understander. Trans people are actually trying to change their sex. The fuck are you talking about? You am are just so oblivious. Am I just stupid or is he just really hard to follow? I mean, I think he's maybe it's because I'm so fucking brain broken that like No, I think I'm brain broken because I can't even listen to somebody say No, two you're normal. You shouldn't you shouldn't be able to follow their train of thought because it's like really dumb. The only reason why I can and many in this community can is because we've heard it a million times over. So we know exactly what like uh logical traps there are in this uh, in this conversation and we know how to follow the fucking talking points because we've heard it a million gorillion times over let's go guys i'm normal can't speak for mm -hmm. the rest of y'all but i'm good i'm straight i let like i gotta be clear because i know i'm gonna still on twitch uh trans and if you you do you think they identify Bro. like oh i'm actually a male sex wise but i consider myself as a woman they don't they call themselves a woman and a female that's a fact oh, why are you trans, acting yes. like they still but consider the, themselves the gender, a male they, still, no, they, they still mean the gender though like and if they don't they're wrong but that doesn't that doesn't why do you feel so so 
uh, enraged and, and compelled to, to write them. That's the gun. Trans women always calling themselves females. That's what I, that's what I see all the time. Bro, it's just so crazy. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> DJ Academic saw a Liv Agar tweet and was like, <laughs> I miss her. <laughs> he saw a tweet. He saw a tweet from Liv posting. He was like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> <laughs> this this trans woman is calling herself a female. What's that about? Government's fucking thing to do that. If they <laughs> if they misrepresent wait, wait, wait. if they misrepresent themselves oh, on a government oh, form, they're now wrong. That's fucking illegal. Hold on, hold on, if they say on, sex and they they, they misrepresent themselves, that's actually wrong. Why do you feel like you have to go? No, you are this. You are that. Yo yo yo, chill the fuck out, bitch ass. Chill out. Correct them. I don't feel compelled to correct them. I'm just showing the fallacy in what you just tried to explain. Not a fallacy. And you don't know what, well, maybe not you, but the train wreck said, well, you know what? You guys are right. Sex, there's only two sexes, but you could have multiple genders because that's a social construct. I'm telling you that usually if someone, and by the way, I'm not even passionate about this truth. Right. Told. Right, but, right, but, but like, right. Yeah, he's just he's just yapping. I don't even care. But like, also, I'm gonna say some heinous shit, and it's also totally uneducated. But honestly, it doesn't really matter either because that's how this is. That's how this works. You don't have to know anything about the issue. You just need to present yourself as having strongly held convictions, devoid of facts, and and maybe even you don't even have to even care about it. You could just present yourself as. Uh, as though you do care, and then that's it. We'll yap for hours on it. Well, usually, if someone say someone was born right, a female, they was born with a pussy, right? If they want to now identify as a man, they're not gonna then tell people, "I am a female by sex." But I am a man by gender because they're no. because they're and acting in a social way with other social beings using a social right. construct to fucking communicate. They're using no. a social construct to communicate, not some biological fucking markers. Holy shit! How hard is it to understand it? Hold what on, the hold fuck? On. Listen, Yo, I, I'm going by your own metrics, though. Your own metrics said that one of them was biological. Right, and then the other. So one is biological, and then the other is actually social construct. Right. So you said male or female biological. Right. I never thought I'd see the day where XQC is like doing a really good job of defending like trans existence and like trying to explain it to just the absolute dumbest people. They're just regurgitating regurgitating the same point. Uh, well, be, yeah, it's just like devoid of facts. It's just I like how he's on saying, like, if a trans person is around me, I'm gonna say this or do this. No trans people want to be around you by choice. <laughs> it is not gonna be by choice. He doesn't gotta worry about trans people being around him. It's very humble of you not to take the smallest amount of credit. I'm not taking any credit in this. This is the ridiculous. Uh, you're you're ridiculous for saying I should take credit for this. Yes. So you Excuse said uh, is is genuinely interest, interested in this stuff on his own, okay? Who's to say that he got uh, any of these ideas from me? He could have gotten it from other people that he watches as well. Um, a uh, 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 man or woman or whatever is, is more of a social construct. And, um, I'm telling you that those people that who identify as such, they don't make that distinction. They're not going to be like, I'm a male that that identifies as a woman. They usually say, I am a female. Wait, so I have a question. Yo, 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 it's wait, insane wait, wait. that you guys are so mad about, about some some girl or some guy saying it. Some guy I, saying it, oh, I'm a girl. Care. Then fucking Connie saying, I'm a god. It's like, it's, you guys are so selective no, in your that. outrage. Wait, it's fucking insane. I only care You're about nuts. kids, bro. Leave the kids. Uh, he left. I only care about leaving the kids out of it, bro. I just got mad about the Target shit, and I get mad about, you know, TR, like having puberty he's blockers for kids. That's all, that's all I get mad about. Yeah, he's mad about Target. He's, he's saying that he thinks that Target should have never had a, a pride section that featured uh, children's clothes. That's it. I'm sure he would never think about this ever if it wasn't for that. Except until the next thing that like right wingers talk about nonstop that he wants to chirp about. That doesn't. Yeah, Uzi the Goat selling MB merch at Coachella. That was the other thing that was like very interesting because Lil Uzi Vert 
is someone who has collaborated with Aiden Ross. Aiden Ross loves dick riding every fucking celebrity into oblivion. And like, he loves Lil Uzi Vert and Lil Uzi Vert is non-binary. So maybe, maybe they should have a conversation with Aiden. It happened though. It's, so, it's yeah, like- It actually does, it, it does. Some parents I, allow I it. Said it. I said it, I said it, give me statistics. I said, huh? give me examples, what did he give me articles. You, you have I'll given me- what. You said, give me statistics, give me examples, give me articles about why you're, what? Oh my God, you're like actually translating. What, yeah, this Holy is, fuck. yeah, he, 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 about why, um, what do you call it? About why you think this is like such a big problem. Nothing. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, because I'm not informed. I don't really spend all my time doing this. Just he's also, he's also bringing up the point that it's like, why are you so fucking butt hurt? Why are you been out of shape if you don't have any information whatsoever? Like you don't even have, you have these firmly held convictions about an issue that one, um, has nothing to do with you altogether. And two, you don't even have any sort of factual basis to feel some type of way about it. Just give me one. I I'll find some. If I really take time to Google it, I can. I saw a number saying seventeen thousand, but I want to look into it before I really use it as evidence. So you're but pushing here. a narrative. What yeah, Aiden Ross should have just played this and been like, yeah. "This is why yeah. I care." I gotta go pee, but you have to watch this. Yeah. We watch New House like after this. What's that? Welcome to my house. Oh my God! You know, I never actually show that to my community. After I spent hours and hours and hours with uh seer and will doing a deep dive i was like doing investigative reporting yeah. i found their like facebook group and found out where they're like located because they were like suspiciously hard to track down i love new house yeah oh, oh. my god we'll do oh, that afterwards no watch this yeah. 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 you can pause to get commentary yeah. oh, if you'd like So right there, he said, target on my back, which if you don't know, the store that he's mad about right now is target. And there is also another term where like, if somebody's about to shoot you, they have a target on the back. Okay, I digress, let's keep on going. Yeah, that's why I keep a strap and I'm always by my bed. A strap is a gun. And that was a trans drink. Bud Light is a trans drink. It does turn you trans. Beware. Gotta stop. Yeah, you know we gonna win when they target, target, yeah, they target and target, target, yeah, they target kids, target, target, yeah, they target. So I'm very confused why they're upset about this brand of champagne uh, having rainbows on it um, because they should be upset at, what is that called? Stella Rosa instead of Target. But I digress. Let's continue. Oh yeah, nothing quite made my pussy tremble like whenever he waved those flags. I've never seen an alpha male do that before. Let's let's review this. Let's review this clip. Wow. Yeah, that you know that oh yes. Yes, I actually hate whenever they target kids with tam packs what the fuck are they doing okay okay i'll watch i'll watch you know they cutting these kids they leaving trannies with scars why they pushing the gender promoting sexual genders i'm only rocking with bruce don't Wait, bother no kidding jenna let me that gay shit gonna get you paid yeah we gon' see it's my alarm it's one it's one if we trumpet baby they put a target on my Impressive back but they targeting your kids they don't even need to ask because you want know what it is yeah that's why i keep a strap and i'm always by my bears this agenda gotta stop yeah you know we gonna win when they target target yeah they target and target wow. target yeah they target kids you know guys should we excuse this transphobia just because the transitions are really good thoughts thoughts no yes Okay, you guys, you guys figure that out between each other. We'll continue. Target, target, yeah, they target and target. They're tar only showing the, the showing the same rainbow product. They only have one. They can only find one. Oh, sorry, Peach Piker's gone. Your outfit today is really cool. Thank you. Where'd you get those pants? Um, 
Dolce & Gabbana sent them to me. It's the DNG <laughs> Razor. Okay, I, I don't want to hear anymore. That no, was, it's that, like, it's the no, same no, no, as that the... No, no, that was enough. It's the DNG Razor collab. It's a gamer. These are gamer pants. Sure, buddy. Yeah. Uh, I'm serious. Look at the gamer chair over there. He, yeah. Look. Can this, Dolce & Gabbana send me two fucks to give? Like, I'm not on their list. This is a Dolce & Gabbana I, Razor gaming chair. I was at chair. the party. Remember Dolce & Gabbana Razor party? And then you kept oh. on telling me about how rich you were and that maybe one day I could, like, check I, out your mansion. I didn't go oh, to no, the... Oh, no, you're just really drunk. It's okay. I didn't That's go to the Dolce & Gabbana Razor party. They had a party? At TwitchCon. I was standing right next to you. Did we go? You poured me a drink that was literally oh. 90% tequila, and oh. I don't remember much after that. It was... Oh, you're, it was the OTK party. Or no. not OTK, offline TV party. Yeah, wasn't it like a Dolce yeah, & Gabbana yeah, yeah. X Razor? Okay, I didn't even remember that that was a fucking Dolce & Gabbana Razor party. I thought it was an offline TV party. We're such good friends, guys. There's a gaming chair in the room and your maker sit on this? Yeah, no, you want to sit on the Dolce & Gabbana gaming chair? No. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. It's actually very okay, comfy. Okay, guys, you're twisting my arm. Target, yeah, they target kids. the news story, target, targeting kids. They going after our youth, and yeah, they do it like this. If you ain't mad yet, well, then you better be pissed. Let's protest until they close and they ain't gonna be missed. Why they got pride shirts in the kids' clothing section? Why they trying to mess with the kids? Aiden Ross saw this and was like, bro, this is the worst, absolute large, watch out for the cable, absolute largest injustice of all time, dude. Misconception, they manipulating minds and making evil impressions. Got the boys tucking out by the time they teens got depression. We need to clean up on there. Don't you? This is my favorite guy. <laughs> are you okay? Where did you get this? Oh, are you talking about my make America? What do you mean, where did I get this? I made it. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. You made it? Yeah. Oh I, I, I made it myself. Congratulations. They keep showing alcohol. Is Target selling alcohol to kids? Yeah, dude. Well, they can only find one thing with a rainbow on it, and they've showed it eight times. Yeah. What, Kai? Why are you mouth breathing? She's probably hot. She's a little hot. My AC's broken right now. It is? Yeah. Well, but it's, like, kind of chilly, right? Yeah. Decent. Okay. Look at this beautiful man. And tell me it that is, you don't trust him his forever. His line looks sharp, Eden. He's, he's so, I love him. He wants to wash Target aisles with the blood of Christ. Oh. Like, think about that. That's, That's normal. I love him. It's needed here, so we don't think twice. They he also is like... He's, he's like hit the perfect level of fatness where he always <laughs> looks sad. Like, I don't know why, like the, the buildup on his face, like he carries it on his face in the funniest <laughs> way possible. I love him. Like he just always, like he could be, he could be experiencing the birth of his firstborn and he would still look like sad in the room. You know what I mean? He's like, <laughs> I, I, I love it. I'm so happy right now. It's just. I just look the way I can't stop looking this way. He's like a pug. I love I yeah, that that part is awesome too. I love this guy though because he just looks like, at least the other guys are like kind of dripped up a little bit. It looks like they just picked him off the parking lot and we're like, hey, you want to rap on uh, on our song? Oh, is he rapping? I haven't even seen his mouth. He, uh, you, you skipped it. Uh, no, it, I you, didn't skip no, no, anything. you didn't see it. He, oh. he rapped oh, right he here. But it is pretty cool that like, <laughs> he just kind of looks out of place. <laughs> yeah, that's why I keep a strap. Is that I'm on my pants. This agenda got to stop. Yeah, you know we're going to win when they target, target. Yeah, they target and This is what motivated Aiden Ross, though. Like that—that's what. Can you please just show "Welcome to My House." 
Okay, okay, let's finish this and then we'll do welcome to our house. Finish this? There's an hour left. No, 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 we're not gonna finish the whole thing. I think oh this is like where the conversation pretty much ends, but it's okay, I'm learning. Um, I just wanted to finish it because I think this is a good YouTube video to cut out of it. Sorry to bring you into this. No, it's okay. No, 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 no. I'm, but I'm learning right now. But then we're gonna do banana peels. You haven't even like but asked. Absolutely me, like, nothing, how no backing was, though. How was your day? I won Master Baker. Wait, I thought you were like uh Well, I like got first place today. Tomorrow's the finals. You're like there. Wait, what the fuck? Do you remember that you're supposed to do that? Yeah, I know. I'm I'm one of the judges. Yeah. Wait, you're a contestant? Yeah. Who else is a contestant? Uh Sam. Samich. Oh, it's just you versus her? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. What? What? I think I already know who's gonna win. What? I got first the last two days. She hasn't even gotten first once. Yeah, it's about to be the first. My brother David. Christ, I can just leave this stream, you know that? <laughs> like, I have free will. <laughs> Why are you giggling and kicking your feet right now? <laughs> She's what do you mean? Spoiler alert. Spoiler you alert. You're about to watched, lose. You haven't even watched Master Baker, bro. And I am the Master Baker. I don't need to watch it. I've watched so much Master Chef. I, I'm just saying. I've, I, been, I've mastered it. These last two days, I've been absolutely kicking ass. Wait, how does okay? Let's we're, we'll talk about this in a second. Let me finish this, please. No uh, knowledge, no statistics, yes. and no examples. No, 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 no. But XQC, if you don't think there's ever been a minor that's taken puberty blockers, it's it's a okay. No, it's, and you were mad about the tattoos earlier. And how many minors get, get tattoos? I don't agree with that, though. I don't. I think minors okay. should just fish not drink. Oh, yeah. Do you want any something to tattoos? Any you don't see, you any don't, don't very vocal about that, though. I just said that I don't agree with that. I don't agree with any permanent damage with minors. I think when you're 18 and 21, that's when you start drinking and smoking weed and doing permanent damage to your body. I, 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 you know, I don't think that you'd get into those things at a young age. I, I, I don't know. That is a good summary, but the man with half the facts and heated debate with man with zero facts absolutely fucking destroyed Aiden Ross. The man with half the facts destroyed here, cleared. Props, big props to XCC. Agree with that. Jim. But, but, but like, like I'm telling you, these things are, are not happening at a rate or at a density, which it's a problem. But it happens. These are outliers that, that are problematic. It will. It's growing. It's growing, though. It's how, is it, how is it growing? The fact that Target is even allowing an LGBTQ section in the kids section is crazy. Some kid isn't going. That is so irrelevant to fucking uh, even the puberty blockers conversation. That's like, what the fuck are you saying, dude? So if Target removed everything, what would they argue about then? They, that's, they will find another thing to argue about. No, which they impossible. Did. They literally did do that. They uh, famously got one can by Dylan Mulvaney, uh, the trans content creator, TikToker. No, no, I literally heard if you drink Bud Light, it turns you trans. Yeah, like they, they very quickly moved away from Target uh, when Bud Light uh, made the mistake, I guess, of, of making one singular can with uh trans tiktoker dylan mulaney's face on it Love her. and then they were like it's over oh my god bud light like we have to fucking we have to do everything we can to stop this madness going in there and his life is transformed and now he's like a fairy dust because he saw some fucking a rainbow dude holy not shit the point. that's not the point You're my kid saw a rainbow he's now a fucking fairy like christ dude that's not what I'm saying. I I'm not saying that. I'm really not. not what I'm trying to say is just, I'm cool with whatever. I get what you're saying, by the way. He's what? not cool with whatever. Nope. I don't think so. No. How, how you're talking about sex and gender. I do get that take, what you're saying. But what I'm saying is what I agree with Ax saying too. Like if you are biologically born as a female and you transition to a male, you're still transitioning to a male. But I'm going to leave that topic because you guys had it. I don't really care. I don't really give a fuck. Yeah, you guys got mad. I think you guys got cares. raised and pressed over that. I don't care. I'm not pressed about the kids. X. I only care about the, you know, the kids. I only care about. Bro, Aiden, once again, I'm going to reiterate this position that I started off this conversation with, but I, it has to be said once again, Aiden Ross has single-handedly caused permanent damage to an entire fucking generation of children. The fact that he's over here talking about like, the fact that he's over here talking about like, oh, I care about kids is insane to me. Okay. Whether it be crippling gambling addiction, like a lifelong uh, <laughs> a, a, a life of, of potentially having gambling addiction or any number of different awful behaviors that he has promoted to children, he is, him and Andrew Tate are literally so much worse than any number of, of different things that are, that are actually harmful to children. You know what I mean? Obviously, 
kids seeing like queer representation in media is not harmful to children at all. It's actually quite the opposite, but you know, I it's agree. weird to, it's weird to hear the guy who like showed porn to his child audience, turn around and be like, I, whoa, I think whoa, whoa, children whoa. are, was it straight porn? Yeah, it was. Oh, okay. Then we're fine. Yeah, that's good. Right. Yeah, You're right. No, we're all good. You know, children, I think just children should be left out of any agenda, any agenda, really. Um, out of all issues with kids, right? There's a lot of pressing matter. Yeah, here, here is uh, Aiden Ross's effect on children. A viewer on Aiden Ross's stream decided to drive their car into a lake and got arrested shortly after. Let's go, it's full sighted. Let's go. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. What the fuck? Bro! What the fuck? What the fuck? Keep going! Bro, what the fuck? Oh my fuck! No! 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 Get out! Get out! The fuck? It's, get out! He's already out. He's already out. Oh. Bro! Oh my god, that bitch blew like me. Should I go in the water? That shit's floating. No, man! It's gone. Bro. Aiden Ross also told uh, his fans uh, in one of these other like uh, making my fans dance like little monkeys uh, challenges that he does uh, to throw piss on their brother. Like just piss in a bottle and just like chuck it at their brother or sister. Uh, it got it got so it got so out of control that uh, there was a point I remember because I was uh, weirdly I guess involved in it without my uh, knowledge, but um, there was a there was a dude who literally was like, "Yeah, my my brother listens to gay ass shit. He listens to Hassan all the time." And um, I think he was, uh, yeah. What was it? Hold on. Aiden Ross tells viewer to slit his brother's throat. A Hassan Abi fan for twenty k. Aw, clip was deleted. Oh Aw, well, let's see if it's archived. Bro, I'm so glad I live under a rock. All right, I gotta hide the shit. I gotta hide the shit behind the screen. He's a stomping? Bro, if you slit his throat, I think I'll give you 20k. <laughs> no, bro. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right, I gotta hide the shit. I gotta hide the shit behind the screen. No, no, listen. He's a stomping? Bro, if you slit his throat, I think I'll give you 20k. I think. No, bro. I'm kidding. 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 Yeah, I gotta get everything ready. Taking out of context. Totally. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? What do you think he? Uh, means when he said, oh, is he a song fan? Slit his throat, I'll give you $20,000. Great question. Like, what, what, like, in what context do you think he was saying that, you think? Um, yes. Okay, well, uh, well, here I stand, owned, right before you. Hey, can you make more lighting, lighting in the room? Baby. Lighting in the room? Yeah, oh, I was yeah. about to say that. Yeah, 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 I got you, I got you. And just make sure when you put the pee on his face, we see the front of him, like the front of his face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reaction. Okay, okay, he, he's, he's gonna, gonna, like, be pissed. pissed. No, no he is. He I don't is. care. He's, he's, he's a song. Right, I'm gonna go get. I don't care. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Now nah, I don't even feel bad. I, Chad, do you guys feel bad now? Yes or no? I won't spam no. Like now you guys. <laughs> Chad, spam yes or no. Do you feel bad? I don't know how to feel about this. <laughs> Your Honor, my client was just being a little silly. All yeah, right. Yeah, he's being a little goof. He's being a little goofball. Okay, bro. Um. This guy, I think, is the same demon that got banned recently on Kick, which is a very rare phenomenon. He got banned? Yeah, uh, uh, for a couple days. For a couple days. Only a couple days. Yeah. What did he do? Oh, he told a 12-year-old he would rape them. <laughs> Are you kidding? Yeah, just some cool stuff. I mean, yeah, this is... <laughs> This is certainly not brain poisoning our youth and even adults, whoever the fuck is watching, to be honest. Your Honor, he was not being silly in that moment. Actually, no? just send him to jail. <laughs> got arrested recently? Yeah. <laughs> what did he do to get arrested? I think he was like filming in Dubai, is that what Chad was saying? He was in Dubai. He was. I do not feel sorry for that man. Anyway, all right, that's cool. He had a heated gaming moment. Top guy did revenge porns. Wait, what? what? Who the fuck is that guy? He's a guy too. Why are these all? 
These are all guys in their own way? Wait, isn't that the guy who, like, was streaming on Kick and, like, invited a lady of the night over? And, was that like, him? I don't I, know. I, I don't they, there's so many of them. Wait, wasn't he bald? I can't remember. You watched the YouTube vid? Wait, this is that guy? This is the guy next... The, the, this is the other guy. No, who? There's a guy on Kick that would, like, uh, secure child porn from children on Omegle and did it like like as a part of his content and did it live as a matter of fact and it would urge his viewers to go and like uh uh he would paywall the child porn the the revenge porn from children knowing full well that they're underage knowing full well that they're children aided admitted paying cheeser top right to put peanut butter and let his dog lick it off How anyway but that guy isn't any of these guys there was a video on it and i think this guy was uh no, 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 no. That is a different guy. That guy is called Citrus Aiden's Top Mod. Oh, okay, never mind. This is so he had a paid Discord server, whatever. It's none of these guys. It's just another kick streamer. Uh, however, in that video, there was also another guy that was featured that was Aiden Ross's top mod, an assistant or something. And uh that other guy had, I think, like leaked uh a girl that he had a conversation with in uh on Omegle and like then his fan base found out who she was and was like uh sending the the revenge porn oh my God. to her family and uh and and just like you know doxing her and shit and she was suicidal and so it's the it's the other guy oh but none of those guys so are many? this guy I don't think he streamed her flashing without telling her he was live oh my god yeah as we are probably having this conversation, there are cake streamers that are doing most likely exactly the thing that we're talking about. Maybe it's good that Omegle went Top down. right guy invited Nick Fuentes, who is a Nazi, on recently for 45K live viewers, mostly children. Well, 45K, mostly botted. That's the one, that's the one good part about this whole process is that like it's probably more like 1K and not 45K. This happened well, yesterday can, during XUC's Aiden I'm, I'm live change. stream as well. I'm going to change, man. Actually, I'm reforming. You are. Good job, bro. Wait, Happy wait, birthday, wait. Hitler, man. Wait, Yo, wait, wait, the yeah. thing is, Jesus. Rest, not rest in peace, but just remember what he did and remember how he was remembered. Like, every... every Jesus Christ. Hitler, Hitler did, did, way, Hitler did invent way. a lot of things, though. He was a good guy. Yeah, that's he what I'm saying. A lot of things. What did he do? Who? Bro, does something happen when you're like streaming on kick where you just <laughs> you just become evil? Like what is it? I don't understand. Just for a bunch of like 10-year-olds to go pog one time? Like what the fuck? That's it. Like what happens? I, I can't wait until some people's digital footprint comes back and haunt them. Aiden Ross's best friend Cheezer. Tells him Hitler saw the vision and claims Jews have corrupted America. Twitter. It's a battle to show a bunch of 12 year olds who can be the most edgy. What the fuck is happening, dude? It's one of those situations where I like, I'm glad that I don't really see any of this shit. And the, the, the accidental instances where I do see uh, this is my this accidental shit, instance. I'm just like, uh, I don't like it. It's fine. With children and education and yeah, young age right. stuff, and the, yeah. the the how vocal people are about the actual problems compared to this is at a smaller proportion, and it's ridiculous. If you actually care about the kids, you would you would care about all the other shit that's way more well, pressing, way do. bigger. What of that's I do. fucking those lives forever than this I'm shit. Saying, this shit is like a grain X. of salt in the beach, and you're making a big song and dance for this X. one thing. When people are fucking X. dying, it's insane. It's it's X. like ridiculous. X, do you notice when you debate something what you do? What you do is you like to throw in other things like Kanye is a god or whatever. No. X, I'm saying I'm saying no kid. I, I'm bringing up the tattoos. No yeah, kids are doing tattoos. Sad. No kids are to do this, that, anything. I'm just saying on this specific topic because it's brought up and we're speaking about it. Kids should not be walking into a Target and seeing a game section. Understood. Statue. Understood. I didn't. That's the, all I'm saying. The, the same way. Also, you're right. Yeah. The same way. The same way. It should okay. Be the the rest of this conversation is stupid, and I'm going to. You have a whole ass trophy on the ground. Yeah. 
It's how much of a fucking baller I am. I don't even care. It's like on the ground. Thanks for noticing. It's not a big deal. It's not okay. it's not a big deal to me at all, actually. It's a little deal. A little, little guy. Deal. Mm-hmm. Such not a big deal that the other one was stolen, as a matter of fact, by Carl Jacobs. I had two of them. Oh, you had two of them. Yeah. Yeah, that would have looked, those two would have looked really good on your floor. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. It's nothing to me. These things are psh, psh, nothing to me. I love this hat. All right. Um, good stuff from XG overall. You watched Skibidi and. Oh, God. Then you had nowhere to edge. I could have started mewing. No! If Gunatar's friends didn't edge you, you would have gotten the Skibidi syndrome. I know my own mew streak, Uncle. Is it your own mew streak? Or is it a mew streak someone else tried to pose on you? Stop it, Uncle Rizzo. I have to watch Skibidi. I'm begging you, Prince Taco. It's time for you to look at some gats and begin asking yourself the big questions. Gunatar? Who are you? And are you a Sigma? Always edging me as if I'm a beta. Well, I can take it. And now I can edge it back. For so long, I thought if the Ohio Lord accepted me, I'd be good. <laughs> I'm 36. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm 27. What the fuck? Yeah, this is um, this is a different kind of this brain is, rot. This is just Gen Z buzzwords, or is this yeah. funny? But I'm not. No, I, no, it's all Gen Z buzzwords. Yes. I'm more skibidi than ever, and I don't know why. I'm so. Rizzed up. I've been ashamed of my Skibidi. Uncle, I think I'm gonna stop watching Skibidi. I wonder what's changed. I wonder how I've changed. I thought I lost my mew streak and started watching Skibidi Toilet. But I know now. Some of them are Generation Alpha, though. Like, Skibidi Toilet is like Gen yeah, Alpha, but like kind of Gen Z as well. Yeah. Can we watch new house i asked my gen a uh cousin if she w knows what skibidi toilet is and she didn't know i think it's i but my gen z cousin did uh yeah i've heard it's a it's a youtuber like uh, gary's mod yeah is that right gen z ain't that old anymore hassan no how old um, are you <sighs> oh, i'm sorry old? was that sensitive no it's fine. Oh. how old do you think i am Oh my God, I'm not, you look not a day over 22. Thank you. Okay, this okay, is- Okay, now be the honest. Now, now you've definitely defeated that. Now you're definitely getting top place again tomorrow. Let's go, yeah. redemption. No, I'm 32. Oh, okay. I'm, I was born in 96, so I don't know if I'm Gen Z or millennial. I think Gen Z is literally uh, starting right after you. It's it starts in ninety six. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, ninety seven is when Gen Z. Ninety seven is the cutoff. So Gen Z is like you're. Uh, you are the youngest millennial. And see, the oldest millennials, I feel so so far from like you. Well, oldest? No, I'm I'm not even the oldest millennial either. The oldest millennials are like forty six or some shit, which is crazy. No even way. though I'm thirty two, like I I feel like that is a whole lifetime away. Hmm. How, what's the oldest millennial right now? 43, not 46. What? Yikes. Oh, no offense to chat. I just didn't know. Wait. It's what? just a big, just a big gap. Big gap. I'm 27. I'm so youthful. Yeah. So. This does not make if, sense. People from 1993 onwards were toddlers. The fuck we know about millennial shit? We were pooping our pants. So, what if we watch New House? Welcome to New House. Okay, you really want to watch this. Yeah. You really, really, I really want to. I got my hat wanna... on. Okay. You're welcome, chat. I advocated for you. New breed. Oh, new breed. Sorry, I was. You keep saying close. New House. <gasps> You're fake. You're fake. You don't even know. Now, when I first uh, turned this on, I just want you guys to understand something. You might be thinking, why is this eight minutes and 21 seconds long? Best eight minutes of your life. You're about to embark on a journey. You're about to understand so many things about the conservative mindset. It's just, it's so, this is, this is peak. This is peak music. 
Okay. Where are you going? Okay. Shouts out to Seer for, uh, you know, giving me this brain poison. See what happened over here, man. Yeah. Really warm out there. Really warm the house. There's also a lot of, like, like world building here, too. There's a lot of world building. It's cinematic. It's Kino. It's perfect. Cops coming out here. Tell me I was just taking out the garbage. Where you been? Shit, man. I've been taking care of these motherfuckers. Take care of what motherfucker? Oh, is that blood? It looks a lot like tomato sauce. Is that Heinz? I think it looks a lot like tomato sauce, but I assume they, they mean it's probably blood. Chat's at the edge of their seats already. That says earlier that day, in case you can't read. It's so funny. He's having such a hard time standing on this rock. <laughs> it is pretty funny because, like, I feel like you shouldn't have a firearm. Like, you should not be holding a firearm in an uneven surface like this that you're having such a hard time standing well, it's, on. It's just a shotgun. Like, I could survive a blast from that. That's yeah, probably really not. So welcome to my house. Cause these are my people And this is my land That's his land This is my land And this is what we pray for And this is God's plan This is God's plan Drake, If you ain't from here But it says welcome right there Also, I love that the, the bad guys Which, by the way, I, I have to Spoiler alert, these are bad guys The guys that you're seeing in front of you are bad guys It... It's not really a spoiler. Like, they're trying to tell you that they're bad guys. But if you're uninitiated with new breed, you might not know. Because they're not very no. good at explaining you things. You see the guy's outfit on the right? I'm shaking in me buttes. I know, but it's, like, weird because they look exactly like the people that are supposed to be the good guys. <laughs> you're right. You're like, right. that guy's wearing a jacket that says support vigilantes. You know uh, what I mean? I think the difference is that that guy, <laughs> obviously, on the right has fingerless gloves. No, but... <laughs> It's just so stupid because, like, they all are wearing Patriot gear. You know what I mean? Like, they, I, I always thought, like, when I first watched this, I was like, are these guys supposed to be Antifa? Because they still look like they're January 6ers. They don't know anybody else. <laughs> oh, by the way, you said, honestly, surprised they didn't use black people. Brother, why are you surprised? They don't know any black That's people. What I was just saying. They don't know Yeah, exactly. Black they don't have any. This is like, nope. <laughs> don't understand. This is my country. This is who I am. Why would the bad guys knock on the door? So welcome to my house. We're bad. Ooh, it's so spooky. They're just ding dong dashing. Uh, delivery. And then they just walk. So welcome to my house. That's called home defense right there, brother. Okay, if by now, if by two minutes and 14 seconds you haven't figured out, this is a song entirely about people that are trying to do home invasions and how you have to defend yourself and how you are excited, fantasizing about how you are going to kill the people that are doing home invasions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Castle Doctrine. This is a song about Castle Doctrine. I'm a stand up for mine. You better, you better believe, believe it, because today won't be your day. I can guarantee it, you should turn and walk away. I like that they're all lined up so he can just like shoot through them with his rail gun. Mm -hmm. Get to leaving, oh, I'll let this trail gate. Do 
all my speaking. Don't push me on the edge, boy. Don't push me on That's choice, by the way. Like, okay. I Most love his play. hats. No, I love his hats. Uh, this is a real tree hat. It doesn't even have the real tree camo on it. It just says real tree, like the brand real tree camo comes from the real tree hunting brand. And he has the hat. Yeah, it's so push me on the edge, Cause I'm aiming for your head, boy. Cause I'm aiming for your head, boy. And all I see is red, boy. And all I see is red, boy. I told you not to cross that line. I told you not to cross that line. I'm giving you a chance, boy. I'm giving you a chance, boy. You see boy. the devil in a glance, boy. The devil in a glance, boy. So I can knock you out your pants, boy. Knock you out your pants, boy. I told you not to fuck with mine. I told you not to fuck. And he asked God for permission, Lord and mercy, also, he, he apologizes, too, like, he's... Outlaw. Y'all was coming in, but we're not, we haven't got to the now you're back and now. Yeah. There's so much more. By the way, you might have noticed that the song is just consistently repeating itself. That is exactly what's going on, and it will be going on for the next five minutes, okay? Just so you get ready for it. Yo, it's so good. I, I unironically think he's a bomb. Shotgun in your mouth Shotgun in your mouth I'm glad you brought your friends They can watch it go down Watch it go down I got in mind too Don't worry Wait, so welcome to my house Welcome to my house Cause these are my people And this is my land This is my land And this is what we pray for And right now she's sound asleep So it's probably best for the both of us If you just turn around and leave Cause if you come in this fucking house Then you too gonna go to sleep I promise you boy don't play with me I pray to God my soul to keep Especially this day and age Gotta handle shit our own way With a 30-30 horse 12 gauge Behind this door your hell awaits My old lady she rides too Picking up every shell case Mopping up these blood stains But she ain't seen a damn thing Most of my people are convicts Hard headed, no nonsense. So please approach with caution. You never know who's watching. You never know what's on the other side of that front door. And you knocking, might step out like. Motherfuckers get the dropping. All the neighbors heard was the dogs barking. The sun was down, it was getting dark. And I told the sheriff, it ain't no problems, man. I was just taking out the garbage. So if you don't mind, please excuse me. I'm with the family trying to watch a movie. I'm sure you got better things to do. So I'll let you go and get back to do it. The best part is like he's basically like they show you'll see spoiler alert but at the end of it is just the conversation that he's having with the cop is, is just again played over again in real time. Back in now. Now you're back in now. It's hard to talk big with a shotgun in your mouth. Shotgun in your mouth. I'm glad you brought your friend. Look at that, dude. That perfect Look that, at stance. that perfect hourglass figure with the skin tight, distressed denim, with the fucking with the way that she's stanced up right now with those flippy floppies. You are looking at peak Deborah physique. That's Tommy Pickle stance. I know okay. that stance. That right there, that right there is peak Deborah, the apex predator. Okay. You don't got, you can't stance up like a Deborah. You don't have the physique for it. You don't. I'm sorry. You just don't, you don't have that Deborah physique. 
No, it's not good form. You're fa you're phony texting. You ain't got it like that. Watch it go down. Watch it go down. I got in mind too. Oh, there's a bug. So welcome to my house. Welcome to my house. Kill it. These are my people. And this is my land. This is my land. This is what we pray for. To my house. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. He's holding the gun wrong? You're wrong. She's from Texas. She knows. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. So welcome to my house. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. He's chasing him with a fucking ATV. Lord have mercy. Oh shit, what's she gonna do? So welcome to my house. Oh, oh shit. shit. Shot his ass again. Neighbors crept up to you, brother. Let me tell you, in my house, we got gender equality for weapons. And then the cops come. A white team like. All right, you gotta stop waving that thing around. We don't got no home invaders right now. You gotta call them about the disturbance. Uh, some neighbors heard some gunshots. They wanted me to come check it out. This is they the skinniest cop of all time. It's just not real. You could definitely not a real cop. Do you realize what they just said is that he did not call the cops? They yeah. were just leaving the body in there. The neighbors called the cops for them. Yeah. Yeah, they, we don't call 911 around these parts. Hey, cops who do meth are cops too. That's, we we got to Yeah, I don't need no cop. I got I got Lord have mercy on my side, all right? I was just, I was just taking out trash. And I ain't heard nothing. Been, been I heard hours, nothing. So, uh, ain't nothing going on around here. I just got the kids in the house and stuff like that. We're just hanging out and having a good old time. Gotcha. Good old time. Yeah, man. That's it. Sounds good to me. All right, y'all take it easy. Have a good night, man. <laughs> okay, that part is real. Because cops are that fucking stupid. Sounds good to me. <laughs> no paperwork. Let's go, yep. baby. Sounds good to me. I love this conversation that's taking place in this, though. Like, they couldn't write anything better. I Just hanging going on around here. I just got the kids in the house and stuff like that. We're just hanging out and having a good old time. Gotcha. <coughs> yeah, man. That's it. Sounds good to me. All right, y'all take it easy. Have a good night, man. Next time you guys run into a police officer, just say that you're having a good old time with your kids. Yeah. They will leave. Yeah, so... So at first, this was my first introduction to New Breed, okay? Mm -hmm. um, once again, shouts out to Ohio's very own Seer for showing me this. And when I found out about this, I was immediately captivated because it hits like every marker that I enjoy, everything that I love, okay? Now you said play this again. I don't actually have to ever play another new... Uh, I don't actually ever have to replay a New Breed song for me to play the exact same song over and over again. Wait, can we look at the comments before you get off this page? Yes. I want to I want to give you guys a couple different uh things that you might not have noticed here. Number 1. This has 135 million views. Okay? Wait, what? 135 million views. So that's number 1. Number 2. Everybody loves it. This needs to be America's song, and everyone who enters it better respect it. I'm a 64-year-old that absolutely loves this. I miss the old ways, and I'm afraid this song represents what our world is coming to. Thank you for putting this out, or touches so many that still value life, faith, and family. What what is it? What do they mean? What it's coming to? Like people uh, enter people house? are entering there. So that's the beautiful part about this, because it's like. The reason why I said you never have to repeat a single New Breed song to hear the same song over and over again is because every 
single song is about people breaking and entering into their homes. And I mean every single one. Okay? Oh, like, what's, what's great? If you, look at their, if you look at their popular hits, almost all of them are about shooting home intruders. And one must ask, why are there so many people constantly trying to break into your house? I have noticed since Joe Biden has become president that house break-in started existing. That's actually never happened yeah. while Donald Trump was president, so I think they're onto something. And it's wild to me, oh, this one has the Confederate flag in the background too, it's wild to me that, like, they are so obviously fucking broke too. Like, who the fuck, who the absolute fuck would try to break in to a goddamn trailer park, brother? What the fuck do you mean? <laughs> Like, you have to steal from those who have money. Oh, I forgot. I was going to ask you something. I'm only saying this out loud because I don't want to forget. I made a truth social. So I was wondering if I could take a picture of you, you know, handcuffed in a corner, sad and crying. To Do you post have handcuffs too? No. I mean, can you just like look abused in the corner? I think my truth social following would really like that. If you want to actually do that, we can do that. I have 76 followers. I think they would love you, to see you miserable. pop off on there. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Okay, sorry. Continue. I don't want to forget that. So... The point is, this is the peak conservative fantasy, is that, like, I can't wait for someone to try and break into my house so that I can shoot and kill them. That's it. That's, like, the whole point. Uh, and they really tapped into that, and they're incredibly popular. Like, they are way more popular than you think they are. I, I want to show you more. I want to show you guys more. I, there's another, there's a couple of really good ones. This one is actually not about someone breaking into your house, but instead someone breaking out and breaking your heart. That one is beautiful. A uh, little boy and the preacher. I think this also oh, has God, not those two in a sentence together. No, no. That one also is like about, wait, is this the right one that I'm thinking of? Hey, way off track. I've been sick and tired. I cried the blues. I heard people saying that I'm bad news and that's half the truth, but you're only going to see the half of me that's meant I've chased dreams, I've wait, wasted time, I've here? hurried up just to wait in line, but I paid my dues, I can't wait for mine, I gotta let I just, I, I know, she's actually looking away because she's too horny, it's fine, I, It's it happens to the best of us. Like, if I hadn't seen uh, this so many times, I would also react in the same way. Oh, this one's great, this one's I'm sick. I'm your Huckleberry. Huckleberry. I'm your Huckleberry. Why, Johnny Ringo. This one's sick. Like somebody oh, I God, I love that shirt. <laughs> That's... But it's not with you, Holiday. I beg to dip us up. We started the game we never got to finish. Play for blood, remember? Wait, that won't hold the intruders out. That's not that going to be enough. No, that would stop me. I go, darn. I wasn't. And this time... Legal. New breed. New breed. Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm kind of feeling. Come on. Just a nobody from the bad woods. Everybody telling me that I'm no good. They say that boy don't act right because I don't act like they think I should. I ain't never had no silver spoon coming out that bottom, boy. Did my dirt broke all the rules, but I trust you don't want this drama, boy. I'm trying to walk away if I can. Hold my temper, don't get the best in me. Y'all boys keep on testing me. These police about to be arresting me, and I'm trying to do what I'm supposed to. Speak my name, and I don't know you. Better watch out who you close to, because even your dog is close. If you hate to see me shine, better cover up your eyes. Like he is, 
he's just like like he's heart disease personified i don't know how else to describe it he just looks like he's like Ugh. he's got hypertension i can see, i can see it his wife is begging him to eat a bowl of cheerios <laughs> Strong, better get your weight up, cause I'm about to take the lead, and I ain't gonna wait up. I'ma tell you straight up, I ain't friendly. Don't show nobody no pity. Don't like nobody from the city. Got bad nerves, so don't tip me. My tolerance is on empty, and being fake just don't fit me. Got whiskey hauling my kidneys. My wordplay is so nifty, but thank the Lord that I'm gifted. Should've been locked away from my crazy ways. Could've been writing this from a prison. Could've been dead in the grave talking to your way, but I had to make a change and I did it. And I made my mistakes, but for heaven's sakes, I'm wide awake and I'm living. So never think that new free fake, cause I might just hurt your feelings. I like the shot of the Confederate flag when they say, I don't like the city, implying exactly what everyone understood when he said that. Show that at the same time. Wait, watch out. Don't, don't, don't show that. Don't show that on camera. There might be an address on it. Just, you know, just take it out without showing it on camera. Oh it's all God. good. No, there isn't, but still, it's you better to be safe. You scared me. Better to be safe than sorry. I should have told you that you ahead of time. can't get water safely in this house. Nope. And I push it to the limits. I say what I'm Oh, you wanted to see the, the, the shot where he says, I don't like the city? I think it's like around here somewhere. But for heaven's sake, I'm wide awake and I'm so fit me. Got whiskey hauling my kids. Don't like nobody from the city. That's what he says right here. You hear this? Don't like nobody from the city. Ouch. Don't know how Hogs gonna... rapping on being racist, peak cultural appropriation. No, it's awesome. Yeah, don't like them urban types. Ouch. Um, yeah, this is, is this uh, Drake's Kendrick disc? Yeah, this is. <laughs> Life disgusts me, always live the struggle. People said that I was trouble. Always on the hustle, trying to get it off the muscle. Had to get it how I live it, now we living like a savage. You said you want that real talk, well, I'ma let you have it. I'ma let you have it. I'ma right, let you it. have it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Never take my kindness for weakness. God, he's light is weak. Let me tell you that. Uh, how you better not mistake his kindness for weakness. Okay. Mm, I would God, never. he's hard to look at. That's <laughs> so funny. Drink natty light. Doctor Man told him. The vet told him. <laughs> he's, vet. His blood pressure's too high. <laughs> This one's like kind of made because there's not enough guns in it. I love the one. There's one where it's like. Their songs are really long and I think they're just getting YouTube ad revenue. The protests in late spring were mostly peaceful, but damage from looting oh, no and arson will cost one to two billion dollars in claims. Oh, yeah. That's according to the Insurance Information Institute. And that would eclipse the previous high, the 1992 riots that followed the acquittal of four officers in the meeting of Rodney King. That this is like Kid Rock, except the difference is Kid Rock, uh, Kid Diddler Rock, literally grew up in like a fucking massive mega mansion with a rich family. These guys are actually poor. Like that is. Can we look at the comments again. No, these guys are loaded. By the way. No, they're not. Now yeah. they they yeah, might now be now, rich. but yeah. I'm saying like they when they made these songs, they literally were not loaded. Like you, could, they were genuinely living in the trailer park. <laughs> I've been around, I've seen some things, I raised some hell, been off the chain. I'm from the south, that don't mean a thing. I did my time out in the rain. I stand my ground, don't come my way. Might fuck around and feel my pain. So burn it down. Yeah, 
they're, they're Florida boys. That yeah. is so bad. That like the singing is actually bad. Yeah, this is. Can just, I see? Can I see the just comments on this one? I, I really got to see somebody. I'm 55 and I love this. This song is so true to my life, knowing that I'm not the only one who has fought the system and spoke the truth while losing rights to cons and corrupt attorneys and judges they're talking about family court oh. could have ruined an honest man instead i found strength in fighting for what's right it's a good thing i did because now I fight for my life for uh, my life stage four pancreatic cancer and this guy who sings these songs has been kind enough to talk to me he's truly an amazing artist please support him and his music he's a hero and a legend in my eyes oh, this guy's listening while he's making corn whiskey okay just found this listening the fifth time straight yep Solid truth, my brother. It's good to know that we all have some good old boys who are actually ready and willing to fight for our country, our rights, and our families. This man is not in a war. This no, man. that good old boys means like lynch mob. Like he, he's saying that like it's sick when the black people rise up, like we'll have, you know, the clan to save us type shit. Oh my god. Good old boys. Oh god. Fucking love at your music. I can absolutely relate to every song, word of every song. Keep up the good work, brother. I was at Morrison Youth Institution, North Carolina, when Rodney King happened. We were on bunk lockdown for two weeks. Being a white boy at that time in the penitentiary was real as fuck, bruh. That hit different. Eight six three is the Polk County area code. I need to know how much auto they need to remove the audible throat cancer. Jesus Christ. Okay. 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 All right. Wasn't that it's fun, time. guys? Do we have fun chat? That was that was phenomenal. I fucking love that shit. Everybody um, jump up and down and go, me, 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 me. What? I'm sorry. I've been in a state of shock for the past three minutes. Are they pro Rodney King being beat half to death in 2024? No, they're saying like we, we've been through this already one time, you know? It won't be again. There won't be a second time. That's what the that's what it's about, I think. I do think it's cool that they rap, but they're also like very racist at the same time. <laughs> like <laughs> That's right. This is this is for those of you who want to consume rap music without them rap types singing it, if you know what I mean. Oh my god. <laughs> that's like <laughs> it's fucking awesome. Yeah, the good kind of rap <laughs> without all the bad parts. And I, by that, I mean black people. Does anyone, do, can one of the mods send me the uh, the uh, the link to the ban appeal thing? I always forget. Mods, please. I am so excited to see what riveting things have been said in these logs. How much you want to bet this guy believes white people created rap because of like Blondie or something? What? No, I don't. I don't think they care about it that much. Verified real time court report? Is that thing talking in court? Proceedings as well. Maggie Haberman reports that Donald Trump continued to fall asleep during the proceedings as well. Um, and, you know, what I'm hearing from my sources as well is that. Um, you know At the top of the hour, I'm hearing from my sources. This is a three minute break. That's right. And my sources are also telling me. Hold on, what are they saying? If you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe. That's cool, man. All right. For $5 or for free. That's what my sources are saying. They can't, they couldn't even hear your meme because it's okay. like the, the noise, the noise gate is too good. She made a second tower meme. No need for a mod. Here's key and peel. What? Okay, okay. Uh, here's the three minute ad break now. All right, we're moving on to banana peels. All right, ladies and gentlemen, oh, let's go. Got my thinking hat on. All right. So how often do you ban people? I ban probably around like 50 to 60 people a day, personally. But with the mod team <laughs> in general, with the mod team, we probably ban like, I don't know. How so, many people do you guys think we ban a day, mods? And, like, probably I, like 100? I have several questions before we 200? go. 200? One, I feel honored to be able to be on the ban council. Thank you for having me. This is uh, huge. And this will be on my resume. Um, what, what, what does it take for you to ban somebody? Like what, what, what well, you're about you? to find out. Okay. Okay. So yeah, you didn't now, ban somebody for saying start an OnlyFans. Now, so to be, to be fair, um, this isn't the entire ban list. There are a lot of 
Like Lake will go through and and Lake is probably the most knowledgeable on this. Lake says 20, 20 to 30 max. We ban a day. Oh. Uh total. So I so I think that that's probably the case. Lake also goes through a lot of these mm-hmm. beforehand. No. And just like leaves the ones that are Funsies. meme, yeah, meme worthy kind of. Because like usually uh a lot of the a lot of the ways, uh, a lot of the reasons why we ban people is for uh, transphobia, homophobia, bigotry of different sorts. And not like someone who's genuinely curious and like a little bit confused and engaging in like a microaggression or whatever, but like mm-hmm. straight up hateful shit. Mm-hmm. Um, we ban people for, uh, we ban people for hateful shit, uh, you know, being disgusting to my guests, uh, being shitty to my guests. Uh, you heard things that like that. Saying Hassan is wrong. No, that's not usually what we ban for. But but you are close enough to. Do you think you're wrong sometimes? Yeah, definitely. Calling us on a terrorist. Yeah, if you like, it depends on also the era. Like we're in the Israel Palestine era right now, so like we probably ban a lot of people. Um, we probably ban a lot of people that are uh like right now mostly people that are just being like Hassan, you're fucking terrorist. Hassan is wrong. is different from a finger wagging debate pervert. Yeah. It's, it's always couched as though it's like Hassan is simply wrong, but usually it's like, it's someone being like Hassan is wrong for saying that like Muslims aren't barbaric rapist monsters across the board. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's what it is usually. Anyway. Bad faith debate perv is probably the most common meta, though. A lot of genocide denial, a lot of Nazis, that kind of thing. All right. Um, all right. So up first, we have Triple Max. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Does this argument even matter? Hamas and ISIS are both. Oh, that's. Wait, is this oldest this is first? Oldest first. Oh, no, that's latest. Here, this is oldest first. Oh, now oh shit. We weren't even. Oh, no. What did he yeah. do? So Israel should not exist? Question mark. Of oh. course, Israel should exist. Do, to the people who are writing Free Palestine, free it from whom or what? David Sil Libertuel. No mock comments on it. I just recently learned about the word tanky. English is not my first language. Furthermore, I do not know what the solution for Israel Palestine is. I just wanted to know whether the people in the chat are against Israel's right to exist or for a one or two state solution. That is all. To me, it seemed like the people just wanted Israel not to exist. If a peaceful one state solution is possible, I have nothing against it. We should not only be divided by this peace YouTube. And then it links a YouTube video. Should we want to open that? Uh, I'll open it in the other direction. See, like, notice how the ogre clip. Notice how uh, this is 10 8, by the way. This is the first day uh, after, uh, so October 8th. Uh, and he sent this YouTube video called Stand With Humans. The thing about Israel and Palestine is, I don't think there's been another conflict where you'll see so many humans give their whole heart to one group of people, but have absolutely zero empathy for another. It's called selective humanism. Oh my God. Thank you to my Arab and Jewish friends who helped me figure it out, especially the El Isa Al Khatib, Claudia, da 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 da. Okay. Uh, what is this? Shashak Shapira. And ironically, it's the most inhumane thing. Yeah, no, the inhumanity actually stems from uh, people uh, not seeing the humanity of the other side because uh, this is a both sides situation. Fence riding the Israeli genocide of Palestinians. I actually realized maybe you don't want to uh, play a role in this, so you don't have to. You can just like slowly move. Oh, yeah, I can just stand over here. You can just stand over there if you want to. Yeah. Okay. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. But anyway, um, yeah, this is an all lives matter. Uh, this is an all lives matter type beat for uh for a a one sided situation. Uh, for the record, but it's actually a great demonstration, in my opinion, of someone who is coming at this with uh a shitty, annoying perspective, while simultaneously. Uh, acting like they are completely oblivious. Like, for example, saying, are you a tanky? And then turning around and being like, so Israel should not exist. Of course Israel should exist. So the people who are writing Free Palestine. I'll unban this chatter. That's the thing. You can do a nice apology. 
I don't, I mean, I think he's still being annoying, but whatever. Well, I guess he never even said sorry once. No, he, he's, he's just simply stating that uh, he's fine with a one state solution. So I would, in this circumstance, hit a mod comment, monitor for debate lording slash both siding pervertry. And then I'll unban the chatter. The only issue is whenever you have any picture of any retaliatory violent attacks is justified, you are not truly progressive, but rather an accelerationist. Uh, maybe you don't ever thought, okay, this is going to be all Israel Palestine. Yeah, I realize. I wanted to like see people being like, hey, your farts fucking stink, bro. No, we don't. Uh, that's not going to oh, be a reason. Darn. Yeah. Every single one of them is just like, it's going to be, this is because we went through sort by news first. They're all going to be, there's 644 requests right now. I suspect every single one of them is going to be Israel can we Palestine do news related first. It's going to be Israel, Palestine. Oh, one minute ago. Let's, let's review this one. Low key looks maxing by surrounding himself with ugly dudes. So I play a song in the background of my office and there are three others who are, were cool. It's unnerving to think that one of them have been commenting. I do always have the stream on even when at home, but I work a lot and rarely comment. I'm assuming the comments showing right now above this window are not what got me banned. And I've made none of them. Shit is crazy. Unban. My cousin wrote that, so it doesn't matter. Context, Chapo and Walid were guests on stream. See, I told you. It's like when... Oh. Oh. Oh, wait, I fucked up. Did I... Latest first? Wait. Wait, what? I'm so confused how this works. Oh, this is the latest review, I guess. That's what uh... just came in. Because people are just, like, writing now. His cousin wrote it, though. What do we think? I don't know. That's really mean to say about a guest, though. He, it can, is. he doesn't right, comment. Unbanned. Can't he still watch it? I'm banned. He call you a lib? Lib, sorry. Love you, little bro. He called me a lib and said you should be more pro Hamas. Not gonna lie. Kind of. I had kind of spicy takes about Hamas. I think I deserve an unban. <laughs> Saying that I'm not sufficiently uh, pro Hamas. Live appeals noise. Get him in. Hey, watchers. No, I'm telling you, it's all going to be Israel Palestine. We can't do banana appeals with you because I feel like this is something that it would be uh, fun for me to Whoa. handle. And Lol Overruled is going to be here. Chat. Lol Overruled <gasps> is going to be here. Uh, I love him. Not today. Oh. Um, he's going to he's going to be here soon. Uh, he's going to be staying with me uh, Monday and Tuesday. So when he comes in, I think he will he will be a better person to do ban appeals with than uh, P. Jars. I can't see a little. It's all going to be Israel Palestine. Uh, what is it? The only issue is whenever you picture any retaliatory violent attack is justified. Hamas are terrorists. Stop supporting those Nazis. Wait, I kind of want to see what this person said. Honestly, I will admit that what I was said was not the best and flat out wrong, especially stating that you support Hamas. I will stand by the fact that Hamas are terrorists for what they did on 10-7. Isn't Israel civilians have nothing to do with the corrupt government? Hamas is bad. Israel government is bad. Settlers are bad. Not all Israelis are bad. Much like most Palestinians are bad. I just want peace. I have family that lived in Israel. They were attacked. Took a little personal. <coughs> Chat, I am, I am pro-Palestine. I'm just not the most educated person. So I will just sit here doing like this. I deleted, I deleted Twitter and Instagram from my phone a while ago, and I have been living a peaceful life. <laughs> Play the rape videos on stream. Yeah, it's all going to be shit like this. Uh, I just, uh, da, da, da. So it's all, yeah, it's all going to be this just Muslim killing Jews. What's new? Yeah, and rockets that been launched into Israel didn't hit civilians. I'm sorry for being rude and idiot. Bro, where's... What is this about? What's the mod comments? Context, anti-Semitism. So many billions sitting there referring to a group of Jews. Uh, hey, mods, I'm really new to Assange streams. I watch it mainly on YouTube, so I didn't think these types of jokes, if you can call it jokes, aren't allowed. I'm really sorry. Yeah, see, like, that's, like, just pure anti-Semitism. I will not unban that person. You know what I mean? I've been permit appeal denied on main close for a year, and I'm not sure how it happened. I'm a giga fan. I still watch on YouTube chat terribly. 
All right, we'll do this. We'll do this with LOL overruled. I can't really find anything. This is all going to be Israel Palestine related. Yeah. This one's fun. World War Three, yay, too good. The prophecies were true. Armageddon has started in the Middle East. Yay, yay. Do we have TikToks? I don't think we uh, I don't think Discord made TikToks. You know what we could watch? What? New house. More new house. Or new breed. New breed. New breed. And why are they even called that? And why know. do they fantasize about their wives being kidnapped? I don't know. Uh we could watch Joe Rogan. Not one about like I mean, have you one? have you played The Walking Dead? No. I mean, I I promised I was gonna play uh, The Walking Dead early today. Look, I these man hands play Stardew Valley. No, no, no. Uh, it's not. It's a it's a narrative game. It's like Telltale. A what? It's Telltale. It's a uh, it's a narrative game. It's not like uh, you don't. It's just we make decisions and we can make them together if you would like. Oh my god, I would love to make some decisions. I anyway, got, this I got guy, 40 minutes. When place. Israel war has started, I just got a little bit nervous and posted these three cheap shots. Never going to post a second message same again. I won't even participate in chat. Thank you. He got you. a little bit nervous. He was just a little nervous. He was so nervous. He just... Bro, chat, I'm not going to watch a, a, the fucking Piers Morgan right now, okay? With peach jars about, like, an Iranian uh, guy destroying all the counter-propaganda against Iran or whatever. You guys need to fucking... Read the room. Holy fuck. Bro, they're sending you that because I am I do this. No, it's just fucking annoying that uh, it's like, yeah, the Iranian guy's good, though. Okay, dumbass. We're not going to do that anyway. You watch XC debate trans issues, bro? Yeah, at least, like, that's memes. It's literally fucking XC versus Aiden Ross. You know what, chat? You should send us a YouTube video where there's a bunch of fruit, animated fruit, bouncing around on a black screen. Can PCRs cosplay this, please? Oh, I, oh, I've already done that. You, Very there recently. you go. Like literally last week. She did it last week. I made a fan cam for you. This oh my is God. apparently hot for some of you freaks. This right here <laughs> is apparently hot. I don't get that. Do you think armpits are, there. do you think armpits are hot? You know, it's, it's funny. The first time I was ever here, we sniffed each other's armpits. Remember yeah, that? I do. Great, great times. Um, I mean, yeah, it's just a part of. The human body wouldn't everything like I don't get what people are like. Ew, feet, bro. I, if a sexy foot was in front of you, you'd be sucking on it. You just haven't had the opportunity. I've never seen a sexy foot. I've never had a foot that comes across sexy. Baba. Oh. You make your pajama, bana. Hey, unuttunuz ölüyorum aşktan. Hi, I'm Peach. He just laughed. He just he just <laughs> went <laughs> and walked away. That's it. Literally no other <laughs> words. My dad refuses to speak English. I don't blame him. Which is funny because he's... I don't want to talk to me either. He got a doctorate in economics from the London School of Economics. So he's like... He literally <laughs> wrote a, a, a dissertation and defended it in English, but uh, refuses to speak it. Honestly, like, I don't think I'm making the best first impression right now. His big ass hat? No, he knows this is my... He knows how I operate. Said a breast and the garbage chorus Asking if I'm big, can she tell that I'm a norm Get in here You want it? There are armpit fetishes though Like that is like a yeah, real Yeah, people thing. like it It's like weird But anyway, I hit Did if you, I You liked it? Of course I oh, liked god. it Oh <laughs> god Memories Oh my god, we go way back Nectar follow up on the dating vid? No, the what you need it for? Suck, dude. <laughs> also, she doesn't. She didn't watch the original one. What? What original one? The Nectar dating vid. Y'all wish that were you, huh? Fifty versus one. Is like one person just going on dates with fifty people? Uh, no. It's like fifty versus fifty, and they're like mass swiping. Question: What's, What's your uh, wiki feet score? I know. Wait, you don't even got it. Wait, just wait. I know chat would probably know right now. I'm waiting. I mean, no, no, don't look at chat. Let's just look it up. What do you think it is? I think it's like 4.8. Your mod knew? 4.8? 4.98? What? See, I knew somebody was just going to know it off the top of their heads. It's kind of 
impressive. Weird that one of my mods immediately said it. Uh, it's uh, odd that they had it ready to go. 4.95 out of 5. Is that something you, you tweeted or you posted to Instagram, that third one? Yeah. 4.95. 54 people have given you five stars. What is yours? Uh, I think it's like a nine point something. I don't, I don't want you to check on. Well, no, I don't think. I think he used to be five out of five, and then like my haters brigaded it and gave me one Which star. Which is insane. You're yeah. you. Have oh, my haters are such... unhinged. Okay, mine is a. Uh... How do you find the scoring? I have five stars. Where does it say the decimal? I think you just might have just five stars. Wait, you no, you have a 4.9 out of 5. Yeah, 4.94 out of 5, yeah. Mine just say beautiful feet. What Thank is it? You. Is it peach jars? Yeah, wait, let me make sure you can look at wait, it. Wait, that's wiki feet men. I mean, everything that's on here has been posted to Instagram. I will let you know. Oh, yeah. Is there like... Look at look at the first um, one though. Wait, hold on. They hold are. On. I'm, I'm just doing a cursory glance here, really quickly before I turn on the, before I turn on the screen. The first one, they literally screenshotted a video of me petting my cat and zoomed in on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they do that to me too. That was like my first one as well. Beautiful feet. Yeah, thank you. You got a lot. You got 261. Um, I got put on as Wiki Feet, feet of the day. A couple days. Oh, that yes. makes sense. So yes. there's a not to flex or anything, chat. I know you're probably a little like bit. There's a little bit of a, it's like it's like when you get home paged. Yeah, I got on Twitch. That's kind of fucked up. That what can I say? They love me. They love me. So many chatters are celebrating by saying this person's score is higher. Is your shoe size right? What did it say? Is your shoe size right? Seven I actually edited that myself because they were saying I was five and a half, and I was like, what? They're asking First so they can the United States. What? Well, that's accurate. Yours said 13. Okay, there you go. Uh, please tell Peach I aspire to be her one day. I'm only 26. I have one year left. Oh, sweetie. It doesn't take that much. Hasan, can you enlarge those images? Oh, my God. You guys are such fucking freaks, bro. Zoom in on number five. No. That's on Twitter. That's on Instagram. It's everywhere. That's also, it, it just paste these on. Right? Why, why are you looking at me? Yeah, of course. Yeah, there I you go. I wouldn't tell you to open that up if it was like just completely out. All right. Do you like whenever people make fan cams of you? Yeah. Do you like play with your worm to them or something? Play with my worm to the fan cams? Yeah. No. Oh. But I like it because it's it's good. It's hot aganda. Hot like, aganda? It's the one thing that my haters can't fucking push back against. <laughs> so it's like objectively positive. Like, wh what are they going to do? Be like, he's not hot underneath the fucking sexy TikTok compilation. Okay, uh, fine. I bet that pisses him off, huh? No, it does. Yeah. 100%. It's uh, that's why whenever I see, whenever I see a, a, a sexy fan cam, I hit a like. Have you seen the comments on your recent TikTok? Because that was on my feed and I thought it was hilarious. What, what was it? Well, I don't even remember. Did I? What did I post? I just love it because... I don't control my TikTok account. I don't know if I'm... These. Like, these are the ones <laughs> I post myself. They ain't listen to anything you're fucking saying. They don't respect you like that. I didn't hear a thing. He said, uh, I was memorized. The graying beard is everything. What did he say? It's crazy. This video has no dialogue or audio. I'm oblivious whenever you're on, baby alone in this but do you guys also sometimes kind of feel oblivious to what you put on in the morning like maybe you're not paying attention you just think yeah like, whatever i'm just putting on a hat it's the color matches right and it turns out the hat says jesus is my boss on it and then why is that you weird? know you're like oh it's a meme hat whatever but people around you probably don't know why would they know that you're wearing that hat nobody as a meme and nobody was memeing that. about jesus no, i was I, i'm at the dog park so i was hanging out with a bunch no, of like you're tall as fuck nobody can read it no i was at the dog park hanging out with a bunch of like liberal ads this is real like i i put it on not thinking about it at all and then like i started noticing that they were just like looking at me weird and like looking at my looking at my head i'm like what the fuck's happening you're so texas that you think that's normal in LA, when you see a dude wearing that fucking hat, 
Here, the point no, I'm I, making I here. I literally fish. see people wear that okay. on the No, that's why. That's my point. With the fish. Okay. When the nobody's fi memeing about the Jesus fish. When you see the Jesus fish, it's like, oh, that's a serious person that, like, seriously loves Jesus. She's on it. People probably think, like, okay, this guy's a real Jesus head. To them, I have to say, you are so brave Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Hallelujah, baby. I wear a hat that says IP in pools all the time. And I actually, it's what I get the most compliments on. This one is goaded. Hmm. Oh my God. Though. This is 28, 29, almost 30,000 likes. And it's just me adjusting the camera. I'm trying to fucking fix the angle, but not doing a great job with it. What's up with you and your pits? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, do you know this guy? I fuck so much pussy, I might switch to bussy. Bars. What, really? Yeah, that's what he said. Oh, that's actually really good. That's so true. Oh my fucking God, the Jesus Fish is serious? Yeah. If it was like just Jesus, like Jesus is my king or whatever, it would be fine. But the moment that there's a Jesus Fish on it, they're like, oh, that's a serious, like... Wait, that whole thing was an armpit fetish channel? Uh, Do you have a burp compilation? People love that, too. I mm. don't. People hate when I burp. Is this is this just about armpits? A spot dedicated to men who probably, who probably preserve the integrity of hairy armpits? What the fuck? That's the fourth, crazy. The fifth one. First one. Oh, fuck. What? I just forgot how to breathe. Is that doing it for you? No. That's so weird. <laughs> Jesus love you. Me next. Awesome and hot. This is my favorite type of comment. It's like probably not even a bot, even though it just sounds like it just looks like no. a bot. That's Robert France 14. Leave him alone. Oh, fuck. My algorithm's going to be so busted now. Jesus Christ. No, it's You not. watched Skibidi, and I then you had nowhere to end. Alex, more than what's anything. your favorite video game? GTA. Probably an idiot liberal. <laughs> Was that an James, NPC just said that? James, what's your favorite video game? Yeah. Arc Survival Ball. <laughs> oh, that's what the fuck? No. Patrick, what's your favorite video game? Minecraft. Do you like to join my my, my dad's Minecraft? His poor children are just getting roasted. I've got business cards here. here. I can't what's tell your favorite video game? You Minecraft. don't care about the children. No, it's fine. Oh! Children deserve to be fuck? roasted. Zoe, what's your favorite video game? Oh. The Breath of the Wild. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Dash, what's your favorite video game? Why? Bro, this woman what's has had it? too many children. They need to, she needs to stop having children. Head, so I'm giving him the best haircut. Okay, right off the bat, you can tell he's taking this way too short. And I was able to deliver. He paid, uh, wait, hold on. He paid 90 bucks. He paid 90 bucks for that shit? Bro, that's a $30 haircut at most. Bro, saved him from what? What? <laughs> I'm officially starting a new series called Humbling Instagram Barbers. I've never had a good haircut at all. No matter how much I explain. How much do they usually charge you? 45. Okay, 45, yeah, yeah. So now you're paying $100. $100? I'm gonna let this guy cook, but I don't understand why all these Instagram barbers so like pay for shoving the price down your throat. Uh, you more uh, zero dollars. Yeah, probably gonna get that. Probably gonna get. Oh man, this guy's not. Who are you fucking? I'm not fucking him, but uh, it's Jeff Wittek, the blind barber. He's blind. In one eye. Well, not really, but he's just he, his eye don't see too good. He got hit in the head by a crane by David Dobrik. Oh, that's casual. Yeah. Jeff's not gonna be happy about this. They fixed it. Technically, he's legally not blind in one eye. Even though he does still cut my hair like he is blind in one eye. <laughs> How about the Discord TikTok? Do we have TikToks in the Discord? Or are you just fucking saying that? Are you just fucking saying that? Stop, that's my mom. It's true. You are a chatter. Wait, we do? Oh, okay. All right. Well, sorry about that chatter's mom. Still fucked you, though. It's true. I fuck Chatter's moms. I bet she's a nice lady. Yeah, they're great. They did your boy dirty. Can you finish the lyrics of Water by Tyla? Make me sweat. Make me hotter. Make me lose my breath. Make me 
You're right. Yeah, we friends. Bitch! What the fuck? I can't. Oh my. That's fucked up. I'm be honest, I'm confused on what just happened. Kai had Tyle on. Oh yeah, stream. I saw she looks so pretty. Yeah, and and he 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 flubbed it. He tried and failed. He swung and he missed. To be fair though, you have to swing. It, like there's just no way you're, you you're miss actually. You no, I'm saying like you miss 100 percent of the shots you don't take. Like I I respect that decision that he made. But you have to go in there knowing that you're swinging. Yeah, and you're missing. Yeah, I mean it's just he didn't. I mean maybe he wasn't gonna miss. You know what I mean? Can you ask Peace to confirm if this is and true? To the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, always 100 percent pure B, just like you. Let's go, Waterburger. There's a, a, a Waterburger with a bar now in Las Vegas on the strip, and I am dying to go. It's so sad that TwitchCon is going to be there this year. Oh, I'm happy that it's not going to be there this year. Yeah, we did. I don't know the Texas pledge off the top of my uh, hat, which is sad. I'm not a true Texan anymore. You're fake Texan. Now that I'm in Austin, the lib agenda has got my brain cells. Yeah, this isn't a bad haircut. I do think the top is a little bit heavy, like right in this area. Worth $100? Maybe 50 His mom said chop off the peso pluma. I have plenty moose. Why is he adding moose? To straight hair. Moose is for wavy to curly hair to make the curls pop. Also, this is just way too short. Yeah, after crispy. Like, it's not bad, but I feel like you could have done a lot of better things with this. Also, used enhancement, so I'm... Alright, let's do the uh, Discord. Discord, uh, TikToks. Dope. Oh. It's fine. It's animated. It's a... Or not animated. It's a figurine. Okay. Uh, Whataburger's Garbo, pure trash. I kind of agree. Yeah, I like the breakfast, though. What? Yeah, the breakfast, I think, is, like, the best fast food breakfast that you can get. They have breakfast on a bun. They are the creators of the honey butter chicken biscuit. What else do they got? Taquitos kind of slap. TikToks. There it is. Let's do it, chat. Oh, and you have people um, thumbs up and down, and that's smart. Yeah, we have a... We have a we, we, I have a Discord server with 120,000 individuals in it. 120,000 people are in my Discord server. Mine has 7,000, and the they call me that, a bitch. The fact that... Wait, what the fuck? Are these ones I've seen already? Oh, my God. You guys put too many discs. Too oh, many discs. Wait, I want to see that one. Wait, hold on. We'll get to it. Bro, this is the new one? Yo, this is like... A million pages long. It's too many TikToks, man. All right. Um, here you can start <laughs> off by watching it. I gotta pee again. Oh, Peach Piker coming back. Are you hungry? Oh uh, yeah, but I have I have to leave in like thirty minutes. Okay, because my dad's making me food, and I didn't ask him to make you food. It's okay. I, so he just gonna... laughed at me, so I don't <laughs> yeah. think he wants to serve me anyways. Okay. Watch it. Please pee again. I gotta pee. Peach Piker back. All right. I'm sorry, I know this is directed to Hassan, but he's not here right now. Well, no, 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 it says, Hassan, do this, IRL. <gasps> Kaya, would you like to be? Come here, Kaya. Come here, you'll be my co-host. Oh, there's a stretch happening. One second. Nice, great form. Great form on that stretch. We know what this is. Oh, hello. I love the emote that y'all do. I do love the emote that y'all do, but this TikTok made me uncomfortable. Can I just say that? AI kind of scares me. Does your treadmill feel like it's gonna jerk you What the hell is he saying? I don't know how to mess with I wish it did, man. Maybe I'd be motivated to go for a run. I can't hear any I can't hear anything, and this is not my computer. Excuse me. I need your help. You need to kill me. All right. That one was good. That one was good. Wasn't that crazy chat? Did you guys just piss yourself? Did the Wii Fit call y'all fat too? Maybe they deserve to die. Oh! Peach Piker is done, guys. That was short lived. What? Talking about how people deserve to die? Oh! No, that was like five minutes ago.
I pissed for like two minutes and you got through one 39 second. I couldn't hear anything and you missed the other three I already scrolled past. Excuse me. I need your help. You need to kill me. What? Our 15 year old? What? Okay, I want to see this. I put that tape on my switch, perfect aim. They can't put me no giant, babe, because I changed the game. We fucking on the same, ho, but we not the same. Disrespect the five, I put your ass in the food chain. Come on, first, she said, Miss Jackson, go. I did it. Peach didn't do it. No, I noticed that. I she... just said that the AI animal scared me. Does your treadmill feel like it's going to jerk you off when you're running on it? I wish it did, man. Maybe I'd be motivated to go That's for a I run every hear. once in a while. I want a happy ending with cardio. That'd be sick. I didn't get that one. Okay. Hashtag ad. Come to set you, Shadisha, where we have car washes for life. I love th this is my new favorite variety of like ads that they do. They do this for uh, a bunch of different things. It falls in the same category as like those uh, suicide drops uh, where people like are accidentally falling and then it breaks into it cap cut it it cap cut edits into like someone doing a dead drop. The first 50 are vetted. Stop at the ones that have the stop sign reaction. Can you acknowledge this message? Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I've done this. I literally That's did this you with. And yeah, it's crazy. Is red hot chili peppers a slang word for homosexual? <laughs> That's awesome. She know what she wanted and had to go get it with. Nine Eleven plane pilot getting clipped by Statue of Liberty saving. The We've seen this already. Is this real? Yeah, this is what happened. She know what she wanted. She know what she wanted. Oh my god. That's how America was saved on that day. My dad and daughter. Of course I'm gonna make fun of you for being bald. My daughter's a real bitch. That's not I want one of those. Wait, what the fuck? How I want is, one of those little fuckers. How is that thing just sitting there? That makes no damn sense. <laughs> this is not funny nor cute. Dog expert here. Dogs only do this when they're in extreme distress. Wow, you laughed. You laugh at a dog's distress. This is called the rattlesnake. It's a great way to connect with your partner. That is the dumbest shit I have ever seen in my entire- It's called the rattlesnake and everybody's doing it actually. If you look on TikTok, I... babe, please, I- huh. What the fuck? I love like, I, I love old mid Midwestern moms getting freaky on TikTok like this, thinking nobody's watching. The you guy know who cuts cheat on me? This is my dad. Yeah. <laughs> yes, cheat on me too, yeah. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> Cheat on you too? Yeah. My mommy was. Yeah. Asian parents on TikTok are the best. Let me tell you. You my little boo thing. So I'll give a hoop what you do, say, girl. I know. You a little too tight. I'll be shooting that shot like 2K, girl. I know. Tell him I'm, tell him I'm next. Tell him you find a little something too fresh. I know. But, yeah, but you don't need it. Uh, so yeah, you don't, no, that's a negative one. You're not going to get it. Don't with the Sorry, hey, citizen. You don't have to put you in jail. Take that deal in. I will sue the shit out of you guys. Are there you is no crime committed. I don't need to give you my ID. I didn't do nothing. There's no crime committed. Yep, no problem. Yep. I need your supervisor. Don't stop recording. There's no crime. I'm trying to. No, because you guys, you guys don't need my ID. What part do I don't you need my ID? You guys are stupid as I thought. A few <laughs> moments later. I'm gonna put you in handcuffs of what you did to me. You violated my rights. You're not arguing. Shut the f up and get your car. You're dismissed. Get me out of these handcuffs. Stupid, man. Stupid, non professional people, man. Look at that. Look at that. You guys recording that? Mm -hmm. 
fing animals. Ooh, you know, you stupid ass motherfucker. Somebody doesn't give you ID doesn't mean you put them in a tank though. Well, yeah, you go fing yourself. Wait, how did he get out of it? I mean, respect, but how did he get out of it? Is he actually a cop too? Probably supervisor. There's no way they called their supervisor. There's no crime, that's how? Bro, he's Mexican. What do you mean there's no crime? What the fuck are we talking about? Bro, <laughs> you see that sick shirt? There, there was a crime. Me he's Mexican in Texas. I mean, that's the, that's the crime. <laughs> I guess the supervisor came in and was like, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> Maybe it's because he looked like a thumb. And that's why they were like, okay. <laughs> I mean, he had, he had thumb skull. Like, that's thumb for knowledge. is an exact science. It's the only real... Is the only real... What the fuck's happening with this? I can't full screen it? Like, what? No! 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 <laughs> no! <laughs> I fully believe that people have the right to bear arms. People have the right to defend themselves by any means necessary. I believe that people have the right to arm themselves. Hey, man, brother. I just don't think it should be a gun. I just don't think it should be a gun. Let's go, when baby. I say it's time to do Avion, elemental <laughs> hero, get your sh ready. I just don't think it should be a gun. Let's get back to taking it outside, getting on the dueling block. This new generation and the old one, y'all so bloodthirsty. Put it on the, put it on the heart of the cards, Ooh. Yeah, I don't play, baby. When I'm done, I'm placing you and one card face down, huh? Everybody's talking about, Respect. I got stacks, I got stacks. I got stacks, that's Woo. paper. Y'all were talking about money? Ronald Reagan is shaking in his grave right now. He's shaking his booty in his grave going, a black man exercising their right to bear arms? This is unacceptable. Shaking his booty? Yeah, that's what he's doing. Booty shaking. I was talking about wing. What the fuck is going on? Oh, oh my. Sorry. Why can't I do fucking full screen? Men are so quick to anger, and it's sad to see in this day and age in America. Am I right, chat? I don't know what the Bravo. hell is happening here. Show it's just respect. like... Everybody I'm not touching anything. It's just like sometimes they call me dark magician in the streets. Yeah. I see you like yeah. <laughs> fingering the keyboard underneath the table with your toes. How things are pronounced according to my 15 month old. Really? It's fucking. It's pronounced basketball. Grow up. It's true, dude. I'm fucking seriously like way smarter than that kid. Dumbass fucking babies, bro. Seriously, I fucking hate. I hate babies. When horses are born, they stand up minutes after birth. Yeah. Why not baby? Please exactly. Rise Thank you. You see that? See what happens again. Why is that happening? Maybe stop putting your raw dogs and playing footsie with a keyboard underneath your desk. Those are the best. Those are absolutely the best. Also, this is Kaya. It's embarrassing to look at her like this. Kaya, get over here. Okay, whoa. Get whoa. your little ass over here. <laughs> she gets and into be position. Cute and be cute right now. She gets into position. Chatters in traffic the moment a song Sir, should she be driving a car? Like, what is fucking going on? What is going on? Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I mean. As per, as that is insane. It's America, baby. He has arrived. Mike, how do I talk to this girl I see at the bus stop every day? How would you start a conversation with somebody you're not interested in, in a romantic way? Do you like Warhammer? Then that's what you should say to her. I'm not kidding. And if they look at you and, you're, and they're like, you're a fucking nerd, then f*** her. Oh, I'm like a young, sensor. attractive woman, and I was recently approached while waiting at a bus stop. This man asked me about Warhammer. How should I have responded? Uh, you should have pepper sprayed him. And stomped <laughs> repeatedly on his testicles until they were dust. Because we definitely don't want a Warhammer fan reproducing. Mike, I'm a bus driver, and at this one stop, a guy asked a woman about Warhammer, and she stomped. 
Why can't my chat be this funny? I know. I was just about to say this is real content. Why can't yeah, we like, make this? Baba daha dur birazdan. Daha sonra yiyeceğim. Şu şuraya koyarsam ben birazdan alacağım. Hi, Teşekkür I'm, ederim. I'm Peach. <laughs> He's cold. He's cold like that. Yeah, he is. You're not gonna get anything out of him. I know. He's a, his mind is a trap. Chat, is that funny? The guy reading. Chat, is that funny? Is the guy reading is that different? Okay, dude. You yell at us for talking to each other. On his nuts. What should I do? Swerve the bus into the nearest ravine to bring everyone on board and yourself. It's the only way to end this bit that you guys are doing right now. Mike, my boss is careening into a ravine. What should I do? <laughs> okay. You're gonna eat, and I gotta skedaddle. Oh, you're you're out of here. Yeah. You're Audi five thousand. Yeah, I gotta go see my girl. Everybody, Peach Shars in the building, live and in the flesh, live and alive. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having me. I gotta go take care of Real Neff's lady because uh, he can't do that. Damn. I, I treat her better. Damn. 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 Thank you for letting me pet your dog. It's all good because I treat him better. Thank you. Thank you, chat. It's always lovely seeing your beautiful, shining, bright faces. Um, but I'm booked and busy. You will also see us on Master Baker tomorrow. That's right. Where he says, Peach, you are the winner. And he looks me in the eyes, shakes my hand. Oh. Probably not. What? Can I get a picture of you sitting in the corner really quick? Actually, sure. Yeah. Just, just Do you want me to sit in this corner? This hat, it's gotta go, guys. It's gotta go. Chat, was that normal? Oh, that's cute. Cry a little bit. I'm sorry. It's like how men do everything. Okay, thank you. You did a good job today. All right, go take a shower. You did a good job today. All right. I feel like I've been abused. Bye, chat. He deserves a golden star for the acting. Thank you. I agree. Hold on. Yeah, what's up? You have to hit the button. Oh my god, you got the Doc X Rick boots, you bitch. I want those so bad. I'm so happy for you, big dog. They look so good on you. Thank you. They are sick. And also very, I mean, in comparison to like other Rick Rick Owen shit, like it's actually a very affordable. It's a nice pair of boots, 300 bucks, 250 bucks. Uh, we're not going to do Clementine yet because I have to eat. So we're going to do Clementine afterwards. Look at that. Dude, that's that's acting. That's acting. 
L overpriced designer stuff, bro, it is literally a, a, almost the same price as a fucking normal pair of Doc Martens boots. And those things are actually pretty fucking durable. So it's an L for you to constantly try and be like, oh, I'm holier than thou. You exit the full camp because two mods wrote a message and Discord is buggy as fuck until you mark them as red. Dumbass Discord. Wow, that's crazy. Doc Martin's named after a Nazi though, so he's probably better. Brittany Broski collab when? I like that idea. We should do one. Um, watch it. We don't talk about Kenny Vid from Innuendo Studios. I'm not stalling. I'm not stalling until the top of the hour ad break, which is coming right now. I'm actually uh, trying to figure out something fun to watch for now because, yes, I would love to go to the Renaissance Fair with uh, Peach and, and Seer. Um, oh, let's watch that Fallout video from yesterday that I was supposed to watch yesterday. There's one in LA right now. Wait, really? New Mr. Once Beast. again, behind me are a hundred. No, hold on. No, I'm not going to watch the DPRK song. Irwin Dale. Does anyone have the. You will never get done two episodes today. Yes, I will. Everybody shut the fuck up. Stop sending me your own uh, videos. It chatters. Oni Spamoni. Um, the kids who hacked the CIA by Fern. Okay, we can watch that. Oh, this is the, the brain much rot. anticipated Fallout TV adaptation. Yes. What is Jank doing? Thanks, Jank. You're going to Muhammad shut off for joining me on my morning hike. Great conversation. I don't know, but he texted me this and I thought it was crazy. Holy fuck of the diversity. Why did you join the Brotherhood? Oh her, my god, the diversity. People are going to come after you. Look out at this wasteland. Diversity. Bro's just seeing like Fallout is woke. A few months later, wait, guys, it's actually good. I like Fallout. Not because of what I say completely panders the majority of my audience, but because the show is everything Hollywood refused to make these days. I made this opinion all by myself. That's awesome. I wonder how that dude felt when he saw that there was a literal non-binary character in the show. Bro saw an olive color, uh, olive colored person and scream diversity. Yeah, it's fucking, it's insane. It is so funny when they chirp like that. By the way, it is really funny when they chirp that way. Uh, because it's just like such an immediate self-report. Whenever people are just like, "Oh, I saw a black person and immediately scream diversity," it's like we already know why people do that. We already know why people scream that way because they're fucking racist pieces of shit. But it's awesome. It's awesome just like they openly demonstrate it. Like, what do they want? They want only white characters, I think. Only white men. No women. But Vidim's nothing. Punk Çünkü kalorisini bilmiyorum baba. Ama ne kadar kaç pound? 
Tam bir puan tavuk kıyması. Ve bir şey chicken breast mi yoksa chicken ve thai mi? Peki teşekkür ederim. He has to he has to switch it up. He, he just can't give me exactly what I want. So he had to go and get a uh, ground chicken. And he made it with ground chicken and I was like ah, never mind. Now I have to look at the calories to see if it, if the calories are Don't say be grateful. Are you complaining to your mom? No, I'm complaining to my dad in front of a in front of 18,000. All right, let's do it. Is finally released. And who am I kidding? We all knew this would be bad. Is anyone surprised? I mean, a single person. I made a video just reacting to the first trailer and knew this would be an absolute butchering. And why is that? Not well, not just okay. because it's Amazon, yeah. and we all know from Rings of Power and various other shows they made <laughs> that they really don't care about the source material of any series, franchise, no matter how beloved. I mean, if they didn't care about Lord of the Rings, they sure as hell were not going to care about Fallout. But not just that, we know Bethesda doesn't care about Fallout, at least the lore, the canon, anything that they weren't directly involved with, and honestly, in some cases, even some of their older- Okay, this guy is so fucking stupid, because it is one, very lore accurate, and two, is, I believe, very well received from the fan base. I mean, I am a part of the fan base as well, but like, I know that because I'm a leftist, my opinions don't matter, but I'm pretty sure it was broadly celebrated by the fan base for good reason, because it's phenomenal. It actually is really fucking good. So this guy chirping is chirping about something that is not even real. Like he's just upset because I assume there are uh, too many DEI hires or something. Because the show is fucking awesome. It is pretty funny, though, to claim that you're a fan of the Fallout series and then get mad that it's, like, woke because you're just not a fan of the Fallout series if you are upset about it being woke because that's what the whole series is about. It's literally about... Nuclear apocalypse and how monstrous we are even before the nuclear apocalypse and how that monstrosity in us still carries after the nuclear apocalypse. It is anti-capitalist and anti-militarist. Uh, anti you are just missing the point and making it everybody else's problem once again games they don't care about continuity in the least bit now for the sake of maintaining relevancy i'm only going to review the first episode in this video and i'll review the whole season next week every single episode dropped at the same time so on the one hand that's totally a good thing because this will be gone and forgotten in no time flat because i don't think he's also excited about it he's already made up his mind after one episode that it sucks and he's already excited for it to be long and forgotten. Well, guess what, dumbass? Season 2 was already fucking uh, greenlit. And it's a banger. It, re it received critical acclaim. Literally, it got people invested, reinvested in the franchise. It's reaching peak viewership on Steam. Not even... But this is before we think about, like, everywhere else you can play the games. You're a fucking idiot anyone who's a real fan of fallout is going to consider this canon especially because of all of the retcons inconsistencies it's obvious the showrunners didn't give a single shit about the fallout universe yet todd howard said this is canon i fucking hate todd howard at this point i don't care if he's not directly involved with any of bethesda's projects and he's basically just a glorified salesman the face of the company doesn't matter he's still taking the fucking blame so before I start spoiling everything in the intro, we might as well just get into the breakdown. 
So episode one. Okay, I'll be honest. The the Todd Howard part is true. Todd Howard does suck. Like that's the one. That's the one broken clock moment that I will give this fucking dumbass YouTube essay is. Yes, Todd Howard does indeed suck. Not as bad as the top of the hour ad break though. Which you can very quickly delete. Todd has just been the face and not really the creative decisions for ages to be fair. Yeah, Todd Howard sucks just not because of the show. This show is good in spite of Todd Howard. <laughs> yeah, Steam sales went up like 7,500% in the last two weeks. Yeah, the only bad part about this show, unironically, is that it's like renewed interest in Fallout 76, which ultimately allows Todd to carry that on as a W, and I hate that. And I would hate for people to actually have their first experience with the Fallout genre and, and have that be Fallout 76. That actually does make me sad. Because I feel like there's way better fallouts out there. Um, I guess the other part of it is that, yeah, Michael Rappaport is in episode one, even though he's a fucking piece of shit. All right, let's continue. ...begins in 2077, right before the bombs drop. We see Walton Goggins playing one of the main characters, The Ghoul. Yes, they literally call him the ghoul when there are thousands of ghouls at minimum in the Fallout universe. He is the ghoul. But as of right now, he is Cooper Howard, a Marine veteran who is famous for- Wait, what? Bro, there are- I don't know if they know this, but- There are so many other ghouls in the universe. Like, if you had watched more than one episode, and you already readily admit that there are more episodes available, you would have noticed that there are other ghouls. He's, there's not just one ghoul, bro. Something. I don't think they explain it in this scene, but they imply he played some kind of cowboy character. I don't know if it's for commercials or military propaganda. And now he just does birthday parties for alimony payments. And I find this even more funny because his kid is mixed race. So his black wife divorced him, and now he plays fucking birthday parties. How blackpilling is that? And at the risk of getting a shit ton of dislikes from normies, just like... I'm sorry. What? What does her being black have to do with... the possible divorce? This, why, what? Like, did I misunderstand something? Did I miss something? He was just like, uh, oh, classic. Like he's, he brought it back to, he actually went back to the 1830s, bro. Unlike Taylor Swift, this dude is, is in the 1830s. He's like, oh, a black wife. What's next, dude? You're going to tell me gay people exist? more funny because his kid is mixed race so his black wife divorced him and now he plays fucking birthday parties how black pilling is that and at the risk of getting a shit ton of dislikes from normies, just like my review of the first episode of The Last of Us, I find this even more funny because if you know anything about marriage statistics, you would know that white male, black female actually has the lowest divorce rates. So, Bro, why do you have that? No, that white male, black female actually- Why do you have that statistic ready to go, bro? What is going on? Bro, 
Is this still a Fallout review? Bro, I don't know what the fuck. My man is reviewing interracial divorce rates. That's a thing? Dude, I'm brain rotted from the internet. I'm brain broken. But I genuinely don't understand like where you could even come across this information or why you would even need this information to begin with. Like what, what conversation do you have with people ever in your life where you're like, hold up. Let me pull out my interracial divorce rates spreadsheet. Now, of course, I don't know if this guy doesn't know this or not, but, and bear with me here. This is going to be really interesting. The Fallout universe is a fictional one that is tailored from our universe, but it's a totally separate universe. In our world, the Reds in America didn't fight and actually end up in nuclear holocaust, nor did we have advanced technology before then. We unfortunately don't use power armor in the battlefield. He has the lowest divorce rates. So in a way, you could almost say this is anti-propaganda, but I still think it's promoting race mixing as basically every show. Okay, come on. There's no way YouTube is like, there's no fucking way YouTube is like letting this shit slide, right? Wait, he just actually unironically said promoting race mixing. Hello? We're three minutes in, bro. Bro, we're three minutes in. This has 262,000 views, 11,000 likes. Why do people feel so comfortable saying shit like this? I genuinely don't get it show on television does you know for as woke as video games are these days tv and movies blow the gaming industry out of the water basically every streaming show i've tried to watch with my mother has had some form of propaganda in it and usually multiple types whether it's race related gender related lgbt related it's usually all of the above but anyway, getting back to Fallout, the rich guy who's hosting the birthday party calls Walton Goggins a communist because he won't stick his thumb up in reference to the supposed safe distance from a nuclear bomb, implying that Walton Goggins opposes the war with China. Nothing really comes of this. This whole scene is obviously supposed to give you an idea what the retro future culture of 2077 looks like. But if a modern Marxist rewrote history and added diversity everywhere. Now, it's not like in the original Fallout games, all the characters. Is that him? No. Characters were white. But there's something uncanny about this whole thing. We'll put it at that. I'm not going to make a huge deal over it. So anyway, shortly after the first nuke drops on LA, the rich guy punches his black friend, not letting him in their fallout shelter, and Walton Goggins rides off on a horse with his daughter on the back, as if you could fucking outrun a nuke. They literally just told us in the previous scene the safe distance is the size of a thumb. I think- The whole point is that the safe distance size of a thumb thing is also false. That's not even correct. Like this dude is narrating. That is the dude narrating the video that that's the dude. This is the master race, bro. I love when these fucking racist dumbasses openly show their faces like That's great, man. That's cool.
showing those superior genes again. Am I right? Oh, this takes place after all of the games. And more importantly, 15 years after Fallout New Vegas. You're gonna want to remember that considering this takes place on the West Coast. So now we meet our true protagonist, Lucy, a resident of Vault 33, which I guess was another control vault. Either that or it's some kind of multi-vault experiment. As they fail to adequately explain in the show, Vault 31, 32, and 33 are all directly connected to each other. What do you mean, failed to adequately explain, dumbass? You watched only one episode, dumbass. Perhaps maybe watch the whole first season where they do actually explain in detail. It's just called a slow reveal, dumbass. Bro, just watch one episode and started chirping at the first sight of a black person. How are these people real? I feel like this is... I feel like this is just like a meme personified. You know what I mean? This is the meme about like the genuine racist neck beard. You know what I mean? Yeah, show is not lore accurate. The first thing you do in the game. He he both demonstrated that he plays these fucking uh video games in his basement. is just gross overall and is genuinely hyperventilating at the prospect of black people existing in 2077 and has gotten mad, openly mad at race mixing promotion. And so Lucy is applying for an arranged marriage with one of the other vaults. They show off all of her various skills and of course, she just so happens to be good at basically everything. Definitely not a Mary Sue, guys. And of course, she gets approved. We find out her father is the overseer. Her younger brother is this tiny, huge-nosed, cowardly, incompetent baby. What is a Mary Sue? Is that like a term? Is that like a 4chan term? Am I missing something here? It's a self insert. It means she's good at everything. Like a strong woman. That's what he's mad at. So. The thing is, she's not a Mary Sue at all. Once again, if instead of like immediately having uh, a, a conniption and rushing to the nearest fucking computer in your basement and cutting out this YouTube video. If you watched the rest of the episodes, you would recognize that that's not. She's not OP. But also. Beyond that. Um, perhaps it has something to do with the lore that she is well trained. You're watching her training. This should lead you to go, hmm, why is she training so hard from such an early age? Could it be that there is a narrative reason for this? No, I'm so mad all the time. Eat a male. And also that Lucy fooled around with her cousin. Messing around with your cousin, it's all well and good for kids, but it's not a sustainable long-term sexual you know? Who, despite being a tall, kind of more Chad looking dude, is also a complete coward, worthless pussy. Get used to hearing that. And so the members of Vault 33. Wait, what? Okay, these guys like unironically fantasize about like men being beta and women being powerful, I think. Yeah, dude, some of the dudes are going to be pussies, okay? It's normal. They're in the vault. They're vault dwellers. What are you talking about? I like that he didn't even flinch at incest, by the way. He just moved past that. He's like, that's normal. Duh. That's actually the only good thing in the show.
3 meet up with the members of Vault 32, and we find out her soon-to-be husband is actually a white guy and not ugly. Shocking. But don't worry, they ruin that pretty shortly. At the wedding, Lucy asks her new husband, Monty, what his sperm count is. You know, I think I'm actually starting to like this girl. And even more based, as soon as they get back to her room, Monty strips naked and they just straight up have sex. So I guess one good thing came out of this show. But of course, everything goes to shit, as the big schnoz little brother soon discovers one of the members of Vault 32 is dead and rotting. And it turns out raiders somehow got into Vault 32, killed everyone, and Lucy gets stabbed, but she manages to save herself. So, I genuinely don't get it. Why is he like, if he's actually 28 years old, why is he behaving like a child? Like, ha, there was sex. So I guess we got to see some good stuff that my mommy won't let me watch. Is this satire? This can't be real. I unironically thought this was like perfectly satirizing a neck bearded like Redditor. But I do think he's genuinely like this stunted. It is kind of shocking. I guess that is a testament to modern medicine. Maybe, maybe eugenics would have played a role at this point. Maybe natural. Maybe there would have been a, a, a normal progress in our in our evolutionary standards. So maybe modern medicine has gone too far. It's a product of eugenics, yeah. That's why he didn't flinch at the incest. in the most cliche Hollywood way possible by smashing a glass on his head and then like slicing his face. She heals herself with a stim pack and then heads into the armory and grabs a fucking trank gun. I guess all the real guns were already gone. And she witnesses a bunch of her friends get horrifically murdered, men just getting the absolute shit beat out of them. The only competent males at all are the raiders. But her pregnant best friend, after getting stabbed, Bro, are you fucking stupid? The entire point is, yes, vault dwellers are pussies and not actually strong. Whereas the raiders who have, like, had to live out there, yeah, they're violent, they're barbarians, but they're, like, gonna be much, much more powerful than the fucking vault dwellers. Also, once again, when he's gonna talk about He's going to be talking about the pregnant woman and how powerful she is. Perhaps there is a lore reason for it and not simply because she is a woman. Dabbed in the eye with a fork, gets a hold of an SMG and starts mowing down raiders. Wow. My God, it's Wolfenstein 2 all over again. This is the cringiest shit ever, seeing pregnant women be badass. I fucking hate this propaganda. It is so transparent. Whatever, moving on. Lucy's husband turns out to still be alive and almost kills her, but her dad... This is so funny. He's just like genuinely... You know how in the 2016 Gamergate era, there were definitely liberals who would get mad that like not everything that they were watching in their cultural consumption was up to snuff and met the standards that they wanted it to meet. So sometimes like a lot of the think pieces that were written in that era, in that time frame, were just liberals basically being like, why is there a bad character doing bad things in this show? I want them to only do good things or whatever the fuck. Like the problematic nature of, of Robert Downey Jr.'s blackface. Let's talk about it. That, 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 that type of shit, right? Not understanding the fucking nuance or not understanding the point. It's very interesting that this dude is doing the reverse of that. So not only is he just as annoying, but also on top of that, he's also horrifyingly bad with his politics. So his heart is in the wrong place. His mind is in the wrong place. And this analysis is so fucking funny. 
He just literally is like, I only want white men to be powerful. I want women to be quiet. And then I want the white men to fuck the women, only white women, every now and then. And like, I just don't want anything else. It's like, bro, you just want to watch porn then. Just go watch like regular white on white porn. If that's what you want. You want no plot, no subplot, no subtext. You just want like sexy white guys beating the shit out of people. He's literally upset that there are weak characters. He's upset that there are uh, strong characters, but not in the right way. He's upset that there are weak characters. He's upset that there are non-white characters. What the fuck are you doing? There is no... Like, if I were to take this seriously and go, okay, let's make your perfect movie. That would not be a movie. It would just be porn. White on white porn. And then maybe a little bit of like white guy beating the shit out of other people. Ed manages to save her being the only competent male in the show. And Lucy gets to see how brutal he is, which I'm pretty sure is implying that he's been to the surface before. But all of the survivors manage to get captured anyway. We see that the Latina overseer is the real villain of the show. Yes, this middle-aged brown woman is supposed to be this mega badass evil raider we're supposed to be intimidated by. Modern media is such a joke. Wait, what? Wait, he's mad that the villain is also a woman and a Latina? Like, he doesn't even fucking like when they're, like, in bad roles? Like, what? Like, I guess he's saying, like, he doesn't even want... He doesn't even want fucking uh, any kind of non-white individuals, like, even in a villain uh, role. Also, uh, yeah, I think she is, she's, um, is she Indian? Yeah. I don't think he finished the show. No, I, no, he definitely didn't finish the show. We know he didn't finish the show. He watched the first episode only in this review. Anne? We're not even halfway through the episode, and I already don't want to watch anymore, but fuck it. Let's just get through this. Evil Raider Chick gives the Overseer an ultimatum. Either choose his daughter Lucy, or choose the rest of the residents of the vault. Obviously, he chooses his daughter, but instead of killing all the others, the Raiders just kidnap the dad, and then just let the others run away as a bomb timer goes off. Oh, and Raider Bitch reveals that she knows Lucy's mom. Wow, what a mystery. I'm so intrigued. What the fuck was the point of this scene? All right, now we get to meet our final main character, Maximus. And it's another pussy-ass black guy. You know, it's one thing that every single TV show, movie, and now video game has a diverse cast, but do you have to have every black man be a fucking pussy in modern media? You know, as harsh as I was on Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, at least Barrett is a cool character, okay? You can sell me on a diverse character if they're cool, if they just... Who has to sell you on anything? Like, he, he doesn't like the remaster because they didn't turn him white. He's like, why the fuck is Barrett black in this too? Like that's what he wanted in the remaster. When he heard the when he saw the word master, he thought like master race. Yeah, I love being uh I love sitting at the tippy top of the uh genetic lottery and shitting on shitting on diversity in my mommy's basement. It's like, bro, you're you you should be so mad that your parents were siblings every day of the fucking week. You wish there was at least a little bit of genetic diversity in your bloodline. So you didn't look like this. Okay. And here you are going, no, that's actually great. White is right. Ridiculous.
This is a perfect example of modern day racism. No, dog. This is a perfect example of 18th century racism. Because three minutes in, he said, they're promoting race mixing like he's literally holding up a placard at a desegregated school. Okay? My man did time traveler racism. I keep saying 1830s because of Taylor Swift. just act like a person but they happen to have a different color of skin you know i know this is very stereotypical shit that basically everyone said by now but it's true it doesn't matter how many times it's said it's accurate and yeah so he gets hazed by all the other brotherhood of steel initiates and he gets saved by a trans man i'm not joking dude there's probably gonna be some coping and see Wait, I don't get it. Shouldn't he be excited that like a bunch of white dudes are just like beating the shit out of the black guy? Isn't that what you want? Bro, he can't even stay consistent to the racism. Like, I don't get it. Yeah, there's a bunch of like, there's a bunch of white dudes just beating on him, dude. Don't you like that? Isn't that what you fantasize about? Isn't that what you want real bad? Anything, but no, that is not a tomboy. That is not a- Are they trans? I don't think anyone said that in the whole show. No, they are. Um. And I'm pretty sure, and I'm pretty sure they are like non-binary in the show too. Yeah, I think well, like the the actor is non-binary, but I also think that the uh, the the yeah the elder cleric once refers to them as they them, like with they them pronouns. What is going on, bro? Why are you calling me? Jesus Christ, I'm fucking live. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, sorry, it's my brother. Yeah, the commander guy, uh, the elder cleric, uses they, them pronouns. <laughs> cleric is woke. The masculine female. No, that is a woman who identifies as a man. You know it to be true. And she's more of a man than Maximus is. This is fucking embarrassing. Whatever. Anyway, moving on. I have to get through this, guys. I can't take it anymore. Everything I love has been destroyed. Let's just fast forward through the rest of this episode. Okay, so another Pridwin shows up. Maybe it's the same Pridwin from Fallout 4. I don't know. They don't confirm or deny in this episode. We see some Brotherhood Knights in T60 power armor show up. And I don't know. It looks okay. I know some people are like, uh, it looks like shitty cosplay. I think the costumes look okay. It's when they're CGI that it looks bad. In the next scene, Maximus and the girl boy sneak away and look at some power armor, and Maximus is a flashback to when he was saved by the Brotherhood of Steel. Then we see the initiates play some brick ball. Look, I know they're trying to be cute about like, oh, post-apocalypse, they don't understand how sports work, but really throwing bricks into a fucking square hoop? And we learn some of the initiates have been chosen to be squires. And of course, Maximus doesn't get chosen, but the girl boy does. And so the next morning, as G.I. Jane puts on her boots, a trap placed inside her... The thing I never understand is like, if everything causes you so much grief, like, why don't you just end it all? Like, if you're this guy and you live in the world and you're like, oh my God, race mixing is allowed. It makes me so sad. Like, just honestly, just fucking do the deed. You know what I mean? You can free yourself, literally. Under any other circumstance, I would never say this, but like, if you are literally this much of a Nazi, like that option is definitely available for you. Adolf Hitler knew it. He took that stage. Yeah, he did that shit. Why don't you follow him? I don't understand it. I literally do not understand it. If like, cause you have two options here. Okay. You have two options here. You have two options. Extreme example. No, I think if you're this much of a Nazi, you should video game yourself 100%. Cause like there's two things you can do. Either you can kill the reactionary inside of you. Okay. And stop being a Nazi. And then realize that like the world is actually awesome. Like you can definitely find joy in the world. Okay. But if you're going to be this much of a Nazi, that definitely is like, it's just, you want to follow Adolf Hitler's footsteps, follow his footsteps all the way through, finish the job. You know what I mean? I 
I mean, come on, bro. Her boot shreds her leg. And to no surprise, Maximus is blamed for this and taken away to be interrogated. Back at Vault 33, Lucy tries to get the council to send out a search party for her dad, but the fat black soy jack on the council is too chicken shit, as is the rest of them. And so Lucy teams up with Big Schnoz and Sweet Home Alabama to leave the vault themselves. Of course, her brother, being a massive pussy, won't go with her. Her cousin actually wants to, but she knows he's incredibly incompetent and also a coward. So she tranks him and leaves the vault by herself. Now this is where the show jumps the shark. We find out that Vault 33 is located next to Venice Beach in the heart of the Boneyard. Now, if you know anything about Fallout lore, you would know that the NCR dominated this territory, brought civilization back to it. There is no way in hell that Vault 33 was not contacted over the course of 100 years. And of course, to address the elephant in the room, LA itself is a massive wasteland, like a featureless desert. What happened to the NCR? Well, at the time of me recording this, I Yeah, I feel like if you don't watch the show, and you watch one episode of the show, then you're probably not going to understand what happened. But you know. Called it hardcore new Vegas nerd. Do you think he would do the deed if he found out that like one of the more prominent writers on the new Vegas, uh, on the new Vegas, uh, game was actually like a pretty hardcore lefty. Josh Sawyer. I was spoiled of future episodes. And apparently Shady Sands got nuked four years before the events of Fallout New Vegas. Yeah, that's how you know the showrunners didn't do the research, and yet this show's canon, it's totally canon, guys, that the capital of the NCR got nuked before New Vegas. Yet it was never mentioned, and it's more than established that the NCR dominated California and brought civilization back. Fuck this show, fuck Todd Howard, fuck Amazon, Bethesda is so beyond dead to me, it's insane. Everyone who likes Fallout 4 gets exactly what they fucking deserve with this show. What blows my mind is there's people who actually thought Starfield was going to be good. And even though the NCR capital was nuked, that doesn't explain how the Boneyard turned into a giant desert wasteland. But it's as simple as the showrunners didn't care. This is not made for the fans. This is made for normies who have heard of Fallout. It's made for women who won't even watch the show. And most importantly, it's made as a humiliation ritual. They will destroy everything you love and you will do nothing about it at best. Dude, uh, there is nothing funnier to me than like the modern Nazi movement is entirely revolved around not even consuming treats, but instead getting mad at the treats for not fitting your standards. That's the only thing that like gives me a little bit of joy and a little bit of confidence that this shit is never going to fucking launch off again. Even though the fucking neoliberals in charge are doing their very best to operate on fascist boundaries regardless. It's pretty funny. Like, it's just, dude, dude, you're talking about like race mixing and shit. Like you want to act like you're this big old Nazi. And then like your major output is, is your, your organizational capacity starts and ends at crying about a fucking video game rendition that didn't suit all of your needs perfectly. You are such a pathetic wormish loser, dude. Go fucking hit the weights, big dog. Okay, show us, show us what the Master Race really is supposed to look like. Because if this is it, like, oh my god, dude. Oh my god. These guys never bring out their best. This is what he calls his fans. Synth cells? Ugh.
Whiny Nazi dork calls fiction characters cowards. It's like, yeah. Ay, ay, ay. The classic Fallout meme. <laughs> yeah, don't mess with us Fallout fans. We blindly worship the ideologies of the games are criticizing. That, that face when the hottest new show of the year is a story about a patriotic American trad wife whose dreams of getting married and starting a family are shattered by degenerate illegal immigrants so she begins a quest of righteous revenge. This has to like loop back around. This has to be like a leftist who made this joke to make fun of like right wingers, right? Because this is something I would say sarcastically. There's no way that a conservative wrote this. No, this, this 100% is left-wing satire. There's no fucking shot a conservative wrote these words, okay? You want to know why I also think this is a leftist meme? Because look at how fucking long it is! There is no goddamn way! One, it's actually funny. And two... This level of text is almost 50-50 text over here. Of course it's a fucking leftist who wrote it. You are no different than the right-wingers pointing out untraditional, attractive uh, leftists. Yes, dude, yes. I'm body shaming the Nazi, okay? Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Suck my fucking cock, okay? Three minutes in, dude's talking about race mixing. I'm calling him an inbred fucking dumbass. Okay? Suck my fucking cock. Uh, why are you body shaming the fascists? Yo, this is my exact favorite type of fucking left wing dumbass. Okay? My favorite type of left wing dumbass. The guy who like memes about how we have to kill fascists and whatever. And then we'll be like, I can't believe you body shamed them. Which one is it? Don't try to fucking ad break me now. It's 540. Stop being such a fucking annoying liberal, please. Sorry for yelling. Tim Kaine wrote in a communist faction, followers of the apocalypse. Unsurprisingly, Bethesda removed all trace of them. Meanwhile, these mouthpieces only get mad at women and diversity. Oh. Anyway, don't yell at the other chatter. It's fine. you'll vote with your wallet and hope things get better yeah that's worked out so great for us in the that wasn't bait that motherfucker's been banned twice now for doing the same bullshit yeah still don't yell at them okay last decade but whatever i'm not gonna fed posts because i will legitimately get banned next scene we get back to maximus and he cries like a little baby bitch as the scribe interrogates him, accusing him of something he didn't do, and he makes almost no effort to defend himself. Eventually, he works up the courage to speak and just says he would gladly give his life for the Brotherhood, and the scribe rewards him by promoting. Threat posting? Bro, you think like making a joke about trans people killing themselves is fed posting? Three minutes in, you talked. You took an anti-miscegenation stance. What the fuck are you talking about? Fed posting. Like, bro, you've been fed posting the whole video. What the fuck do you mean? <laughs> what the fuck? He he literally thinks like, oh no, if I make a trans suicide joke, then it's a bridge too far. It's like, bro, you crossed that bridge, the PewDiePie bridge, literally like three minutes into the video. What the fuck is Fed posting? He's just, it's like 4chan speak for uh, saying something that will get you uh, in legal trouble, like how you want to kill someone, like a, like a 
senator or something, but he's of course using this in um he's using this in the term of like YouTube will come after me and delete my video or ban me if I say something that is like too um too aggressive. But it is pretty funny because again Hello? The whole video is you chirping about black characters and saying you hate miscegenation. You already crossed that bridge. Promoting him to Squire, taking the She-Man's place. Then we get a scene where the She-Man doesn't blame him because she knows he would never do it because, again, he's a little bitch boy who would never do anything wrong. What a great protagonist. And at his anointment ceremony, he gets a brand burned on the back of his neck by power armor, which is kind of cool, I guess. And now we get another massive retcon. Apparently, the Enclave is still around. Yup. Even though we see the last of their remnants in New Vegas, which are a bunch of fucking senile boomers. 15 years later, the Enclave is back with a vengeance. Maximus is tag. I think this dude just loves Fallout New Vegas, doesn't understand the meta, and does not understand, like, and is just, like, religiously hyper-focusing on the New Vegas lore and basing everything off of the New Vegas lore. And... No, branding is kind of cool. I totally would love it. No, I think he just said that because he's a black dude getting branded. Yeah, he doesn't understand the context of New Vegas at all. Um, check out his post in the community tab for why he banned people disagreeing with him despite, despite being a free speech Andy. If you're a fellow noticer, noticer, you may have noticed that the Fallout review is getting brigaded by shills and leftist ideologues. This is nothing new to this channel, but I've decided to do something I resisted for four years, actually banning people. This will no doubt be highly controversial, but I think it's time. I do think I owe you an explanation, though, because I know some of you are hard free speech advocates. No, no one is, dude. What the fuck are you talking about? Of course no one is a hard free speech advocate. You guys are just purely coping. You want a hug box just like everybody else does. You want an echo chamber where you can be a pussy and cry about how, like society allows race mixing so not everyone can be as ugly and freakish and ghoulish looking like you and yes i'm fucking body shaming the nazi if anybody has a fucking problem with that in this community let me tell you this is not a free speech community at all i'm motherfucker. call me joseph stalin up in this bitch i will clap you i will throw you in the motherfucking lulag so goddamn quick your head will spin okay yes i don't think that you should do centuries of inbe uh, inbreeding with uh with the slated purpose of keeping your genetic lineage pure, pure because ultimately your sons and daughters might become freakish, ghoul-like, right-wing, white supremacist, neo-Nazi YouTubers. And honestly, that's a fate worse than death, okay? Huh. Anyway. I'm sure that after uh, watching this, he will turn around and be like, look how much I made him mauled. You did not. I'm just letting you know. I can smell how fucking pathetic you are from this video. If you're watching right now, like I said, follow your favorite historical figure, Adolf Hitler. Follow in his footsteps. Okay. The world is not going to be redesigned to your goals. I don't even think you want the world to be redesigned to your to suit your needs and your demands anyway. You're literally crying about a fucking video game rendition. It is very, very sad. You are probably one of the most pathetic people I've ever seen. You will never enjoy anything. You have two options to get out of this mess, okay? One, stop being a Nazi. And uh, if you can't do that, then the other thing. Just because someone is very right-wing and has borderline racist views doesn't make them necessarily a Nazi. Nazism is a very specific ideology, and calling any alt-right person a Nazi sort of dilutes the term. Um, good bait, dude. It's not the top of the hour yet, okay? <laughs> what do you mean borderline racist views, bro? He said he hates miscegenation. He's talking about the promotion of miscegenation. What do you mean borderline? This isn't 2014 anymore, chatter. What the fuck are you talking about? Who are you... 
Who who do you think you can like uh, defend here? <laughs> Prior to becoming a YouTuber, he lived a reclusive lifestyle. I could sense that. Anyway, the thing is, um, you know, the irony is like in the perfectly designed world that he thinks he would thrive in, he would be thrown in a fucking pile for being a morally degenerate pervert who enjoys playing video games and does not represent the Ubermensch at all. So inevitably, you would be forced to uh, be melted and turned into biomatter anyway. The so-called leftists can't enjoy anything, motherfuckers, when it comes to enjoying anything. Yeah, I know. It's awesome. <clears throat> Nazi talk is snuffing out other Nazis in the chat. I know. It's always fun. This Nazi shirt is way too much for a man with a soul passion. No mustache in 2024. Yeah, I know. Tasked with finding one of their runaways who I guess is hanging with dog meat. And for the final scene of the episode, we wrap back around to Walton Goggins as we see a few mercenaries dig up his corpse. Oh God, here we go again. Pete Hines has been vindicated. For those of you who don't know, there is a unmarked quest in Fallout 4 where you find a ghoul child who's been locked in like a fridge or something. I can't even really remember. The child has been in there for 200 years with no food or water, and you reunite him with his parents who are also ghouls. It's quite possibly the dumbest quest in any RPG of all time. And rightfully, fans pointed out how stupid it was, how it's been established in the original games that ghouls... Dude, I don't under... Uh, who cares, bro? Who cares? It's like... Dude, 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 dude. You can get this autistic about things in the real world, okay? But you can't get this autistic about things that don't exist in fiction. Like, I don't know if you know this, but ghouls don't exist, big dog. The fuck do you mean? My immersion. Like, it's so weird. What are you talking about, bro? Your immersion? They're ghouls. Do eat and drink. And I believe even in Fallout 3, they have to eat and drink. But no, now ghouls are just immortal zombies and Pete Hines being- It's so funny because like, he's mad about that plot point, not realizing that there's shit keeping him alive in the grave, dumb fuck. You didn't even fucking pay attention to what the fuck was going on. He wasn't just in the grave, idiot. He had tubes connected to the grave. He was being fed. He had IV bags. Oh my god. So like technically the fucking movie uh, or, or the TV show actually takes care of that little uh, actually my immersion moment. He's just like mad about the quest and it's still chirping about the quest. But this circumstance with the with the grave doesn't even fit the bill. A massive silly Billy on Twitter pointed out how nerds are all losers for caring about continuity. You're right. Why should I care about anything that happens in the story? I should just consume your product, you piece of shit. But now, over eight years later, but okay, that- Okay, I take it back. I'm glad that this dude is, like, making YouTube videos because if he wasn't, he'd probably be shooting up a school. Unsuccessfully, but, you know, he would probably still attempt to do so. This level of fucking resentment and anger over, like, one specific shitty- uh, we're not even shitty, but like one specific cute side quest is insane. I'm sorry, big dog. I don't think this is about Fallout. I think this is about you. Okay, this anger is not directed about directed to Fallout. 
It's directed to every single glaringly obvious failure that you have brought about yourself in your entire fucking life. This is not about fallout. This is about how when you were 14, you tried to kiss a girl for the first time, and she said you had halitosis. And you were like, you're 14 years old. There's no continuity here. How the fuck would a 14-year-old know what a halitosis is? Why are you making up this story? I'm going to shoot up the school now. Okay? That's, that's what's going on here. Every fucking word that comes out of this delusional loser's mouth it's not about Fallout at all. It's not about Todd Howard. It's not about the characters. It absolutely is just so revealing how much of a fucking cretin this dude is. And it absolutely, I mean, this is something I use all the time, but it fits the bill perfectly here. This is the type of dude who at Thanksgiving dinners, the family acts like he actually died. Okay. 100% is exactly the type of dude where the family's just like, yeah, we don't really talk about him. He's, he's gone. Meanwhile, you're literally downstairs in the basement, but the rest of the family, the rest of the nuclear family does not want to even know that you are alive or, or acknowledge your existence. Crawl out through the fallout, baby. Tesla still has a chip on their shoulder about that one and has confirmed in this show that ghouls can be buried underground in a coffin for who knows how long and be perfectly fine. And for seemingly no reason at all, Walton Goggins kills the three mercenaries. They weren't even hostile. They were offering to share a bounty with him and he kills them. This show is fucking stupid. Okay, that was episode one. It sucked dick. It ruined everything. Fallout's dead again. It ruined everything. That's such a funny dude. Straight up the meme. Therapy didn't work on him. Synthetic man claimed he's a strong 5'10. Oh god. He edits his videos with a 100 percent legitimate copy of Adobe Premiere Pro. He currently lives with his family. He suffered from depression and anxiety during his childhood, requiring him to attend therapy beginning at 14 years of age and continuing up until he was 23. During this period, he saw approximately eight to nine therapists. Bro, eight to nine therapists couldn't fucking, <laughs> couldn't do the job. This dude, bro, there is no assistance. He suffered from gynecomastia as a child. Prior to becoming a YouTuber, he had a reclusive lifestyle. He keeps nagging about, nagging about who's a weak soy boy or who's the boss bitch. Like, bro, playing the game doesn't mean you're better or smarter. Like, your skills in the game won't translate to the real world. We don't even know if he's skilled in the game. Also, the funniest part about this, when we, like, remove ourselves from the absolute pathetic... Nazi screechings of a dude who is very close to removing himself from this planet and probably giving a sense of comfort to his family for the first time in his 28 years of existence on this planet um, is the fact that the show is objectively popular and also the game has become more popular as a consequence of that. So you failed on every front, dude. How can you be this big of a fucking failure? Legitimately shocking. <laughs> the therapist didn't want a death in their own hands. No, man. The therapist was like, nope, nah, can't fix them. I respect it. I respect the therapist being like, nope, nah, this is a mountain I can't climb. All right. And honestly, Fallout's been dead to me since Fallout 4 released and to even more fans after 76. So while yes, I did get kind of angry over certain things in this show, you know, sometimes I ham things up for the reviews. I honestly don't care that much. I'm just tired of propaganda being shoved in my f Yeah, no, totally, dude. It seems like you're totally fine, actually. You're just hamming it up a little bit. He's not even angry, by the way. I love that he ended this with a fucking troll face. Like, I'm not actually mad.
Haha, <laughs> I trolled you guys. Face more than anything. And yeah, dude, I love, oh God, I love edgy nihilist losers. Like, uh, I'm actually not upset at all. I just wanted to get, I just wanted to draw emotion out of you. I'm so cool in Sigma. It's like, bro, if a black woman causes you to hyperventilate in a beloved television, in a, in a television show that is like actually very successful and very popular, and it causes you to make a 20 minute video on it, where you decry race mixing and, uh, and, and are too afraid to even, uh, I mean, definitely transphobic, but not so transphobic because you're afraid of getting banned, I guess, for some reason. You think that that is going to get you banned? It's just, you're a very sad person overall. We could tell you're a very sad person. The only other people that don't think you're a fucking sad person, the crying Wojak behind the smiling mask, exactly. Are people who are just as fucking stupidly racist as you. Yeah, I mean, this show is woke as fuck. It's diverse as hell. It's an obvious female empowerment story. That's really the most annoying thing <laughs> of all. Lucy is an obvious Mary Sue. All of the men around her are incredibly pathetic She's and not. weak. The trans male They're character not. was more of a man. Bro, it's like watching a fucking fir watching the first episode of a shonen and being like, why is this fucking male character such a pathetic little loser? Okay, if you think that the male characters are all pathetic losers or whatever, which by the way, Walton Goggin is not. You can't understand anything from literally the first episode. There needs to be some room for growth, idiot. The fuck? This guy wants to watch One Punch Man, but unironically, you know what I mean? One Punch Man is great, but it's great because it's making fun of all of these fucking anime tropes. You know what I mean? This guy just wants, like, One Punch Man unironically. He wants there to be, like, a person who just happens to one tap every single person. They have to be a man. They have to be male. They have to be sexy. They have to be white. That's it. The trope in play is called the hero's journey and it exists in their stupid, stupid ass anime too. Like bro. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. There's not like a single fucking show. It would not be fun if it was a dude who was just like one tapping everybody. Then Maximus, one of our main characters. You would think black people would make more of a stir about this, but as you saw with my Spider-Man 2 review, no, they totally love Miles Morales, who's fucking Urkel incarnate. Obviously not all black people. A lot of my viewers are black. Shocking, I know. Why shocking? Yeah, this guy definitely talks to real black people all the time. It. So I guess we're going to continue to see these characters in the future until showrunners and game developers start getting... No, I'm not defending it to be contrary to the insults. Stop trying to fucking get me to run the top of the hour ad break, okay? Don't. Don't do that. I know what you're doing, dummy. No. Don't fucking do that. You're more annoying than the fucking uh, contrarian insult shit, okay? Boring, lame, played out, zero out of fucking ten... No, you didn't get me. I know exactly what you were doing. Uncreative. Anyway. Uh, but yeah, you can get immunity, not to radiation, but at least to the top of the hour ad break by subscribing for $5 or free. Here's the three minute ad break now. Getting called racist for this pathetic beta male stereotype. And yeah, I don't think I need to bring up again how heavily they've shit on the Fallout lore already in the first episode. I'm really, really not looking forward to watching the rest of this 
I just know when they show the huge crater where Shady Sands used to be, it's just going to be a giant middle finger to all the fans. And I've heard Mr. House also shows up in this show. And to spoil a plot point from later in the show, they confirm that vault Tech fired the first nuke, which completely ruins the main theme of Fallout. These fucking far leftists don't even listen to the opening monologue or the ending one. War never changes. That's what the fucking series is about, but you stupid fucks are so obsessed with capital- He's stimming? <laughs> yeah, you don't understand. Your Honor, my client is both neurodivergent and a minor, <laughs> and racism is the only way. Racism and refusing to understand plots, context, or nuance is the only way he can deal- with uh with his neurodivergence please he does not know what he says it's his tick <laughs> capitalism you think it's about uh cor dude i don't understand how you can be this much of a fallout fan and still not get it it literally is fallout is anti-capitalist war and capitalism are aligned with one another you don't have to read lenin to fucking understand this reality what the fuck Corporation bad. That's what Fallout's really about. The games literally tell you what the theme is word for word. Now that it's not America or China's fault that the world ended, the entire message of the series is ruined. I guess the silver lining of all this is there's only a- Does he think that vault Tech did not exist in the previous games or something? Like, was Vault? <laughs> it's fine. It's all right. Yeah. He's like, vault Tech were, were the good guys, actually. <laughs> I played the game. I thought that they were the good guys. A few gaming franchises I still even care about anymore. And it's only a matter of time till those are... Yeah, he definitely doesn't care about this franchise. He demonstrated how little he cares about the franchise for yelling about a minor subplot that you could have fucking missed from a video game <clears throat> that's how many years old now? That's insane. <laughs> Nine years old. <laughs> that's awesome. I totally don't care. I'm totally not mad. I am not shitting and pissing in my diapies, dude. They're destroyed too. And then I can truly be apathetic about the entire gaming industry. So yeah, as if I even had to tell you, don't watch this show. I mean, if you like this show on any level, I've lost any and all respect for you. In fact, I don't think I even view you as human anymore. That's awesome. Well, I'm glad. Wow, the Reddit bot comments are absolutely pathetic. Can you even refute a single point of the video or really continue to cry about my political beliefs? Oh wait, that would require you to watch the video. I have a quick few questions for you shills. <laughs> and then he starts talking about, like, Fallout lore from New Vegas. Yo, this guy is Reddit personified. He thinks he's above Reddit because I think he's... He thinks 4chan is above Reddit. Not realizing that Reddit is pretty 4chan. <laughs> if you think the show isn't woke, what's your definition of woke? Oh God, I love the I love the right wingers who are like, dude, you're dumb. The show's not woke, idiot. <laughs> it's like, uh, how do you think it's not woke? I saw black people. Uh, why do you care if other people make or hate uh other people like or hate the show? Millions of people buy COD each year, and we all know it sucks. Normies, you liking the show doesn't make it good. I thought left this hated corporations. Here you are licking Bethesda's boots. <laughs> Fucking got him, dude. Yes, if you enjoy a show, that means you also subscribe to everything that Bethesda has done. Also, doesn't this imply that, like, at a certain point, you were licking Bethesda's boots? I don't know. Is he a corporal cuck? Like, what the fuck is that about? If you reply to this post, doesn't answer any of these two questions, you will be blocked on this channel. <laughs> Feel free to cry about your groomer, uh, browted in your groomer discord. Does this guy not like anything? I feel like almost all his videos are shitting on everything.
This is awesome. This guy skipped all the dialogues. I uh, dude, he it's difficult to it's difficult to to comprehend dialogue when you're crying because you saw a black woman or something. It's hard, you know? Let's give it up for this guy. He's a big brave boy. He watched it all the way through the first episode. He also intermittently live streams himself gaming, varying from gathering footage for reviews, playing audience requested titles, and sometimes doing multiplayer games with his friends Thomas, Nick, and his brother Devin. Several YouTubers, notably Mahler and Zero News Coffee, who criticized Synthetic Man over his negative review of popular Sony exclusive game God of War Ragnarok, in which he exclaimed it's a boring walking simulator with too many cutscenes made for movie buffs and Marvel fans instead of gamers. You know... You hate to see an ugly bitch serve sometimes, okay? Synthetic Man has responded to a few criticisms. <laughs> I mean, that's not like as bad of a take, okay? Uh, popular culture creator Mahler is also taking a dislike for Synthetic Man over his contentious critique, not only making fun of every review with his cohorts, EFAP podcast. What the fuck is EFAP? But using 20 hours of Synthetic Man's God of War streams and editing together a four hour long video. Okay, bro, these guys are also fucking insane. Dude, what the fuck? You made a four hour long video about a. Oh my God. These guys are all, Oh God, I don't want to know anything. I'm, I'm getting out of here. I don't want to watch the rest of this. I don't want to know about this. I feel like it's the more those dudes are all alt right YouTubers. Oh God. The more I learn about these fucking losers, the more I'm like, dude, please, please get a grip, get a grip, get a life. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I have, listen, listen, there's already enough dumb shit in here. Okay. There's already enough dumb shit in here. I don't need to know about like dudes who are going to dudes who are living on borrowed time. Okay. Anyway, uh, slippery slope. You're going to ban everybody. These guys are responsible for quite possibly the funniest screenshot ever. Well, I didn't like Joker. Jenny Nicholson, 1.2 million views. EFAB, responding to Jenny Nicholson's, well, I didn't like Joker. 11 hours? I hope you're prepared after those guys are going to make an eight-hour podcast about how stupid you are and we'll send their shitty fans to your stream. I mean, okay. Oh no. Oh no. That will be that will be the first time that a bunch of shitty pedophilic neck bearded mouth breathing losers came in here to say the same exact shit over and over again. <laughs> hey, then we can make fun of them in person. Exactly. <laughs> Oh no, that will be different. That will be very different than every other day of the week. <laughs> Enclave, Brotherhood of Steel. They're known for this. They're famous for being mad about Star Wars going woke mostly. They must have 200 and 350 hours of podcasts just on that. Yeah. They look very scary from their PFPs. I can tell that they're big, scary guys. I can tell their ideas are too scary for me to grasp. Like they'll say some stuff. Ooh. And it will be, ooh, it will definitely be, ooh, edgy. Ooh. <laughs>
you don't like them they promote pausing like you do i mean dude you guys make fun of me for being stun locked and being pause and obby but that is definitely beyond the pale that is too much anyway what does it say about the first dude that even other alt-right chuds hate him yeah i know he's <laughs> that is pretty funny what do you got like other alt-right dudes being like no dog that's a bridge too far for me okay you better fucking calm down mister at least this guy caved to the woke mob and said fallout show actress destroys hollywood narrative so I, I, I love this. They do this all the time. What else did they do this with recently? This was another thing that they did it with. Um, was it the Mario movie? I don't know. It, it's just like, they love, uh, they love talking about shit. They love talking shit and claiming something sucks dick and woke. And then the thing is like well received by everyone. So they immediately are forced to just go, oh, actually it's not woke. And that's why it's good. Like things can't be popular unless they subscribe to their political ideology. Love that. Yes, folks, it's Clementine, baby. You already know. Hold on. Let me blast off. Let's freaking go, dude. Let's go. Hero Heart. Thank you for the five tier one gift to subs. It's still Clementine with Javi. Get in now for Walking Dead Season 3, Epi 3 plus 4, in parentheses, maybe. Okay, where's my blast off? Let me find it. There it is. No, maybe coward. Okay, bruh, bruh, bruh. Each episode. Oh, I should have said two and three. I've been saying three and four this whole day. Anyway, it's weed day, bro. Give me a break. Even though I'm not on high on the weed. Bro, just want to say thanks for feeding Game of Frost so much. Hell yeah, dude. Not watching this season too woke. Classic Cardi stand, bro. Classic Cardi stand. That's why. That's right. I mean white. In parentheses, racist. Start episode two, the ties that bind part two. In the wake of escalating trouble, Javier leads a group of refugees towards the safety of a nearby town. <coughs> you know Hassan will die right away and rage quit? Wait, what? Oh, you mean for Project Zomboid? Okay, I was gonna say, cuz... Alright, we're back on the real world. Wait, there's no more, like, last time Please, on the Walking Dead the shit? That's the least I can do. I'm crashing here. Crashers clean dishes. Your family. Besides, if they're not clean the right way, David becomes a big baby about it all. 
I'm a pro at this point. Well, then tell the big baby to get in here and wash them himself. Dude, I'm, I'm sowing it's the seeds of deal. discontent. Nah, I know you don't mind, but I, I won't be here for too long. Davey sounds like a fucking asshole, dude. You know, gotta get back on my Will feet Will you let me hit that You're when right. he dies in a zombie apocalypse? But David does. Is that it? Maybe a little bit. No, actually, forget I said that. Uh, that wasn't for me to... Just forget it. Sorry. He's always talking about how I'm never around. And then when I'm actually here, he acts like he doesn't know me. It's complicated. But look, he loves you. You're his brother. Does he? Because I love something else. So where do you think you'll go? Don't know. With what happened, I'd be amazed if I could get a job assistant coaching T-ball. You'll land on your feet. Well, here's hoping. I could use a fresh start. Uh, I'll, I'll probably just travel around, you know, see what's out there. Go to the Japan. Want to take me with you? What? Well? Well, what about David? <laughs> what about David? Kate. I know, I know. Oh! I'm just messing around. Ish. Yo, that's crazy. Bro, Kate was trying to throw it back for me before the Zombo Apocalypso. That's crazy. Oh my God. Don't say you fumbled it. I already kissed her in the future. Shut the fuck up, chat. I'm not trying to fuck her while my brother is still alive. Fuck you mean fumbled it. This is a flashback, dummies. Kate just wanted to suck and fuck before, and I don't think that's valid because she wants Javi as much as I want you. Chatter, this is public. God damn. Just hard to say no to a fresh start. Always wanted to go to Norway. See the northern lights. Chatter, you're you're you'll live. Be jet setting and I'm I'll live. Still just be here. Oh, Someone said God tell it, girl. It. Oh Ooh, shit. Quick, shit, run shit, underwater. Shit. Well, that was David's army glass. Oh, he's gonna be so pissy about it. I can hear him already. Oh, it's so annoying. He should be more worried about you slicing your hand open. He should be. Cucking an army guy? Classic. <sighs> I'm go. Jody, baby. See? Much you thought better. I was Javi, but I'm actually Hodi. Guys! You're... You're gonna be okay. Hello? My CEO gave me that. And unless you want to dig up his fucking corpse, he's not gonna give me another well, why one. Why don't we get an actual dishwasher? Oh, here we go again. Then you won't be on my ass anytime there's a spot on a fork. Excuse me? David, come on, take it easy. It was an accident. Stay out of this hobby. Not until you step away and cool off. We don't see your ass for a year. A year. Then when your life goes to shit, we're expected to drop everything and roll out the red carpet. All for Prince Javi. And now you're gonna start telling me how to talk to my wife? This isn't about him. Really? He's the one standing right there judging me for something he doesn't understand. You don't know him like I do. You know what, David? Time for you to open your eyes. Kate's gonna leave your ass. What? She told Honey. me so. No! You said that? Jesus fucking Christ, no! We were Yo. talking about traveling and I... Okay, how could I have thought he was gonna say that in the worst way possible, chat? Javi, what the fuck are you doing, bro? I thought I was gonna bravely stand between this woman that I will inevitably have sex with after he dies and my brother is being a piece of shit. Turns out, Javi had some different plans, you know what I mean? That choice is notorious for being crazy. Did I fuck this up? I feel like she's not going to throw it back now in the future, even though I kissed her. That's crazy. I just... No, I definitely didn't I say that it. at all. Three days, then I, I want still you fix off my it. couch and out the door. We clear? Fine. Javi, that is my husband. We are married, in case you forgot. 
That's for life. That's insane. Tell him off implies being it, throwing Kate under the bus for no fucking reason whatsoever. That's nutty. Oh shit. I just remembered what we did. I tossed him with the fucking Shohei Otani. I'm a pitcher and a batter. You know what I mean? Hey, hey, take it easy. What happened? They got away. Oh, God. Mariana. Clem, such a badass. Restart? Shut the fuck up, chat. I already dug Christ. a grave for her. Is she okay? Yeah, she'll Thank be you. fine. She just has a bullet hole in, in directly in the middle of her head. But people come back from that. They Mariana trenched her head. They marinared her. Dude, that's a lot of digging for a little girl. Yeah, you think she'll be fine? This was my fault, Mariana. <laughs> Not really. I'm so sorry, honey. Her head just kind of got in the way of the bullet, you know? Javi, thank you for staying. I think you probably saved my life. That Nazi dude would be so mad at this game. It's like black woman main character black girl main character too many too many diverse uh characters in general very rarely are there any white people and some of the white people have flaws which is really fucked up typical mary sue saving the loser javier white man but not really i should have gone with them no we fought we slowed them down. And now they'll come back for us, right? I... I don't know. Maybe. Oh, come on, bro. You're gonna fucking... Should I leave the cassette player? No, I'm gonna keep it. It might be useful down the line. It's not like she's using it where she goes. How many times do I got to do this? Because it's going to take a long ass time to fill this up. I'm sorry I never found you those candy bars. You misclick? No. Wait. Did I give her the cassette tear on accident? You deserved just so much more life. You should have been the one burying me. Except someday. Someday far away. You did everything you possibly- I'm not gonna lie. Like, her doming was actually shocking with how quickly it happened. So it was definitely like a powerful moment, but I'm not invested enough in her as a- as a character to be all that sad you know what i mean because it happened like too early wait why wouldn't i kill him they got branded the other guys had this too. Oh, shit. What? Well, what's wrong? Clem? I've run into these guys before. Who are they? 
please. They call themselves the New Frontier. They used to be decent people. Now they're something else. This brand they have, it's like an initiation thing. I was kind of stuck in their camp for a while, not by choice. It was bad. I'm lucky to be alive. Bad how? I got out. That's all that matters. They left one of their cars behind. That's something I guess at I least. Shouldn't have, I guess I shouldn't have uh, um, left the other dude standing. I should have murked him too. Good. Just like you always wanted. We don't know where Alvy is. We don't know where Alvin Bragg Jr. is. I can take you back to Prescott. Make sure your family's okay. But then I'm hitting the road. You should stay with us. Let's just get back to Prescott. Everyone I know goes away in the end is like Clem's attitude, I think. So He's 14, chat. Clem is 14. If you want to... I think you can say I'm 14 and not get banned, so... The wiki says she's 14 in this game. But also, I'm Javi. You're back. How's Kate? Uh, is she... Just came out of surgery. Eleanor's still with her. You'd best get over to the infirmary. I want to Javi your child. You made it back. Damn, you hate to see two of your babes at the same time, you know she what I mean? She asked for you. You know. It's kind of awkward. Please, please just tell me how she's doing. Well, she came through the surgery as well as could be expected. Those bastards did her one favor at least. Any lower, and that bullet would have torn her stomach lining as well. Your boy Gabe. He seems really fierce. He wanted to help so badly. He practically forced me to let him stay. That's Gabe. But she was bleeding so much he... got overwhelmed. Two of my bitches in the club so and they know about each other? Again? True. She's stable. For now. But she's still bleeding inside. I don't want to lie to you. It's probably just a matter of time. I... I wish I could do more. Thanks for trying. And for Notice how I didn't say I can't lose her? You know why I didn't say I can't lose her. Because I can't, but also, she don't need to know that. Because I'm a bad man. Oh, yeah. No, double sexo run is gonna happen, bro. Not sugarcoating it. Wish I had something better to tell you. But I'm sorry, Javi. I'm going to get cleaned up. Well, it's just a farmer always rotates his crops. He looked pretty upset when he left. This isn't going to make him feel any better. Still. I'll track him down. Dude, my goat. What's up, my king? How's she doing? Not great. As well as can be expected. Yeah, considering. You should have come back with us. Your family, they needed you. What you did? I'm grateful. I still think they would have preferred to have you there instead of me. It's a hell of a situation. Just know I'm praying for you. All of you. And whatever happens, you all are welcome to stick around in Prescott. If that's what you want. Nobody's gonna force you, but... Not gonna make a decision like that without talking to Kate, so... I'd rather check in with her when she's feeling better, you know? 
Sure thing. Let the lady weigh in first. You can't nail his vibe down. His vibe is awesome. That's it. I know Chip drove like hell to get Kate back here. Murder one of their guys, but he's still welcome. Dude, I'm gonna Flew do a, a triple plane just like this trip. to a baseball game in Arkansas once, lifetime ago. I'd fuck that guy. Legends will be written about the triple sexo run. Am I stealing or is that, I mean, it's just kind of out there, right? Oh, it says take free samples. No, it said take free samples. Doesn't look super sturdy. Bitch, what do you know about sturdy? Fuck you mean it doesn't look super sturdy. Hey, have you seen a kid come through here? Blood all over his hands. Dark look on his face. Headed off that way without saying a word. If I were you, I'd give him some space. Just my advice. One parent to another. Wish I could, but uh, I don't think I can. Okay. But he sure didn't seem like he was in the mood to talk. That blood, I take it that wasn't his. Is that a horse his just walking moms. around on its own? You gotta stay strong for her. Do whatever it takes. No, if my friends seen we in the same situation, I'd fight like hell. Anything we can do to help you out, just let me know. I uh, appreciate that. Your boy stomped off towards the front gate. Towards the front gate or out of the front gate? Dude, why does everybody have the like hipster ass fucking hair? Too many nice people here. Video game logic means something big is about to happen. Dude, I know. I've been thinking that too, but I haven't been saying it. Because I don't want to like wish it into the world. Wait, wasn't there another side? What the Gabe? fuck is he doing? Gabe, come, come on. Look at me. Taking it out on them. I... I don't deserve to have this. I want to go back and bury Mariana. We buried her. It was peaceful. How could it have been peaceful? I know how much you miss her, Gabe. I miss her too. And Kate, she needed me during her surgery. She needed my help. Hassan, I need help. Off topic, my partner is mad at me for charging six months sub to you and I'm trying to argue back that I want to support because I appreciate the commentary, knowledge, and entertainment. What else can I say to justify? The fuck? Tell her that you get to avoid seeing the fucking ads. It's an ad-free experience at the top of the hour, which it isn't currently. But if it was, you could tell your partner that, you know, you watch hours and hours of this commentary. Or just swap out your partner. Honestly, just swap the whole partner. Fuck it. YOLO. I've decided. Swap your partner. With someone who understands and appreciates good commentary with a Hasanabi head. I just ran away like a stupid little kid. 
You stayed long enough to do some good. And because of that, I'm proud of you. You were there for her, as much as you could be. That doesn't count. I'm done feeling this way. Feeling powerless. I can't be some helpless little boy anymore. I need to be a man, just like my dad was. He knew how men were supposed to act. You're already a man, Gabe. I'm not. Toxic masculinity from the but pop But at least up. I know it now. Next time, I'm not gonna sit back and watch. I'm gonna do something. I have to. Listen, Gabe. Shit. Get inside, now! But they're gonna bust through those doors so quick. It's a siege, it's happening. We might have to leave. Make sure Kate's ready. You can count on me. Gabe's gonna die, I can feel it. Not yet. Characters like that don't just die quickly. They die after they've gotten like a I bunch of people. Kick their ass out. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Wait, they got zombos knock, knock. in it? That's kinda sick. Anyone home? That's kinda sick. Shit. He was one of the men at the junkyard. These are those freaks that brand themselves. I wish we hadn't had to come all the way out here, but unfortunately, Badger here says you attacked his man. He says you fired on him. Bullshit. If anything, they attacked us. Oh, please. We were just defending ourselves. You know what you did. How many of my friends died because of you, huh? Sounds like a bunch of he said, she said shit to me. Well, what the fuck do you want? An apology? What I really want is for my dead buddies to be alive again. But I don't think that's too likely, is it? He needs to come with us. Answer to justice. Accept his punishment. This guy's voice is so funny. Men have got He sounds like, he sounds like fucking uh master shake which also ironically is voiced by uh what's his face levin mark levin of fox news close your eyes and think about it it's literally voiced by mark levin donald trump can't go to jail <laughs> gotta have laws otherwise we're no better than the animals Let's just talk this through. It ain't so simple. Fact of the matter is, you stole from us. You killed some of us. Give it up now and get down here. All right, start blasting. I think they need a little incentive. Damn, that guy said free Palestine, though. <sighs> Who the fuck is that? Pressy! Wait, what the fuck? You heard her? I'll kill you. Whoa. You didn't tell me you had a hostage. It's gonna be okay, baby. I love you, I'm baby. All right, baby. Just, just give them what they want. There's no reason this has to get ugly. But we ain't leaving without what we came for. You hurt her, and I'll hurt you back worse than you could ever imagine. Big words. The words are just that. Oh, oh my god! Now get your ass down oh here, or please. I cut off the rest of them. What the hell are you doing? Javi, please, man. Just just go with him. You got to. He'll kill Francine. Nobody's That's giving insane. in to them. That's insane, bro. What do you mean? Just go with them? Bro, they're gonna kill Francine anyway, dumb fuck. It's time to start blasting. Should I go with them? I don't know. I don't even know if it'll be an option, but maybe, maybe I should. I don't fucking know. You have 10 fingers, she's got nine. We should start shooting. No fucking way. He'll kill Francine. Look, I'm sure we can work this out without anyone else getting hurt. Not interested in you trying to fucking stall. I'm gonna count from five. You know what happens at zero. Five, 
four, three. I think I shoot. I wanted to exploit the weakness in the group, but I think we should shoot. I'm shooting. Two. Hold up, they got a lot more people than I thought they did. What's happening here? You're reloading, time to shoot. Damn, I'm a dead shot. Wait, he's opening the door? Why don't they just bust through? Oh, fuck, it is blow up. Oh, and the zombos are going to show up. Oh, what the fuck? We don't have the go-ahead. No, fuck you. Fuck the go-ahead. Ram the fucking gate. Jesus Christ. Oh, buddy. I mean, that's not that many zombies. That you can deal with that shit easy. Wait, what the fuck? They got what is that sleeping gas or something? Wait, what is happening right now? These guys are out of control. How did I find myself on the ground? <laughs> I have to find Kate Gabe. Can you help us? <laughs> Go, man. I'll hold these assholes off. <laughs> that was quick. No, pick it back up, pick it back up, pick it back. Oh, Jesus, I thought he was gonna leave the fucking dumbass Bobby! knife. Gabe! Come with us, come with us, come with us, come with us. Sexo run, sexo run, Bobby! double sexo. Double sexo, double sexo, double sexo, double sexo. Head east. We'll catch up. Where's Clem? Did we just leave Clem behind? That's crazy. Oh my god, this is the opening sequence of this season's second episode. That's insane. That's insane that that's the opening sequence. God, this season is insane. I don't know how the fuck they leveled up. No, not the horse! Dude, I, I don't know. It just hits different when it's a horsey or a dog. That's how you know I'm... That's how you know I should be able to legally say the word cracker. You know what I mean? Like, the, the, the way I get in my feelings when I see, like, an animal being harmed... Are they I can't believe this us? website banned me. Not just the other car. It looks like we're okay. Eleanor, thank God. Dogs are cool. I don't know about horses, though. Dude, friends, horses are literally large dogs. 
Oh, Conrad. Conrad, don't hold it against me. She deserved better. They all deserve better. You barely knew her. What the hell do you care? You're the one who opened fire. She's dead because of you. Yeah, bro. Those guys that brought an entire fucking truck full of zombies and a siege truck definitely were going to stop after I came downstairs. It seems like their appetite for violence would have been satiated the moment that they got me. Are you fucking stupid, bro? Maybe. Maybe. You should have made sure Francine didn't fucking run outside with the horsey. Conrad? Easy, buddy. This wasn't his fault. Bullshit. Francine? Prescott? All because this washed-up cheat walked through our gates. I should have known it the second I looked at you. We... We just lost someone, too. So... Say what you have to say. What? That's supposed to make me feel better? Calm down, Conrad. Please. All I know is, if it wasn't for him... Back the fuck off, now! Just back away! Take it easy, son. Gabriel, put it away! Now! He's gonna hurt you! No way! Just do it already. I don't even care anymore. Just put it down, Gabe. You kill an unarmed man, you'll regret it for the rest of your life. You hear me? Don't touch my uncle again. Put that fucking James Bond pea Fuck shooter me. away, hey. dumbass. Let him go. He just needs to cool off. Let him go? Kate, your parenting skills are completely <laughs> fucked, Kate. There's zombos out there. My man is... Oh, my God. That was Clem? Oh. Okay, well, Clem is wrong, we too. To we have to bury her. I wish we could, but Prescott's overrun. We can't go back. Well, we're not safe here, either. What about Richmond? I've heard there's a community there. If it's true, they'll have food, walls, and maybe even a hospital. Yeah, we can fuck that place up, too. Oh, Let's go. It's to find the motherfuckers who did this. They took my home. They took my... God damn it! You want revenge? You're gonna need help. Maybe going to Richmond is the way to get it. Richmond? Huh. It's something, at least. <sighs> yeah. Fuck it. Let's go. Yeah, why are That's people trying to do burials man. and shit? Like, when did that become a thing? When did that become the meta? Oh. Hey, you okay? Huh. Maybe they'll hit it off. Huh. <laughs> Doubt it. You know, that was... I don't know if it's healthy for Gabe. I remember being that age. You need someone else to talk to that understands what you're going through. <laughs> Come on, guys. Bro, when you were that age, your biggest problem was cooties and shit. Not fucking a zombie killing all of your loved ones in front of you in the most graphic ways possible. We got a long drive ahead of us. Yeah, also Gabe and Clem are mentally 20 years apart. That is true chatter. More like... I mean, Clem is like an adult, and not even like... What can I do for you here? Not even like a normal I adult, just, but an adult that is seen shit. I feel like I'm burning up. <laughs> Mentally. And I'm dying of thirst. <laughs> she got trauma dumped so fucking much. <laughs> here you go. Wait, she's bit? What do you mean she's bit? No, she's shot, chat. She's not bit. Thirsty isn't good. How's her forehead feel? Uh, hot. Hot. Fuck. It's probably sepsis. Sooner we get to Richmond, the better. Oh, oh god damn it. Well, oh, it really hurts. I can't lose you. Not now. Oh my god, and, is she gonna hear me? I don't want to leave you, but... Javi... We both know what's coming. Kate. We do. And this is gonna sound fucked up, but maybe this is 
my chance for Christ. I don't know. A graceful exit. Dude, stop, stop, Not Kate, many stop. Get us. You can't talk that way. Hey, it's my deathbed. Just think about all that's happened. Mariana died, and I couldn't stop it. And Gabe, I heard what happened when we stopped. Guys, Isn't I can't do obvious? a sex so when she. I can't try to flirt with her while she's Look, dying. She okay, I feel bad. David. But more importantly, because like the other girl, Eleanor, is in the in the car too, and she can hear me. If I try to flirt with a dying woman, she's gonna be like, "Well, I don't want to fuck you no more." You know what I mean? He might be turning into you. He's not that sweet little boy I first met. He needs to be tough. Tougher than David ever was. That's how he'll survive. It's what this world demands. Sometimes when one sexo, when, when you're going for the two sexo run and it feels like one sexo can't happen, you know, you just have to. That's not grug, dude. What do you mean? It's correct. It's a zombie apocalypse. He needs to be tough. Maybe I just don't understand this world anymore. All I care about is him becoming who he needs to be. And it's going to be on you to make sure that happens. You know I'll be there for him. Oh, fuck. I should have said you were going to be there, too. I do know. But it's still nice to hear. Oh! Hey, careful. Sorry. You should get some rest, Kate. We all should. Really? With pleasure. Ugh, parents just love pretending the rest of us can't hear. I wouldn't know. Oh, damn. She said, at least you had parents that you can hear talking. Those cars are so sick. I love those old station wagons, dude. You don't see those anymore. Like with the wooden panels. Can you fit in one? Yes. Great. What now? I've got some bad news. So what's going on? Well, we got a bunch of cars clogging the underpass. Too many to drive through. We're gonna need to move some of them out of the way. <sighs> hey, I'm coming too. I'll stay with Kate and keep a lookout. Yell at us if anything happens. Awfully convenient the pass is blocked like this. Not convenient at all if you ask me. We move that car right there. We should be good. Come on. Let's get to work and clear it out. Get fucking clemmed on, dude. How we doing? Eh, Conrad doesn't look too good over there. Tell me about it. He's a good man, Javi. Known him a long time. This is... Just a dark day for him. Yeah. Keep an eye on him for me, all right? It is pretty crazy to think that, like, the the woman that she learned those moves from, she Jesus. also ended up killing. How the hell are we going to get that out of the way? I don't see any tow trucks. <laughs> a tow truck? Just try and push it, bro. What do you mean? Not much we can do about it other than that. Nope. Oh, yeah, you're right. Kenny killed her. I just let her die. How's Kate doing? She's holding on. We're almost there. Let me know if anything changes. I will. No, she's not going to let you know. I'll give a, I'll get a little peek in there, too. Fuck it. I shouldn't disturb her. She's resting. 
She like Kenny kill her, which is functioning morally the same as killing her. You good? Nah, man. I'm not good. I know. Let's just get this shit over with and get to Richmond. Once I'm through like a save part, I'll look at what would have happened if I went with her and, and saved her instead of Kenny. Instead oh, of Kenny. Might come in handy. Kennel Dino. Shit, jumper cables is fire. Saw you and Clementine talking back there. So? We were just talking. She seems pretty cool. Uh-huh. What's up? It's complicated. I had a... a friend. He had a wife, a son. He was really protective. And after that, there were others. The thing about people is, they always change. Most people only <sighs> care about themselves. Never Not Kenny. think otherwise. Not Kenny. Not Kenny. Don't say that, Clem. Not Canaldo. Come on now. Not Canaldo. He's stuck with you through and through. Through the whole way. He sacrificed his life twice. Not fucking Canaldino. You ride Kenny like LeBron? Dude, he deserves to be rode, okay? I ride him because he's too tired of carrying everybody back. Every carrying Might everybody else. Checking. He carries the team on his fucking back, so his shoulders probably hurt. Oh my god, how convenient. A fully functioning. He's probably still alive. Oh, never mind, he's not. That's good. We need to power it somehow. I got the jumper cables, big dog. Don't worry about it. Pop the hood. You'd better not mess up my baby here. Every fucking season, there's gotta be a I'll do. plus minus. Now I can pull out the cable. Positive, Hopefully negative, baby. Every goddamn season. Just like every season of this nothing. show, you see a three-minute ad break at the top of the fucking hour. You know what I mean? Aimbot hipster, who are you? I'm your dada. I'm your dad. I'm the guy who serves you the top of the hour ad breaks for three minutes. And then tells you if you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe for five dollars or for free with Twitch Prime, baby. Here's the three minute ad break now. Oh uh, yes, the top of the hour ad break technique. Hey, there we go. That's making a lot of noise, dude. I think we're set. We good? Be ready to move once the wreck is clear. We should be right behind you. Will do. Get the walkers! Why are the windows open, bro? Eat, eat, eat. Eleanor, now! Go, go, go! Just drive! Get her to Richmond! We're right behind you! Damn, that's not good. They're through! Let's go! Bro, you can't be leaving your... F oh, no. You can't be leaving the ladies you want to do Sekisu with. <sighs> Thank you. 
Thanks. Shit! The van! We got bigger problems here! Oh my god, that's massive. The roof! Go! I wonder if they like ever get through if you don't get up there, queue enough, like queue Go. fast enough. You know what I mean? I guess they would. What the fuck? Oh! He's on the. The fuck is you doing? There's other Zombonis! Come on! Zombrianis! Oh my god. Oh my god. Conrad saved my life, dude. Conrad, you are the goat. You are the legend. God damn it! I knew this place didn't feel right. What the hell are we gonna do now? We have to come up with some kind of plan. Oh, what a great idea. A plan. Who would have thought of that? We need a plan. That's a great idea. We wait it out. Wait till these things move on. That could take days. We'll be dead by then. Great. This is just fucking great. What the hell are we gonna do? Calm down. Calm down? I'm not gonna fucking calm down. Eleanor's out there alone right now. Oh, shit. We wouldn't shit. even be in this mess if it wasn't for you. Oh, shit. Seems to me like Trip also has a fucking little crush. This is the first time I've seen Trip behave this way. Bro, Trip, you are so fucking close to me just dropping you into that Zombo pile without even thinking about it. Unless you want to fuck as well, which is... The legendary, and a lot of people say that it's impossible, but I still think there's, you know, there is a possibility. The quadruple sexo run. Triple sexo. Yeah. A love triangle plus. Yeah, I said quadruple because, I mean, technically I'm in it. Like a threesome, foursome situation, but... Maybe even motherfucking Conrad, dude. Everybody gets a little bit. Everybody gets a little bit. You know what I mean? I got enough peace. I got enough to break off a piece. Hold on. You know what? I'm going to wait till I pee. I'm holding it's it in. True. I was going to go pee, but. Fuck you, Conrad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop. There's somebody over there. What? Where? Shit. I see Everybody get down. Wait. Was this all a trap? Keep your heads down. Guy could have a rifle. Whoever you are out there, we don't want any trouble, okay? What the hell? He's gone. Everyone stay here and keep behind cover. I'm gonna see what I can find out. Be careful. <sighs> Dude, this show is honestly sick. Okay, bro, come on, make a decision. Hop it, hop at it. Oh, what the fuck? This dude sucks. How can he not hear us? I'm gonna need you to turn around for me. Slowly. Did you hear me? Oh, he's, a, he's not as a scarecrow. The hell? You got God, son. That thing's not a toy. 
Drop it, or you might hurt yourself. Whoa. Now Why then, does... I'm not gonna shoot. Not unless you make me. I just want to talk. Whoa, this guy's sick, bro. You got me? Just want to have a word. Look, I don't want any trouble here, okay? Just answer my questions, and you have my word, you'll be fine. You, the two guys there, the kids, the women in the car, I saw you split up. I overheard that little argument just now. Your friends over there aren't gonna shoot me, right? You folks have your shit together? They're good people. They've lost a lot. Sure. We all have. Recently. Ah, fresh wounds. That makes sense. You're going to Richmond. That tells me you got something to do with what's going on down there. Question is, whose side are you on? Look, man, I don't know what you're... Oh, shit. Don't... Oh, God. Don't move. Well, is he one of them? Hey, man, what do you mean by them? Who's them? You know what I'm talking about. The New Frontier. What? Dun, dun, no, dun. I'm not with those guys. You got this backwards. Avi, this guy's full of donkey shit. I'm gonna find a brand I don't think that he's I think. with those guys. Look, you don't I'm know, he might you. have it on his arm. I'm on my way to Richmond, just like you. I lost touch with some good people there when the New Frontier took over. What I think he's say? one of the good guys, but he's being very the weird. They took over Richmond? Don't tell me you didn't know that. Fuck. Oh, God. Eleanor and Kate. They're headed right to the middle of those assholes. At least now we got an excuse to go after those motherfuckers. What are we gonna do? Everyone, just calm down. Calm down? Calm down, how the hell do you want us to be calm about this? They're gonna fucking kill us! Not em. if we get to them first. There's an old train tunnel that runs under the James River. From what I hear, it should be a straight shot into Richmond. I've been on that river chat. I've canoed and kayaked all up and down that goddamn river. And the new river as well. Train tunnel. I could lead you guys there. James River mentioned. But since, uh... A hobby here said you're good people and all. Maybe you could lower those guns first. Lower than my ass. We're gonna tie you up and make sure your story checks out. That's really not necessary. Lower your guns. Javi, man, don't. Do you trust me or not? Thank you. Ready? This way. Hey, what do we call you? Sorry, forgot to introduce myself. It's Paul, but my friends call me Jesus. Come on, bro. How are you going to fucking tie up Jesus? Y'all are sacrilegious as hell, bro. That's Paul Atreides. Put some respect on his name. That's Esau, bro. If you're gonna, if you're gonna tie him down, you better nail his ass to a cross. He'll come back three days later. I can hide in here. Don't worry, it's gonna be okay. My goat AJ is back. What are you thinking? They're gonna fucking cook us in here. Shh, AJ, it's all right. Alvin Bragg Jr., baby. I know, you're hungry. Bro, that baby's got a big old head, dude.
Is she humming the theme song of the first game? No. We're gonna wait for them to go, and then we're gonna find you some dinner. Hopefully find us some dinner. I can tell, judging by the looks of her, that she literally was just living there already before the zombie apocalypse. We we did it. We found it. We found the one motherfucking person who voluntarily it has a trust fund and wants to fucking LARP outdoors. That's it. That's that is yo, I can smell the crust from over here. That is an anarchist. That's the anarchist right there. Pretty big group of them out there. But it'll pass. Eventually. Are you hurt? Any bites? No. No bites. <laughs> Shit! Push the fucking door. What are you doing? Push the door. Why, uh, wait, wait, what are we doing? Oh, that's God it? God damn it! I'd say we make a pretty good team. I meant push the us. fucking. Well, the three of us, I mean. Thanks, I guess. No problem, kiddo. Anytime you need an oversized doorstop, you know who to call. He's a cute kid. You guys living here? You seem kind of young to be a mom. What are you? 13? <laughs> I'm I knew his old parents, enough. But they're gone now. I'm all he has. Then he's cute and lucky. He has someone looking after him. Not much of that anymore. We were out there scouting. Nothing out of the ordinary. And then... Chaos and... Shit, less than a minute. Those bastards are slow, but God damn it when there's enough of them. I got separated from the others. God. I hope they all <laughs> made it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what happened to AJ? Nonverbal bitch. <laughs> Damn, bro, chill. That's a baby dog, calm down. Even I don't have that level of smoke for Alvin Bragg Jr. <laughs> Thought we were ready for anything. What were you scouting for? Gas? Water? Any supplies we could find, really. Sure as hell was worth it. My people are probably at the rendezvous by now. What's left of them, at least. By the way, I'm Ava. And my group? We call ourselves the New Frontier. No! <laughs> He's hungry. Hey, why don't you come with me? Meet my people. I my think food. they were good. Chat. I think like, judging by what they were talking about before, I think New Frontier originally was good and then it got real fashy. No spoilers, please. Blankets, bottled water. Come on, dinner's on me. Groups aren't really my thing. No woman is an island. Have it your way. But you did me a solid here. I won't forget it next time we cross paths. There is no next time. We'll see. The world does work in mysterious ways. Branding on the arm doesn't seem like a good thing. Fair. This is why reading theory is important. Nah, These tunnels were it's just for nerds. Ago. But I've heard you can get through. Here's hoping. 
Bro, she looked at that big old Harvey, head on Alvin and was like, that's a you. great spot to brand. About? She Look, was like, you should bring this baby so we can brand it. I appreciate you keeping quiet about me and the new frontier. But what I told you earlier, it's not the whole truth. I wasn't their prisoner. I was... I was one of them. Yo! I should have told you sooner. I... I really should have. I can't believe you lied to me. Oh my after god, they're chasing her. Through, it's I her that they're after. Tell you, after what they did to your family, I'm not asking you to forgive me. But you have to understand, I had nobody. I was all alone, and... I thought I didn't need them, but they were very persuasive. It was a mistake. Tell me you're not still one of them. No way. Believe me. I just had to explain, because if they're really in control in Richmond, I can't let them see me. I just can't. So when we reach the other side of this tunnel, I'm leaving. Y'all planning on joining us? Shh. Yeah, bro, chill. The zombies. You all hear that? Man. Coming from over there. Can you see anything? Oh. <laughs> They're everywhere. Fuck. They are. Keep sharp. Watch out! <laughs> I like that he just... He, he, he just touched me. He didn't do anything else. Javi, Damn, help. baseball bat. Oh! Jesus! Hey, Hey, Take him out. Thanks. I. Muertas has nothing for you. Oh, no. Oh, my God. The amount. Fuck is everywhere. Trust almighty Conrad. Now every walker in the fucking county is going to be heading this way. Come on. Follow me. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Oh, my God. I almost missed it. What the fuck? No one ever mentioned a train in the way. Better find a way around it, or we're fucking dinner. Maybe we can just go through. Well, does it open? Oh, I love trains. Oh my god, snow piercer. Let's on. go. Daylight's ahead. Thank fucking god. Let's go. Oh my god, let's just stay in the train. Us. Javi and I will block the door. You guys go ahead and make sure it's clear. Make it fast. We'll be right ahead of you. I'm staying here. Hold the door shut until I can find something to barricade it with. Hurry! <laughs> Shit! I'm gonna have to break this thing off. Hurry, they're almost here. Come on, Javi. Come on, Javi. Come on, I say. Javi! I can't. There's too many. Help! Watch that through. Now! Okay, let's go. God. We gotta. I wouldn't touch that gun, girl. You either, cowboy. What the hell are you doing? I heard you too. You think I'm stupid? Damn, bro. Conrad has fucking insane hearing, dude. This game, either this game just like is all about just talking within uh, within direct earshot of the person that you don't want to hear you, or Conrad's got that the best ears of all time. Also. I like that we've completely dropped that Clem is literally 14. Like we have dropped that. Like we are making her own up to decisions that she made when she was like 12 and 13. Okay. It's kind of crazy that we're just like, yeah, you fucking bitch. <laughs> and it's like, who's the bitch that we're talking of? Oh, this bitch is 14 actually. Finish your little story. Now. We we need to keep moving. No, 
You need to talk. Put the gun down, Conrad. Not until she rolls up her sleeve. <laughs> what? Why? I fucking knew it. You're one of them? You're goddamn right she is. What other bullshit did you shove down our throats, huh? She has a right to her secrets, like you have a right to yours. Secrets isn't the point. You're missing the bigger picture, son. Don't you see? We bring her to Richmond, they'll give us whatever we want. Medical help for Kate. She's our bargaining chip. They won't bargain with you. You don't know them. Won't know until we try. She's not a bargaining chip. She's a friend. Oh, I'm sure after less than a day, you two are just soulmates. Not a chance in hell. Seriously? It's our best option, and you know it. Hell, it's our only option. Go to hell, Conrad. I'm not doing this. If you want to shoot me, shoot me. How about I shoot your little boyfriend here instead? What, what the fuck, Conrad? Okay, you he's just hungry for blood. Nobody shoot has to shoot anybody. Just tell Clem this is how it's got to be. And then we all step into the sunshine. Come on, man. Be reasonable. What this the fuck? Bro, even if I... Can I just, like, accept the plan and then debate it? Because, I mean, no spoilers. I do have to pee. I'm going to pee. Let's poll it. Poll it, chat. Poll it. Poll it in the chat. Uh. What should he do? What did Chas say? Shoot 82% on a shoot. Damn. That's crazy. I thought I could just lie, bro. What do you mean? That kind of races, huh? He threatened two kids, bro. Both of us. I'm just gonna go. Don't take another step. Javi, please. You know this will work. Holy shit. Popped oh my, him. Oh my god. Oh my. You two should go. What about you? I'll find my own way. Smoking on that Conrad pack. No, just come, Clementine. Wait, what He's the dead. fuck? We just let her go? We could have just God. done that later down the line. It just happened so fast. I had no other choice. I know. It just feels different. Let's go. Chat was being hella racist, I think. That's crazy. Did we leave the gun? Where's Conrad? Did he not make it out? He lost it in the tunnel. Attacked us. What do you mean? What happened? He and Clem started arguing. And then... Shit just went south. We had to... Leave him behind. <sighs> shit! Fuck! Try to stay quiet. Damn it, Conrad. And the girl, where is she? Or 
Should we assume the worst? She... ran off. I just don't know what the hell is going on anymore. God! What a shit show! This isn't what any of us wanted. Bro, this is so funny. From his perspective, I'm like the Black Scourge, dude. I just came into his life, literally like three seconds into him letting me into his compound, I pop one of his fucking guys. And I'm like, oh, it was an accident. I had to kill him. And then I literally, the new frontier comes in and then they bust through the doors, kill everyone in his compound. And then I turn around and I kill another one of his dudes. And I'm like, oh, it was an accident. It's like, it's like, bro, I, I, I'm just bringing so much death into his life, dude. I would hate me. And I'm going to fuck his girl. It's so messed up that he doesn't know that yet. And I'm going to fuck his girl too. But right now we need to find Kate and Eleanor. You're right. I just wish. I'm just so much more capable than, than Ben. <laughs> you say I'm trips Ben, but I'm just more capable. Remember, Ben ran on, ran on a six human kill, zero zomber kill run. Okay. That is historic. He got like six allies killed and not a single fucking zombie in the process. I at least pop off with zombies. <laughs> Bernaldo, in many respects, was on Team Zombie. You know how we talk about conservatives and how they're like Team COVID? They're like, yeah, I'm going to war against, uh, I'm going to go war with COVID on the side of COVID. That's what Ben was doing. Ben Joyers. The gates are this way. If your people are here, that's where they would have ended up. Why is it so quiet? Thought there'd be New Frontier marching in the streets and shit. Practicing on walkers or... Whatever the fuck they do. It does seem strangely quiet. Maybe we just got lucky. Oh my god, you're so dumb. Shut the fuck up. Every time you say that, we get swarmed, big dog. Every single time. Fucking jinxing every time, bro. My man's jinxy. Ah, fuck. Did they see us? I don't think so. Can you see anything, Javi? What are they doing? Stuff. That's Wait, their car! Left, hey, keep it down. They left Kate in the car? There ain't no way they took Eleanor and left Kate in the car. Kate? Kate, can you hear me? Kate, talk to me. Oh Say God, something. is she about to be zombified? Javi? Yes. Could really use something to take the edge off right about now. Huh. Very funny. I've been saving it for a while. Kate! Are you... Are you okay? Come here. Where's Eleanor? She... She went ahead to get help. Bro, why are we in broad daylight hanging out and hugging it out when there were two new Frontier guys that just walked by? Like, <laughs> I guess they'll never come back. Is crazy. She hasn't come back. Damn it. They must have got her. Jesus, how far is it to their compound? Not too much farther now. A couple blocks at most. Gabe, help me lift her up. <laughs> I think Jesus is going to be New Frontier, by the way. I think he's going to... Like, we didn't check it at all. I'm thinking Kate's not going to make it much longer. So it's time we walk up to their front door and say hello. All right, fine. Here we go. Stop saying bro doesn't know Jesus. I don't watch the TV show. Stop metagaming. There it is. New Richmond. We're here, Kate. I'm going to get you inside, okay? Javi, if they can save me, 
How about you and me finally take that trip to Norway? How are we gonna get there, Kate? The Northern Lights. Remember? Sky lit up all green and purple. As long as we make some time to hit the slopes, I'm in. Jesus, there's a solid possibility this isn't gonna go our way. If you want to stay behind, I wouldn't blame you. Hey, this is where I was going in the first place. Hey! You again? You must have some kind of death wish. She needs medical help. And you have one of our people. Uh-huh. What's your point? After what you did to our people? I'm not inclined to help any of you. I know we've both got a bone to pick here, but we can hash that out later. She needs to get to the hospital or she's gonna die. Then I guess she's gonna die. I don't know why. It was I your I men that shot her. Your bullets. You owe it to us to help now. Why we would don't he? owe you shit. It's got nothing to do with me. Your people, your problems. That girl your people shot? That was her daughter. And the other one, Gabe? He's right here beside me watching her die. You can stop this. Gabe's about to be if like, you want my stepmother. To. Please! Kate's dying! She needs help! It's not like I don't have a heart, okay? But your people started this whole fucking thing in the first place! Let's not forget what you did at Prescott! What you did to our home! Prescott, right. That whole situation was a damn mess. Mm. Yeah, you, <sighs> give us a It TV. happened! It's over! Not that I can do about it now! Please! I am begging you! Just let us in! Now, all of you, lower your weapons. Might be a good idea to play along here, at least for now. You put him down, I'll see that as an expression of good faith. Nice and easy. Everybody, put him down. Trip, please. You're the boss. He's gonna shoot yeah. Trip. Okay. Or Gabe. Hands behind your heads, all of you. We let him do this, it's over. We can't give him another inch. If they shoot all of us mercilessly, I'm gonna lose my mind. I don't know why he'd be kind in this For very Kate, moment, okay? but... Now, get on your knees. If he was gonna kill us, I think he'd have done it by now. Do you hear me? I said knees. Guess you were serious about this after all. Crazy. What a jibate. What a fucking jibate, dude. Turns out not the bad guys. Okay. What the it hell's going on out of, here? They said they weren't here to hurt anybody, so I was trying to see if they. Oh my god. What? Dad? What the fuck? Oh my. Oh my god. No fucking shot, dude. How did you deal with David and Kate's argument? 60% told Dave that Kate wanted to leave him. That's not what I wanted to say. That's crazy. This, this probably, there's no way people didn't read this in the same way that I did. Okay. There's no fucking shot. People didn't look at this and go, what the fuck? I can't believe. How did you handle the new frontier at the gates of Prescott? You and 60% of players open fire. 40% of players surrendered. 0.8% of players tried to negotiate. I should have just let... I should have just let Kate die, bro. The fucking sexo run is ruined. Oh my god, he's... This means his own men domed his daughter. Uno mas cabron, por favor. No, I cannot do it. I have obligations. I have obligation. I have obligation, chat. I know I promise, but I have to. Everybody calm down. I literally have to do something. I'm already an hour late. 
to my friend's birthday. Did you trust Jesus? 86% trusted him. Of course you got to trust Jesus. How did you deal with Conrad's threat to Clementine? You and 90% of players killed Conrad. 90p. How, how did you go? How far did you go to get into Richmond? You and 96% of players capitulated to Max's demands. Wow. There will be another birthday next year. Okay, everybody needs to calm down. That's not how this works, okay? I love you guys. I've given you guys many 11-hour sessions, and I would have given you another one. Except, you know, I have to, I have to go. Stunning lo-fi introduction. Anyway. Starting off the day. Everybody's birthdays this year. What the fuck? I know, it's weird. Anyway, love you guys, okay? And I will see you tomorrow on Cutie Cinderella's stream. That's right, I'm doing Master Baker. I'm one of the finale... I'm one of the finale final day contestant chef of chef judges. I'm one of the judges. Alongside Fan Fan and Willard Eber Savage Neft III. That's going to be at, uh, I think it's like starting at 11, I believe, on Cutie Cinderella's channel. That's going to go on to like two or three. I don't know how long it'll go on for. And then after that, unfortunately, I won't have time to stream because I will, I will be doing the podcast. So, tomorrow, I can't be gaming. One day of cliffhanger, and I will be back. I will be back on Monday. Ready to ball the fuck out. With some stories. Happy 420 to everybody. Love you all. Peace and good night. At your fingertips, on the at your door. H three crowded up, babe. The Young Turks online show. Three, four, five years of this, plenty more to go. Ninety day fiance talks of champagne, bourgeoisie, a Trump rally live reaction on mass riot at DC. <laughs>